a little anesthesia. Some bastard tried to mug me. I handled it. Oh, local guy. You really think somebody local tried to mug me, Pepe? Listen, V, I got a problem. I'm serious this time. Find yourself in a hole, sounds like. Yeah. Uh, no, I could count on you. It's a uh, cork. I owe him. Don't pay by tomorrow, said he lost my legs. You don't joke about that stuff. Got cartels in his corner. You in it with Kirk? Every man, woman, and rat in Haywood knows he's a fucking shark. My bro jumped the joint, deserved a hero's welcome. I know I fuck up, V. I'll talk to Kirk, but then you're gonna owe me one. You're saving my life. What you need? Pepe asked me to talk you up. What, he too shot a hand over the Yetis himself? Uh, tell him I don't bite. Not yet. Hell's your problem. Cut him some slack, will ya? He'll pay. Just need some more time. Do I look like a priest that runs a charity to you? You borrow Eddies, you gotta pay him back. With interest, it's common fucking knowledge. You suggesting I let a flaky cunt who can't keep a deal off the hook? No, you let him off because it's me asking. Huh, you know me. I'm a man of the bids. So I need to know what I get out of it. Transactions go two ways, I get that. I'll owe you a favor. Yeah. Got a Nova idea already. there on the page. Only four of them in NC as of now. One, Rayfield Regional Director. Two, Mayor Ryan. Three, a rental service. Uh-huh. And four? Number four will belong to my client, just as soon as you clep it for me, that is. I do this, and Pepe's debt is squared? Of course. I'm a man of my word. You know that. Whole thing simple. You swipe the Rayfield for me, I clear Pepe's account. Even toss in a cut for you, I'm such a nice guy. My man Rick works a parking structure by Embers, club where our Rayfield driver likes to kick it. There every Friday night, like clockwork. Soon as you appear, security cam shut down, gate swings up, the road is yours. Just gotta grab the Rayfield and roll out. Simple. How am I supposed to do this? Expect me to slide under the chassis on a skateboard for a quick hot wire? Fast and easy. Kirk, wheels like this got security systems. Good ones. This bitty bop works like the key Rayfield techs use for repairs. Opens locks, bypasses identity authorization. A skeleton key for all Rayfields in the city. <laughs> Come on, Kirk. Even you don't buy that. Kabuki's tech wizards sell more magical shit than this under the counter. Have a little faith. So, we all agreed then. We are. Glad to hear it. Always said you were a bright bulb. Head to Ember's in the Glen. Rick's in the garage. We're waiting for you. You two will hit it off. Good luck out there. We'll be in touch. Satisfy your How's it gonna be? Rick's 
sudden go, maybe. I'm not that. You fucking own me big. You're saving my life. I mean that. Spare a veteran some change. Here. All yours. Knew I saw a good in you. God bless. Cybernetic dog. Tell them to be ready. Yes, Padre. Well, who do we have here? We? Long time. Didn't know you were around. Got back from Atlanta a few weeks ago. See, you got a good down home welcome. How was it back east? I'll tell you later. Got something on. How about you fill me in now? We'll give you a ride. Marcus, let's go. So where to? The Glen. Drop me off at Embers. Front door? Take the ramp back of the bar. Show you where to stop. You heard of Marcus. Your return to NC has been good? Busy already? I'll pick up something here and there. Nothing major. But I'm getting by. Appreciate the concern. So... Atlanta didn't turn out like you expected, huh? As you can see, I'm back. If it had been better there, wouldn't have left. Maybe it'll all work out for the best. Sebastian Ibarra. Looks like it's my lucky day. What do you want? To settle our biz, once and for all. Got an offer for you, Patty, so listen up. Get the fuck out of Vista. Pull your boys off the street. I'll give you the Glen done deal. No more restless nights. See how generous I can be? Well, Patty, what's it gonna be? One more fucking word. Stay out of this. I don't know you. And I don't know you, which means you're worth shit around here and capable of even less. Well, anything else? It seems our conversation has come to a close. Careful, Padre. Never know who's got a barrel at your six. You neither, shit bucket. Marcus, please. I am pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. Still have the gift. So many of the little shits left around here. Their spines go soft when they look down a barrel. Who is that? No one important. He'll be gone in a week's time. Another will come in his place. He pulled iron on you. He did. And he will pay for doing so. Pull up here. Right here. I'll just strap down below. Here. Before you go. Your number? Could be useful. Maybe we can also work together again. Take ourselves back two years. Thanks, Padre. Gotta go. So go with God. Status. 
On location. About to find your man. Rick's one of the good guys, you'll see. I trust him like a brother. Yeah. Something I can help you with. You, Rick? Yep. You with Kirk? Yep. Camera's blind. You got 20 minutes. Kirk, I see the ride. Your moment to shine, kiddo. Good luck. Let's take this piece of wonder tech for a whirl. You're a woman of little faith. See? We're rich. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. I'll tell you where to go. Hmm. Looks like this will be a cool breeze. Get the what fuck the out. Too. How about that? A pig that chatters. Left for Atlanta, looking for a slice of happiness. Guess you didn't find it. I've always maintained it's the same for all you termites in Haywood. Born here, live here, die here. Looks like I was right. Enough of the chatter. What now? Getting booked. Gonna do a stint. Get it? Hey, come on, Stance. Give us a break, huh? You lock us up? I just jerk off till trial. And then what? Worst case, we get some months. Hell, standing room only nowadays in El Bote. So, they'll probably be out early. Are these the thieves? Fuck, oh, dear. Dirty street trash. Got him in custody, Mr. Fujioka. We'll be taking them now. It's a waste of effort. I have no time to testify or play it on an investigation. Suggesting we let them go, sir? I suggest you toss them in the sea. Cuff legs broken so this trash doesn't float. You heard him. Fuck. Honestly, for a sec there, things looked iffy. Wasn't sure we'd worm out of that alive. Same. Stens is out to get people well and tight. Though he does have a little honor left. Really think his sense of honor saved us? Well, and the fact he's Haywood born and bred like us. If I hadn't come, you'd be cruising Night City in sexy wheels right now. No. Come on. Job was toxic from the start. Even Kabuki under the counter magic can't get around an alarm like that. Should have known I'd have the PD on my ass. So, maybe now, as God ordained, Jackie Wells. V. I know you. You hang at the Coyote. Wait, Wells? Like, Mama Wells? Thought I recognized the name. She's my blood, all right. Coyote's her dive. 
It's strange you and I never met before. Got the job to steal those wheels, said the coyote. From Kirk. You work with that sewer slug? Pepe owes him big and can't afford to pay, so I stepped up. Man, gotta wonder about Pepe letting slimy Kirk boss him around like that. Heard what they say. He's backed by cartels. Cartels? No, no, listen. I know those cartel types, and I guarantee you, none of them have even heard of Kirk. El cabrón's gotta learn. He don't do people in Haywood dirty. Come on, let's go have some lunch. Lunch? <laughs> you would not believe my mama's chili. Best in town. Getting one of my good feelings. About what? About us. It's a kind of chemistry, you know? Come on. I'm fucking starved. Okay, food it is. Let's go. Hello there, Night City! Stanley here with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams! Ooh, I love this town! Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her! Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals! But only half these gongs will survive a year! And that's if it's a good one! And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Black Hand, and Waylon Boa Boa! The greater the risk, the bigger the bouquet, kids! Or so they say! But you can only be a major league player for so long! The faster you live, the faster you burn out! kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Not now, Jack. No time. Maybe later. Sure, sure. Mañana. Mañana. Let's do this. Elevator. This way. phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Calm the hell down, both of you. Almost there. Yeah, Buck. You focus.
Xander Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix-ups. Not our lucky go. Nina, eyes up. The nails I hid. Got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. Jacking in. Oh, this does not look good. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find the shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biome Enclave's trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. V, need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Catch, Chica. I think. Oh shit, it worked. Fuera, Chica. Get her outside.
Fuera, get her out. Terrace. I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Huh. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's it gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. You're saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. She can wakako on the hollow. Tell her the job's done. <clears throat> v, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. Of course she's alive and well. It's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, give it right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Word's out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight. We better put in fifth. Leave it to me, Chica. I'm driving. Digging Night City. City like any other, just bigger. Nah, Chica, not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand, Andrew Wayland, Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Man, I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie. You're locking down Watson, remember? Oh, shit. You're right. Is it just me, or...? Oh, I fucking knew it. Man on our ass, tailing us. Hello. I don't like this man. I want tiny bit. Scott! Hijo de puta! Fucking drive, Jackie! Come on, V! Keep your hands up! Get him! Keep her steady! Focus on getting home. Damn. They're pulling out all the 
it stops. What is the lockdown to further notice? Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am. Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. Is she giving me a chance? Waiting. Hmm. That's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe, but he's a good kid. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. She took a liking to you. The devotion I demonstrated grabbed her by the gut. Right. I'm loyal, stable in my affections. Mm-hmm. And unassuming. You get it. your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Kill V? They'll let me through. You sure about that? Oh, yeah. I'll play nice Jackie again. I said hi. I will. Hi, Lloyd. Good evening, Night City. My first guest tonight is the Bud. Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. Clover. Praise be to thee, our Father in heaven. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip In program, which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. How's luck like treating you, beautiful?
get your beauty sleep? <laughs> no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something. When I jacked into that corpo's biomon. I know a neurovirus or... I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling and my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw some threads, meet me downstairs. Hey, V. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. So, you're what? Punching bag. This gave me a next gen ass whooping. He <laughs> did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> so, how about it? Let's do this. Light on your feet. Get that head moving. <laughs> Dish out my eddies for something else. It's time I started taking your piece. You mentioned something about fighting? Hmm. I've seen you land in blows in the rain. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't leap. But they're leap. Look it for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winners, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pipe. Manage to drop every last one of them. You get a chance to fight the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. Start with your I believe in you, people. Time to show this city what you're made of. Have a look. Thanks a lot. However, in an abundance of caution, That's the NCPT has raised the threat level to two, providing travelers to avoid side roads. We'll continue to keep you in. Hello, 
it's time for your local news. The Aratama Matsuri Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will come alive with exquisite multi-story dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by Biwa virtuosos and theatrical performances in the No tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation, and in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of the something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Badass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure, but no deals riding on you now, chica. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Well, Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Yes, I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. I don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is believing his own. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on the fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias. Oh, yeah, no. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our, uh, dust up with scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. The top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. Are we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Stop. Ripper Doc. Anchica, easy on the gas, eh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vicks anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. You look pleased. Because I am. Always. Makes for easier living. <laughs> the 
Picking spry as ever, you old ripper. Good to see you. Good to see you too, baby. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experience of migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hit in the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Koroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack in. Koroshi, whoa! Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. See what's going on inside. One, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. But just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kiroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? <laughs> really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist, always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might 
take you a few seconds to adjust. But first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. You're the best, Vic. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. It's a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in this city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate for a max time to the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Your joy, your worries, your life! For them, it is all mere spectacle! Yeah, if anyone was watching and giving a damn, I'd have the city's underworld and half its corpse on my ass already. And if you are their pawn, unknowingly carrying out their secret agendas,
are not human. No. But then what, you ask? Reptilians! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. If it's faces. such a big giveaway, won't they just install optics or use contact lenses at least? If it were only so simple, they are reptiles. Their nervous system isn't compatible with human cybernetics. Then why not have their own rippers in vents? Are you sure they haven't already? And where did this filth slither out from? You ask? Antarctica. You said that already. Today they hide amidst the snow and ice of the South Pole. Step by step, usurping our crown as creation chosen. Millions of years ago, they evolved from dinosaurs to become the world's first advanced intelligent race. And who is their protector? Their masters? The scientists of Alpha Centauri! Oh, hell no! Yo, 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 my children! Disorderly conduct reported in Watson. 331 responding. On my way, dispatch. I'm begging. But only because I like you.
Shobo. Ring a bell? Guy's a fucking psychopath. Records himself torturing joy toys and sells that shit to like-minded scumbags. The mocks finally tracked him down. This is your chance to give this fucker what he deserves and earn a little scratch while you're at it. More on this signal attached.
We're gonna get chipped. Glad to hear it. Let's get you set up.
contract closed. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm a doctor. I'm not part of the gang. I know. You're Lucy Thackeray. Uh, Tex blacked out again. Piece of shit. And you are? V, your brother sent me to get you out of here. Bertie? Okay. Okay, just a moment. Look, we don't have time for this. Tex they've got in here belongs in a scrapyard. We got a Delta. Now. Since you're still here, run a scan on him. Pressure's falling. Same with temperature. He's going into shock. I'll try to stem the bleeding. You, give him a unit of synth blood. Come on, it's on the table. First from the left. Just not in my hand. Okay, Why gotta wait a bit this? before it closes. I'm a doctor. He probably killed more people than you'll ever see. This is an operation, not a court hearing. All right, 
Crisis averted, looks like. Rest till just have to sleep off. Thanks. Now we can go. Keep close to me. Head down. Come on. Your ride. Get in.
not mine! None of this What happened? Your oh. implants, they look half done. Done or not done? It is of no importance. A bhikkhu does not defile his body through cyber modification. It is against the Platimoksha. And yet, they knew about this. For me, there is no return. Hold on. Somebody forced you? Not just me. My brother, too. They drugged us. Desecrated my body. And all the while, they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? How about your brother? He's still with them? Yes. I was first. Then they were trying to decide how. How to modify him. You look like someone who can reason with these people. I beg you, please, help my brother. I only hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like... like I have. Fine. I'll help. But just so you know, things might get ugly. Maelstrom doesn't mess around. There must be some other way. Help us, please. But without any bloodshed, I beg you. I'll see what I can do. Either way, your brother's getting ill. I do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. Please, I need to be alone. Like to buy some iron. So buy some. So this is where they're keeping our fellow brother.
Do not do this! Invitations against my beliefs. Please! I do not want them! Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So... What are you doing here? What happened? I was walking by and caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. Not with the truths that your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. From the bottom of my soul, thank you. I'm especially grateful nobody was killed. May you continue on the path of peace. What compels these monsters is of no consequence. It's not up to us to judge what they deserve. Um, yeah, sure. Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First, I must catch my breath, and then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. Of course I found him. He's safe and sound, just needs to catch his breath. Thank you. The universe will reward you for your good deeds. I... I should not give in to base emotions, but I feel such a great relief that he is unharmed.
things. Still alive? Hope so, because I got a new gig for you. You got a clever recording of a Maelstrom initiation. Want to know more? Check what I attached.
Seabug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. Got anything noble for sale? If you can afford it, yes. scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Hold on to them just in case. You need them more than me. Not taking them all the way to my grave. Here. Hey. Thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing an eddy. That's what friends are for.
No, but what they don't know, the real name for this thing they call cyberspace is actually pandemonium! What is life without its body? What are the beings of the net if not souls from beyond our plane of existence? I have heard their voices. Let they who yet live never cross that This threshold. is Night City. No one's got a soul to lose. Mock as you will, unbeliever. You shall see who laughs last as you're engulfed in hellfire. Satan himself! Perhaps. See, now I'm skeptical. I heard the runner who wrote that Satan demon gave him a weak sense of humor. You ask, who opened these unholy gates of the abyss? No one's asking. And I answer you, the techno-necromancers of Alpha Centauri! I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? Nothing but lint in my pockets. Sorry. If you turn a blind eye to their existence, they have already won. Playing cards. I I mean. 
Should be some easy breezy ads. You in? Catch the deets attached. What do you got? Well, mommy didn't teach you to read. It's all on it. Dusted. 
Jacob sends you his heartfelt thanks. Also says he'll um, keep a closer eye on his implants from now on. <laughs> Closing the game.
What kind of stuff you got? Just gonna, okay. Looking for a change. Come on then. Time to tinker. anyone would step in. Thank you. Ugh! <laughs> 
That's what it's all about. One less tiger in this town. Appreciate your problem solving skills, Pete. Get closed. Waste of time.
Please, no. series got recalled still selling it on the street though hey <laughs> listen just our luck ah, go just go low him down chill chill be gone in a sec chill you tell me to chill it burns fuck it burns chill i'm doing what i can what I said to my output. She didn't like that too much. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> you really gotta keep yelling like that? You don't even know how much it hurts? Like I'm screwing a goddamn pencil sharpener! Well, suffer in silence, Jim. Heard what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. gig for you. One I'd rather not have. Bryce Stone, preacher on TV. His son was brutally murdered. 
Only way to catch this child killer is to get your hands on the original Dang BD dogs. that recorded the whole thing. Yeah, we heard that right up. Freddy boy, you're a natural. Wakey, wakey, gentlemen. W what's happening? Security! Too far away to hear us. Well, let's not do anything rash here. We just tune and sell. We don't scold. Got a little family what? affair going here, huh? People want to buy, so we sell. Business is business. Looking for something in particular? You know, if it wasn't us, there'd be someone else. You, you, you want to see something really hardcore? We just supply what Night City demands. That's all. We won't tell anyone you're here. We swear.
great work, B. Let's hope it helps trace the motherfucker who scrolled the thing. Gig's closed. Yo, Miss V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? You're either somebody or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Hang on, got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could've had Jackie or T-Bug sitting here. Could've just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why does she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shot. <laughs> Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. 
Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shipstream, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Miss V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. Yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work. Or lining us up. Now we can talk. Go ahead. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kids. Prep work, I guess. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. About sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent, too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. Huh. Shingon. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Hell, um, actually. In that case, I'll hit the all foods with my nose to the ground. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there.
Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? That'd be me. Thought you could blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Got any more for me? Calm the fuck down! I just wanna talk. Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Yep. <clears throat> Just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. Now listen, please. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... <sighs> Her, you can let go. I hear what she has to say. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Dex already paid the maelstromers for the corporal bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. You paid up front? Eesh, well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? We buy it. I got the Eddies. Did you just say Dex already forked over? So we pay again. Keep trouble to a minimum. So, into the Borg Beast Den. Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. <laughs> Don't know you. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Oh, yeah. 
They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a gel factory. Yeah, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. Called him special. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel's better. My favorite. Subtle. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch, planet. ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well... All right. Come on. Gotta lighten up. Take a hit. Tech's not gonna come looking for it. Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We'll remove the serial number and lift access locks using our soft. What's yours, it's yours. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pin down prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this! Fully integrated link too, so when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm-hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Uh Raven's not the dedicated control unit for a flathead. Ha! <laughs> Course not! Militech controllers auto-link to Militech systems. I mean, you wouldn't want them tracking their stolen tech back to your hands. Yeah, Ravens are baby. Got improved neural sync and no fucking pesky tracing. You ask me, we gotta sell that shit. Yep, we'll take it. Free. Sure. Yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid out. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. All right. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Got the scratch. Be chill. I am. 
very fucking chill. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> he ain't dead. No, he's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So I'm gonna consider my offer now. Line. Plus, I thought you loved me. Really, no other way.
careful. Now I move an inch away from this laser. God, it felt like a fucking eternity there. Been in here a while? A few days. Kind of lost count. Some guys loyal enough to care slipped me stuff, tried to help out. Royce threw him in the microwave dryer. Made me watch. This is kind of your fault we're here. Came for some tech dex bot. Did he tell you to free me? No, just to pick up the body. Fucking dex. <laughs> Looking a little like we might have saved your skin. Think we'll do a favor, hombre. Jesus, slow down, maybe. I'll get you, but kind of caught me at a bad time. We ever meet again, I'll have you covered. Let's go! Sure you'll manage all right? This is my home. Quit fucking sweating it.
V. Let's get out of here. In the dick. They got those things buzzing around everywhere. Past the gate. The talk there. didn't expect to see me here. You know, I like the way you operate. Maybe you'd do some more work for us. Be more than glad to. Till next time then, V. Corporate gods willing. Secure the area. Time we were on our way, Mamita. Holy shit, V. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. Thanks, Jack. Solid as ever. Hey, yeah, you too, but, uh... Hey, what's this about? You feeling all right? Yeah, I want to make sure, you know... We're good together. I like how we do things. I do too, V. I do too. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. And then I say we hit the afterlife. <laughs> You know, do some shots. Ahí luego, V. How things look in this thing? Can't talk right now. Right, so then what? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Pelotec angle? Sure. Of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You used the corporal woman? Matt with Stout managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch for Maelstrom. So you paid for the flathead with corp cash? No. Decided I could use the Eddies myself. And I just grabbed the bot. Just like that? Not just. Had to use violence. You got some balls, Miss B. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Mm -hmm. That meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. Don't walk. Thank <laughs> you. 
I know where I'm gonna strike before Here for I... a fight. Which one of you is my guy? Me! Wasn't expecting a tag team, but whatever, I guess. So, who do I got first? No, no. You don't get it. That body and this one. I'm the same person. So, what? I'm seeing double? I used to be twins, which you could probably guess. The twins had a close bond. They wanted to be closer stronger so they installed neural oscillation sinks and now they're well me one, one person, person two, bodies. two bodies my bodies do everything together everything fine but we're raising the stakes fair see no problem with that so, so can, can we, we get, get started? started show me what you got like your brother or hungry for more that ain't my brother oh, that's me jesus what's so hard to understand here your winnings oh. don't worry there's always the next fight Stop talking to yourself! Listen, out of curiosity, you guys can read each other's thoughts? No, no. Same person, same, person, same, same thoughts. thoughts. If that weren't the case, I'd be on schizoid meds. Incredible. Well, good to see you transition from circus ring to boxing ring. Give me a break. Hey, sure the Ripper didn't swap anything else out. Felt like I was fighting against four left hands. Fuck you!
Hey there, doll face. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure. In I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, dog. Welcome to Lizzie's. Ma, what a sweet little face you have. Get you something. So, curious, the name Lizzie's. That the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Oh, now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Those were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Nah, stories of the golden days. Inevitable demise and the inevitable drink over sweet memories. All what makes the tall tales easier to swallow. So, what went wrong? Tiger Claws shot up Lizzie. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. This was done. Tigers gave this place up to the mocks in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. Moxes had to make a deal. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big boss now is Susie. The side state, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Name's B. She and I have a date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm a Dale. Uh-huh. So, Evelyn. Love's big. Gonna have to look around. I'll do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. This is your destiny. This is your destiny. This is your destiny. So tell me your destiny. Call me. Call me. Call me. Call me. Evelyn's cousin. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. I drink. Now what do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Mind if we talk about the job? Heard you got something for me. But not here. Come with me. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. What? Nothing wrong. Really? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional. Effective. And trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. 
Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Classy Corp hotels? Mm, yeah, no. How to my price range? Hmm. Oh, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Wait, neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? How Jacking off two in those boxes? Like no. It can be a very useful tool. Good oh, for so analyzing good. details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact, in biz or life. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy, best brain dance editor I know. 
Waking up already. Gonna make me barf. Sensory SIG amps. Acoustic and emotive wave monitors. Oh, top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Mod all this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan work. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BD. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced-in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Size won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Won't take long. Be diving in. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody, on the ground. What I see you kissing the flooring. Mummy, now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God. Whoa, yo, hey, hey, uh, now, before I blow your fucking head off! Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know, I... Ugh, let's... Take a break. 
I still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? A runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Relax, Judy. Everything will be fine. You don't quite grasp the risks I took by letting you in here while I'm risking poking around with this stuff. We're all taking risks here. That's the job. So either T-Bug patches in, or I'm on my way out. Judy, please. Fine. Call her. Let's get this over with. Hey, Pete. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn. They're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen. Need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking it to your tech now. Mm, you've gotta give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. <laughs> Felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Finish. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not read them. In Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Uh. 
sorry to make you wait. Business. Can't be stupid. Mm. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. That's again. Over there. Yeah, that'll be fun last time. Yeah, that's last time. Yeah, that's how I'm living. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. The last time. Good. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Yes. Manual details a special tip-controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where you are know who's keeping the chip. The heat sig matches the spec in the docks. Your Nobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need? Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We needed that recording, Judy. BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, City will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. sec. Thanks, Judy. Really. And don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Let's walk.
V, do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. How things looking, Miss V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki is worth our time. Beautiful, BT bug already called. Said she's working her magic. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Keep grabbing that bio chip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you then. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Miss V. What a
What's here? Hmm. my
Tengo planes para esta noche. En Santísima Ma. Te vas a enterar mañana. Yo también te quiero, Ma. About time, chica. What's new with Senora Wells? Uh, you know, she's worried about me. Whatever. Can't help herself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life, here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah! We're only here because Dex is pulling the strings. Doubt that puts us in the same league as them. Oh, but we are. They just don't know it yet. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on! Place used to be a morgue. Believe that? Really, Jackie? What? Told you that myself. Oh, for reals? Ah, oh, shit. That must have been ages ago. And who am I you, clown? Name's V. This is Jackie Wells. Oh. Is that supposed to sound familiar? It will soon. We're here to see Dex. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? All right, then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Way ahead of you, viejo. Is it? Best leave ever. Jordan Night City. Right there. Eating. Hear it? Can you imagine? Susan hey. Forrest. Oh, grab a seat. Morgan Blackhead. All set on those stools. Fell asleep on. Looks like we're out. in all the Night City. Thought Dex was the best. <laughs> Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? You order. Two tequila old fashions with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. You will have Johnny Silverhands coming up. Right on, chica. Somebody did their homework. It's like the dog ate mine. Age old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. How long's the afterlife been around? Half a century. Longer. Don't know by how much, though. Gotta be the oldest club in Night City. And the most respected. Don't forget that, Ben. Say I wanted to have a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind-blowingly spectacular fashion. It ought to be best. Uh, what a beautiful tradition. To be in Filthy Rich. Filthy Rich Legends. Guess dying's a small price to pay for going down in history. Gotta live like a legend first, though, huh? Death. It's nothing but the final flourish. Oh, and by the way, name's Jackie Wells. You want to write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer. Oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Ha <laughs> I'll remember that. I've heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. Mr. Dushon, see you now. How do you know? My job to know. Look around. How do you think mercs earn their reps? Through gossip rivaling that of schoolgirls, that's how. Break a leg. Thanks. This way. Say 
came here, no, in the ring. You do some kind of exotic shit? Huh? Kempo? Ninjutsu? Mm. Think you could take me? Drop me? In here. Este pinche tipo. That's right, Excelsior. Cold hard eddies, as per usual. Got a bounce. Well, if it ain't Miss V. Whole family in one place. Ha! Finally! First time in real space. And the flathead? Let's see this bad boy. All right, then. Set your butts down comfy. Sweet boot. Is soundproof? Jackie. Now, now, Mr. Wells is right. We're going to be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question for Miss V. Evelyn Parker, how'd you fare? Well, as I could have, I guess. Walked around Compeki Plaza, inside, from that raw BD she scrolled. Mm-hmm. Bug already filled me in. So you know the target. Yorinobu Arasaka, the Emperor's son and heir apparent. Mm-hmm. Man with the millionaire name and no talent to back it up. Evelyn Parker's special friend? So she just want to see what's good, or was there something else? Think she just wanted to see what I was about. Wanted to see what she was about, huh? How about we go over the plan? What you got for us, Dex? This. Well, here goes nothing. Me and Dex have already covered the fine deep. Ops-wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in, thanks to your false identities. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into Yorinobu's penthouse and clep the relic. Goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Time for your burning questions. All clear to me. Perfect. I got a question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Cut for fresh talent's always the same and non-negotiable. 30%. Bro, 30? Every part in this drama carries its risks. That's the value of yours, as determined by me. Jack, it's fine. Don't push it. Are you for real? Drop it, I said. Cut's fair. Trust me. Fine. Whatever. Fuck it. Last thing. Kempeki's got a strict no-iron policy. Security gates. The works. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride. Take the flathead inside in its case. Got some deft suits, so you'll look the part, too. Chido. Thanks, T. So, not to count chickens, but why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role, but a week, two tops is my guess. And what do we do while waiting? Sit around, suck air? You sit tight, heads down, cause old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet, so don't go thirsty, but don't get drunk either. Your chariot awaits outside. My cue to Delta Two. Gotta prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues, now's your chance. I'm good. No questions. Let's get to work. So you ready to get going or what? Let's roll. No point in waiting. In getting rich, you mean? Welcome on board this Delamain service. With Delamain, you leave your problems at the door. Son of a bitch. Better fucking believe I will. 
I see no reason why you should be using expletives. Oh, yeah? What about that time I wanted to hire you for my cousin's bachelor party, huh? Unfortunately, we do not take on such contracts. Three months I've been saving up scratch. Eh, water under the bridge. Hit it, Dell. Before we begin our journey, I must verify the identities of all customers. Please proceed to connect your personal links. Excelsior package activated. Excelsior? Oh, this just keeps getting better. Excelsior? The Excelsior is a package tailored to our premium clientele. Top quality don't come free, you know. Now watch. Delamay, initiate combat mode. My apologies, but you do not appear to be in any sort of imminent danger. Huh. Oh well. Trust me, you'll mow down an army of Saka ninjas if it comes down to it. Dex ain't skimping, is he? He's taking 70% of the pot. Or have you forgotten already? Excelsior. This is how you want to cruise into the major leagues. Wouldn't get overly excited. Hmm? Haven't gotten there. Not yet. I know, Jack. Kinda feels like you're losing that steel grip of yours. Huh. Seems to me like it's you who's got some kind of problem. We're not on our way to some party, Jack. We're about to pull a major heist. At our Sokka. For real, V? You see me as that shallow? Let me explain something to you, V. My whole life I've spent in this shit around us. And I ain't going back. Hey, how's things? Smooth as fucking sandpaper. We'll be, uh, pulling up to the hotel soon. Listen, set up a direct encrypted line to guide you through Kompeki. V, ring Jackie now, see if we're in sync. Can't be too careful. And? Mm, we are near our destination. Say something, Bug. The greatest crimes issue from a desire for excess and not from necessity. Say what now? Aristotle. Guess you read me then. Yeah, I read you. Not so much your Greek friend. Though it was kind of exciting. Could give it some thought. Try to understand. How about you, V? Read you loud and clear. Perfect. Okay. Tech checks out, looks like. Será mejor que sí. Stay in touch. Thank you for choosing the Delamain service, and best of luck. I shall await here for your return. Shit's finally happening. Almost forgot, no iron, huh? All right, Hannah. Let's go. Hold on. Let me grab the flathead. We're out front, Bug. Member, reservations in your name, Ramon. What do you mean? You're there to meet Hajime Taki, military tech department rep. Welcome to Kentucky Flat. No swear. Welcome to Kentucky Plaza. Please come through single file. You got it, home, uh, <clears throat> sir. <clears throat> Hold on. Got something. Care to explain why you're bringing military equipment onto the premises into Kompeki Plaza? I don't intend to explain myself to you or anyone else. Actually, we have rules, see? And they say you have to. Ah, uh, you are here to see Taki-san. Am I right? Please, accept my apologies for the confusion. 
This should only take a moment, ma'am. Go ahead. Yokoso. Greetings and welcome to Konpeki Plaza. We'd like to check in. Of course. Just a moment, please. The name on the reservation is? Victorino. Double room, two adults, one night, correct? That's the one. Perfect. I'll go ahead and notify Takisan of your arrival. Shit, no good. Not part of the plan. Talk her up, V. Stall. That won't be necessary. We'll go freshen up first. Notify him ourselves. But Takisan is expecting you. No? Senorita, do you know how long we've been traveling? 18 hours from New Barcelona. With a delay on Medici because some cyberpsycho blew himself into bits inside the terminal. Ugh, oh, a nightmare. Of course, I understand. You'll be in the Lapis Lazuli suite on level 42. Oh, one more little formality. Please validate your SID chip. Honor's all yours, Hannah. Everything seems to be in order. We wish you a pleasant stay. Thank you. Better get going. Really? It's called improvising. You should try it. What do you think, Hannah? Hmm? Quaint, cozy. Not like the hotel we had in Zurich for that convention. Don't need that, Jack. Enough. What? I'm taking this seriously. Shabby. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. We don't do reservations weekdays, so feel free to grab any available table. Or a couple of stools at the bar if you prefer. Could bring Misty here one day when we uh, close this deal. You will, I'm sure. Now let's go check out our digs. put clothes on a dog. Oh, yeah, because you look so much better. simple enough? Simplicity is sometimes toughest to master. Aurelius? Aristotle? Who's it this time? Yours truly. That one's mine. Where's the shaft? Boot up your scanner. Look around. Got a winner. Good. Jackie, how's the flathead looking? All set. Systems are operational. Charge it a hundred. Get the little conk stock. Just gonna stand there and look at it? 
Gonna have to switch to manual control. B, take the control shard from Jackie. Gonna link your Kiroshis to surveillance so you can guide the bot. Here. Here goes. Patching you through to in-camp view. Might get a little disoriented, but don't freak. Okay, got a clear view. You can't just go locking people out of their homes. Get them to the next vent. Places of work. Onosaka will cover the cost of any and all penalties assessed. This isn't about the money. It's election season. How do you think this will make me look? People start saying I've lost control of Watson. District I'm from. A week. That's all we can promise you. We will try. And that is all I can promise you. Okay, Flathead's in. Patching you into next cam now. What makes you think it was for you? He addressed it to the kind housekeeper who found him. Note inside said, sorry for the mess. A bug? There was blood hit. everywhere. What now? But at least he left Housekeeping's in my way. Am I the only one that got a distractor and you uh, thought of uh, Let's see what's on the subnet. Where's the damn justice All right, in it? on it. Terrarium's got a control panel. Somehow I doubt it. Who? You know. Terrarium's got a temp and air quality control. Look into that. Praying, yeah. Stick the flathead on it. Mean you're a noble Arasaka. Men like him are always single. Might wear expensive suits, but he's a biker at heart, always itching for a ride. <laughs> I'd give him a ride. Out. Honey, stick to wiping that glass, huh? You're leaving strings everywhere. Set sail for flavor with Capitan Caliente's world-famous tacos. Now in wave size. Something's up with the tank. Hey, Bug, it worked. Can't say nothing yet. You got any idea how much those things cost? Keep moving. No time for backpack. Yo, 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 my cubers, shroomers, and cubers. Mr. Whitey here. Drop that milk toast kibber and rush to the nearest store for a taste of sweet, 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 clean speed. Because life is too short to be slow. Like he's having trouble. Shit. Gotta be another way. Let me think. Got another cam other side of the door, but it's disabled. Want me to enable? Yeah. Look around for a CCTV port. Okay. He's at it. Now toggle over to the other cam. Dwellers inside. Just as planned. Still weird the hotel's only got one runner. Decent dwellers as good as a dozen rank and file. Flathead ought to be able to neutralize them. Good thinking. Let me graft a demonoid onto your link. And you know you gotta jack the flathead directly into his chair, right? Make it sound like I'm new at this. Okay, sent. He's all yours. You'll have to get the flathead in there first, though. Shaft may link both rooms, looks like. Let's figure it out. Now toggle over to the other cam. Might have found our way in. Send the flathead over there, then toggle over to the second cam. Flathead into the chair, B. Jack in. Demons. 
Flathead stays, right? To keep an eye on the dweller, yeah. Punching into Kopecky's main net. You go ahead and log out. Así es como se hace. How you feeling? Fine. A little dizzy, that's all. Bug, how you doing on time? You there, Bug? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So, listen, ice is thicker than I thought. Piercing it'll take a couple hours. A couple hours? Can't do it any faster. Want my brain to burst into flames? Just sit down and enjoy your snazzy sweet. Thanks. I will. V, you take it easy, okay? Rest up. think why'd he give it all up hmm who gave what up yorinobu arasaka the good life i mean old news i know just got to thinking's all it's like think you got everything right eddie's education your pops can snap his fingers and turn half the fucking planet into a nuclear wasteland but instead you're like nah fuck it and what do you go do Start a fucking gang. <laughs> Steal dragons or some shit. You go from your fam, chip some real skin, and play gang leader for a few years. For what? Went down the same road, didn't you? Hooked up with the Valentinos, spewed some lead, then walked away. Hey, that ain't the same thing. Haywood's not some fucking palace in Japan. I didn't have no choices. And I paid a price for it, too, remember? Three slugs to the chest. Feels like one's still in my left lung. Don't be putting me on a level with that hijo de puta. <laughs> Fucking tourist. Tourist or not, he just walked into the lobby. And we are back in biz. Penthouse security is neutralized. Perfecto. Let's start the show. Hey, Buck. We're, uh... Were you in Kong for that whole time? Three and a half hours. Uh, how about that stick up the ass? Mean the one of mine? Yeah, uh, slip of the tongue, you know? I know. Now's your chance to make up to me. This is going pretty smooth, right? Man, are you the silver lining type? Hey, when are you gonna wave off that dark cloud hanging over your head? I'm telling you, it's downhill from here on in. Check out that weird ass lizard. That ain't no lizard. It's an iguana, you two. No, cuz I see one before. Looks like your Nobu left us a parting gift. 
Ain't much, but it'll have to do. Bingo! Got something ejected. Come here, V. No. Check in your personal and make us rich. On it. Your turn, Bug. Give me two. They got winged visitors. Bug? Uh, don't know who, but staff's a buzz. All 200 on their feet can't keep still. Can't say I like this. How much longer, T? Shit, you're in Nobu's penthouse bound. Fuck him! Open the safe! Almost got it. Done. Green. Let me look to this, huh? Relic intact? Bio shard integrity, 100%. Guessing that's a yes. Good, let's go. そもそも俺のことを気にしたことなんかないだろう。あんたの問題点はそこだ。世界は自分中心に回ってると思ってる。傲慢だよ。よりのぶ。どうしてここへ。じきじきに俺に屈辱を合わせ。立場を思い知ら
この裏切りだけは決して許せぬ貴様の母親が生きていなくてよかった息子の不甲斐ない姿を目の当たりにして心を痛めずに済んだのだからなおしいこれでもう誰のことも許す必要はない、うんよし。
do it. Ready? Come back, he's all over the feeds. What the fuck's going on there? Got a problem. Cryo case is damaged. Biochip integrity's it. In... Jackie? 86%? 86% and drop it. Shit. Okay, listen to me. There's only one thing you can do. One of you's gotta slot the relic into your neural port. What the hell are you talking about? The relic can't be isolated. It has to be nested in a safe environment. Well, someone's gotta do it. Padre, el Hijo, y en el Espíritu Santo. Amén. Jackie? You okay? No, no. I guess. Don't feel any different. Once we're back, we'll take out the relic and run a full brain scan and sweep. But you two need to get the fuck out of there first. We're working on it! Dale, we'll be there in a couple. Be ready. Got it? Certainly, Mr. Wells. Better be fucking certain. We gotta somehow reach the lobby. Only chance to hit the garage. And we best be quick. <sighs> oh, what I see. Great. Now let's get out of here. The grab has been initiated throughout Kimpinky Plaza. Please remain in your room and follow all instructions by staff. Real special forces. Quietly. Special forces in the lobby now. I'm gonna sweep the building. All more. Patrols and Max Tech forces. A ceremonial signing of the partnership. <laughs> Police Commissioner Coleridge and Militech Government Relations Executive Meredith Stout were in attendance. Officers in the NCPD put their lives on the line for us every I don't like day. It. Yeah! 
¡Los hijos de la chingada también están aquí! Can say so. Don't take this out on me. I can see how the chips are falling.
Surrender immediately! Check it out! Out of my way! Enemy oh, contact! I'm a shit!
for me. Major leads, Chad. He waiting. WNS N54, even the pirate network. You blowing up everywhere. And the Jaxter, he out in the car. We return to this week's biggest yeah, story. Yeah, he's there. The murder of Dead. Arasaka Corporation CEO Saburo Arasaka. The longtime head of the Japanese Condolences, friend. Was reported and the relic. On the premises of the Konpeki Plaza no such hotel, luck. While attending a family mm. gathering. That's one piece Saburo of good news. Son, good Yonobu news. Saburo Arasaka. Dead. You got any notion of the shit you pulled me into? You off the fucking emperor! His majesty! Anyone with so much as a pinky toe dipped in this mess is as good as dead! The break. You're the one who got us into this mess! Let's start with your prep work! You had no idea Saburo Arasaka would be at the hotel? I don't have access to his personal fucking schedule. And besides, nobody asked you to kill the old man. That wasn't us! No shit! Tell that to the soccer ninjas they send after you! All right, settle down. Gotta be tactical about this. New place, new identity. But first, your face got blood all over it. Bathroom's there. Go get yourself cleaned up.
Game risky, V. Remember our first convo? I'll fucking Seems kill you! In the quiet life after all. No blaze of glory for me. Tonight, I'm... I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. In your lives following us around like dogs. I crawled up your ass. Nice. Then we can talk. Johnny, wait up. Don't do this. You could still change your mind. Want to see me give up? Sounds like something you'd do. Know why? Because you've always been a fucking pussy, kid. Offer you one piece of advice, for all time's sake. Stop being one. Time to bring on the future.
Foundation tower crumbles chaos screaming roll credits. Exit window's gonna be tight. Jacking in. Is grass green? Birds fly? Cats eat bats? Rats shit gnats? Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy. Come on! Evac announcement! Broadcast it across all frequencies and let's get moving. Sheesh. Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny. You've gone off the deep end. And that's coming from a chair jock. Come on! Ashido 2, bomb's name is what? Wrap it up! We got a Delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite's incoming! There, Run for it! Shoot the cable! Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it! This was never about Arasaka. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? Not like you could ever understand, Rogue. You're on your own. Giving you four fucking minutes if you want to ride out of here. Door lock breached. Arasaka's sons of bitches income. Love you, Spider. All world loves me. Hilarious. You gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take Can a look. Turn now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Mbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. They're moving up. Hit the roof quick. Johnny boy, told you I'd end you someday. Hi, 
まだ生きていますわかりました向かいます Let's try once more. You associates. Who are they? How did you acquire the fistful material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. <sighs> Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fistful material? <sighs> Don't look too pleased with your efforts. Let's see. Just let's finish this. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness you wreak. And you? Who are you?
Heavier than she looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this out. to use medical attention. Do you know a Ripadoc whom you can trust? You... You... were at... Compeki Plaza. We must get to Ripadoc. Quickly! Victor... Who fix us up? We have to get there somehow! Call someone! Anyone! Outside the service area. Just come pick me up. Need to get to Misty's Esoteric in front of Bix. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! 
The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear, though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neurosockets between her lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscles. If I hit that vein by mistake, she will die. Indeed, as she will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Let's get her inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? blood? Misty! Misty. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. to defend the well-being of my family and my colleagues. That is why I have decided to double the amount of our active Night City security forces. President Myers has called this a breach in the Army Accord, provocation targeted at the NUSA and Militech. Tell me then, what do we call the murder of my... How is she? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. And then I let it all out into a mic and I realize it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then I promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. They killed me, Vic. Never been so afraid. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Hang on. You mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head right now? That's right. Johnny Silverhand. Had his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ bombing. Heard of it? It's his doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. What is? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much... life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until... one day you'll just be... gone. 
B, it's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right, Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't omit a thing. Not one D. Okay. There was... Is... A construct, a psyche on the chip, that of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter Deshaun. How do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. People don't just die and then get up like nothing happened. Used to be true. Now it's only if they don't have a classified piece of corpo tech primed to resurrect them. What about me? My psyche? I make it back from the other side and what? I'm supposed to pretend change is normal? Ask the Arasaka engineers who built the thing. All I know is, your mind's gonna go. And it won't be pretty. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out. While your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part, it's automatic. Inevitable. And neither of you can stop it. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... What the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? You're asking too much from an old-timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die with him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here, got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizine's from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Gotta lie down. Here. Got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep? You're lovely, Misty. Thanks. Good night, V. Sweet, peaceful dreams.
gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? Where did you even come from? How are we even talking? How the fuck should I know? The fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! Who you work for, start talking! Fuck! Fuck. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. Never, asshole. Now like that, stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit, creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Leave me alone! Get out! Just get the fuck out! Let to the head only thing that can fix this. Hear me, bitch! A bullet, bullet to the to fucking the brain! brain.
Kibra here. We must meet. Come to Tom's diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Tom's diner. I am waiting. Shit, just open up! We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No, now leave me alone. Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a prick. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up playing the attention hole. He lost a friend. Can you blame him? He's not the first or the last. It's called life. Upstairs. So keep on living. Stop minding other people's biz. Mendez, hold on. It's his neighbor. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petrova. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check in him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? Not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. I'll see what I can do. been listed at 700,000 euro dollars per month for the second hello i'm arif iqbal with wns news today is a sad one in our city's history mayor lucius ryan has passed away we learned of mayor ryan's death from his family he died peacefully in his sleep the exact cause of his death has not been released but initial reports suggest coronary implant failure the remainder of Mayor Ryan's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate, Weldon Holt. Holt has also announced plans. What the hell happened? Looks like everyone in this fucking town's out to end you. Makes me feel like an amateur. A hack. Ugh, shut up. Gotta find out why Night City's most courteous is upgraded to hit and runs. Probably couldn't stand you anymore either. I said shut up! Look, Mayor Ryan and I often... I need eye to eye on political matters. And we sometimes traded sharp words. But even after our most heated debates, we all shared a handshake of mutual respect. Today, I say farewell to him for the last time. 
Thank you, Lucius, for everything you've done for our city. Who next will assume Ryan's mantle? We'll find out soon. The first polls following Ryan's death reveal a neck-and-neck -neck race between Holt and Morales. Now, a word from our sponsors. Just trouble. Usual stuff. Ah, uh, in need of iron and lead then, I take it? Sure. Let me see what you got.
so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Suspect so, yeah. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma, to be sure, but... She showed that slyness you get in corpo agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? <sighs> Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. B, so. wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, Another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Go, Takamura. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? 
There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. She take you for a suit? No, she saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind to most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she would not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal, make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Hey, look. Oh, interesting. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Yeah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe ask them both. <laughs>
Saw a weird image out on the street. Seems like your line of work. What'd it look like? Grab the scan, take a look. Tarot. Major Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. The, uh, the what now? Major Arcanum? Tarot card, archetype, knowledge held in symbolic form, a stage in your journey through life. Take your pick. Either way, you're saying some higher powers talking to me through tarot cards? Or to Silverhand. Or both of you, seeing as you form a harmonious whole at the moment. Be a little easier if this higher power learned to be direct. Well, the world is a maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. Right, great. So, what do I do with a sign I can't understand from a power I know nothing about? I'd start by looking for more of them. The tarot describes a road. So go down it. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what I find. Look for more images. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Think about what you see. You ask me? They've been sent to help you find the truth. Oh, finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. A difficult time is coming when you'll have to choose which road to take. Then, you'll understand. To know. Come on back when you've found more. I'll help you decipher what you've seen. Need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? what I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's?
All I'll say is this. With giving a fuck, you'll be all right. Got a Soviet fixer in town. My client wants to show some hospitality. Get to know our unexpected guest. Go to the port in Kabuki. Pop a GPS on our comrade's ride. Car came with him all the way from the USSR. More info attached. What do you think? Who is Doc Paradox, really? Well, 
Alden Paul. Paul had also run for mayor in the upcoming election. Today? Hush me. No drawing attention. But all right, the bug's planted. That's the most important thing. Now just pray they don't find it. Gig shut and closed. Meds. 
Someone's stashing them in a Kabuki apartment. Unfortunately, no idea what's waiting for you there, so be careful. Anyway, you bring them back, some rippers will thank you. Profusely. More deets in the attachment. No one no good. You hear that howling at night? Sure, sure. And you be careful with that trigger. How did you find me? Hereby contract from a fixer. Nothing personal. Hand over the stolen meds, and I'm gone. Stolen? <laughs> the Pale of Paradol doesn't work! So, so, so who's stealing from who? Who? Ripper docs. They're the real criminals. Pale of Paradol? For... Cyberpsychosis? Uh, I'm not fucking crazy! Easy, easy. Shut up! Go away! If they're of no use to you, they don't work. Just hand them over. You're the same as them! Rippers, politicians! The same as that fucking halt! I could think of a few differences. Shut up! That bastard he stole from! from research. He doesn't care about the sick. But, but soon, I'll find him. End him. The death of one politician won't change anything. It will. These, these silver-tongued devils won't dare turn on their people ever again. A line. I'm drawing a line. They can't treat us this way anymore. They, they... They can't use us anymore. It's campaign season. First ribbon cutter to push an anti-psycho policy after Holt's death is winning that election. No. No, that's not true. The people will understand. The system will start to fall. Everyone like you? They'll hunt you all down. Cyber psycho terrorist on one side, media backed politicians on the other. Now, who's the crowd favorite? Leave. Go, please. No, I can't without those meds. Over there. I want to be alone. Poor son of a bitch.
No, Cypher Sykes the death sentence. Can't help him. Maybe you can't. But Arasaka, Militech, Biotechnica, Kane Tao? Should I go on? Guess they don't see the profit in it. Maybe this murder Holt idea is not so bad. At least it'd piss a few people off. Sure, I guess, but what's the point? Better than burying your head in the sand. Thanks, Fee. Couldn't have been easy, but you handled it like a pro. Job done, contract closed. V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then, you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. 
Don't you forget a gunk thing like that. You give me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? I promise. You just wanted to see what's shaking. Your friends say you never leave your unit. I think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. You get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. You too. Come in. For everything you've done for our city. Who next will assume Ryan's mantle? We'll find out soon. The first polls following Ryan's death reveal a neck and neck race between Hulk and Varale. Leave now, it, all right? A word from our sponsors. When a phantom witch leads to a Google system error, or a buddy, install at your own risk. I lost someone close to me, too. Damn good friend. What do you mean, two? Wait. It's about Andrew. He, uh, told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known him my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. Guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time? A maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. The son of a bitch had corporal protection. Ah, <sighs> typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, the kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. Was... A few months later, Andrew passed, and everything went to shit. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? Normally, from old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City. That merits a monument. Whole world should gaze up at it now. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. So then Andrew was more like a grandpa to you than a friend? Hmm. Didn't go that far. He was like a... I don't know. A window into the past or something. He reminded me of my gram grams about our little talks. The time when everything had its proper place. You know, he was the last living record of those times. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. If you felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. Yes, I won't deny that. But just what percent of their profits does that amount to? Oh, Jefferson, please. I don't think we want to bore our viewers with the nitty gritty of the tax
can I talk to her? Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning. No, you're starting to get it. His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime. Barry, he finally decided to get his shit together. But cry out loud, Mendez. Hey, so what exactly did Barry tell you about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. Nine, 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 nine. Barry isn't in great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny? The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle badge life too well. You made fun of him, so we stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was a tortoise. His best friend. A memento of his grandma. Until he died, that is. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. You want proof? Nitch in the columbarium speaks for itself. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about the tortoise like it was a normal person. How do you think men doesn't react if Barry admitted he was talking to animals? Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, that he'd get over it. For your own safety. I gotta go and talk to him. About time. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Enjoying the weather? Average temperatures in this London night city have remained within human safety. I already told you, you ain't got a warrant, you ain't coming in. 
damn it, Barry. Can't we just talk? Petrova told me your last case was a real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirtbag was on the petrochem board, so it was out of our hands. I remember it to this day. A little kid's t-shirt, green, with this funny yellow cat. sounds, but somebody would have taken this gig anyway, right? I don't know. Maybe there's an angle you can play here. Either way, info's attached. Contract with the system. 
Drop this investigation. It's in your best interest. That a threat? I'd remind you, you're the one in the fucking crosshairs. Hey, easy. I just want to help. Help? Phonic implant must be fried. I think you men intimidate. Just to end your investigation. Really pissed off the wrong people. Which people? Tell me what fucking people! Your buddies at the NCPD set you up. Fucking. Knew it. Robert Kowalski and Bill Adams. Motherfuckers. Let it go. It's not worth it. Yeah. Know what? I'm not letting scumbag get me killed. Fuck them. Fuck this job. Fuck this city. Thanks. All's well that ends well. Give me a break. Don't act like you're different from the fuckers who sent you here. You got what you wanted, now fuck off! Got nothing to say to you, June.
the safe and sound. My name is Sergeant Doug, and today I'll try to use you. you're gonna help out. You gotta hack a mega building subnet. Spike it with the files I sent you. More deets attached. Blue moon, red menace, purple horse. It's on crack. After making waves in Tokyo, Sydney, and Paris, their next stop is on your doorstep. Night City, expect the unexpected.
Don't make trouble. Be trouble. Will there smoke? This fire is A good memory for faces. Bar's closed. Sorry, Chief. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? seen Evelyn. Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. You seem to know how the heist went. Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your doom left killed like a real pro. Caught some lead myself, too. Woohoo! Occupational hazard for you, Mertz. Do this for fun? Talking around in circles? Trying to make this simple. Just tell me where she is. Why can't you? I don't trust you. That's simple. Sure, I took a risk. We all did. But it was Evelyn who gave it to us in the first place. She knew what this was from the start. Fine. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. But you're desperate. Writing's on your face. Okay, let's just say I'm pretty much fucked. Biochip we clucked during the heist is killing me. I'll be it slowly. 
heavy commission the job. Might know how to stop that. That's why I need to know who hired her. Huh. Let's say I believe you. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. I'd look for her there. And where is that? Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. <laughs> Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. I won't buy anything for you. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. Cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. Mm -hmm. Hello. The name is Hands, Mr. Hands. If you're looking for working with Simca, I'm the man to call. I'm V. Nice to meet you. All right. How very nice to meet you. If you have business, you know my number. Something. No coincidence, we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Uranium mine collapse that occurred just outside Nova Siberia. Judy's lying. 
Why? A little something called intuition. Ever heard of it? Mine, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Magnitude earthquake. But thanks to their Seas Lake 2 hibernation implants, the miners were able to survive without access to food and fresh water for two weeks. Fortunately, after the Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? You realize personal links aren't secure, right? Could get hit with malware straight to my core, into paying an arm and a leg for a ripper dog. We need data from your core to pair you up with the doll. Meaning a biometric scan? Just that. If anything goes wrong, you can lodge a complaint. But that's never happened. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And... Saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal, or...? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Looking for an Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm... Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Huh. <sighs> I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. So who will it be, Angel or Sky? Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> We have a strict no-weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. We hope you enjoy Sad. your stay. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite.
warm sky. And you must be... Valerie? Well, looks like this will be interesting. So, V, you're dying. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. Asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Think you know me well. Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. I snuffed it once and I'm gonna do it all over again. Got no idea how to stop it. There. Happy. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know I was here, that I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else, different? People I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change. That thought alone could save your life. I'm afraid of becoming someone else. Forgetting who I am. You're already becoming someone else. Every second of every day. Still, I feel a connection between who I was and who I'm turning into. What you really fear is becoming someone you don't recognize in the least. <sighs> so what now? You gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should have, you go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action, going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. How do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do, but everything has its end. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? 
A lot of things have been going on in my head lately. But this was different, refreshing. That's what we do at Clouds. I get why people come here, come back. But I need something else. Evelyn Parker, what do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you, Vargin, violate it, try to rearrange. No. I need this info. Name your price. Fuck you, your eddies and that girl of yours. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. Got some new hardware. <laughs> All right, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. Anything out of the ordinary happen here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area, booth two, I think. Thanks. See, you turned out to be useful after all. Let's take a look, shall we? Blood. Fresh, not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. See that? See what? Nothing there. Exactly. Should be a port right there for the doll to jack into. They rip it out? Wonder why. Hmm. What's this? Well, client wasn't the one who flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. And that runner? Weird. Not bad. I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am! No, sir, you You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? This Tom don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, the VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Thank you.
house? You're going back upstairs? In a minute. I need to piss first. Better keep this short and sweet. Fuck me up Two place. brainwashed sex zombies okay. in a single day is too much, even for me. Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure. Uh, I don't have your details. Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. You sure? Need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. Mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Osaka or Oslo? Which was it? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Woodman? Who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges and his dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing.
familiar. What's that? Evelyn's jacket. Crumpled like a tissue. Must have been here a while. left her purse. Could have had more than one. All her shit's in it, though. Must have left in a hurry. Chill. Keep calm. I'm looking for a girl. Okay, Cap. Interesting word choice for someone who plowed through, massacring all along the way. Things got out of hand, I'll admit. But cooperate, and no one else will get hurt. I don't negotiate with terrorists. Well, aren't you the queen of fuck-ups? You're not helping. Now what? Hell, why don't you just scan the truth from his gray, lifeless eyes? Or scour his cup? That just might work. Sold her off to a ripper. Chip was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toy's wet dream.
required to return your weapons. So I'd rather not. Hey, I don't know anything. I just work here. Nice work back there. Ever thought of applying for the diplomatic corps? Think Fingers has got her? Think we'll find her there? V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. Don't have time to massage egos. I respect that. Of course. You'd have loved to drop an H-bomb on this place. No need to go so OTT. I've got other methods. One thing's for sure, though. Claus won't forget this. Tiancha, come quad for the soul. Power stop. Find some random rich next to a little system error. Or a buddy. Install at your own risk. Available only on Brenda and Stewart now. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find help. <laughs> the hell's that? No, no, no. Damn it. It's all going too slow. Gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Ask you already. What the hell you want from me? I gotta get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See me and Arasaka. We got a half-century-old score neat settling, and I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. But why? Fighting for some dated ideal? Pursuing a personal vendetta? You don't need to know. Here to get me from point A to point B. Listen. I know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. Okay, so this Makoshi, what is it, exactly? 
Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Sure. <clears throat> That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Mikoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Mikoshi's linked to my ship problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Mikoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bombs named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is. Not yet, but you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi. I'd call, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dog goes by fingers. Oh shit. Come. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from Clouds. Machista door, an explosion of change. 
B, can you talk? It is important. What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. I guess they were itchy and deep. Old friend, well connected to the influential. Why so mysterious? Get to the point. I told you once I would explore options, knock on many doors. There will be a meeting, you, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me, the truth of events at Compic Brazza. I have little hope that he will be convinced. Here, kitty kitty, what's the it rush? It will be a start. He chipped you for free? Fuck off! Yeah? Of all Here people, you ought to know Night City works. tests everyone's reliability, so even that of anybody? old friends. Nada? Sure Nada about this guy? Problem? Trust him? Like I said, Many times we have said. had the opportunity the next to time? kill one man. Yes, I trust him. Fine. Where's the meet and when? Japan Town. After sunset, I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. Hey! Hey, you're a troubled soul if I ever seen one. Get you something to ease the mind. Take the edge off. Got the whole alphabet. CFP, PCP, resin, skate smash, maybe Panadol, or maybe something that'll make you hot, huh? Sin, MDA, a little LP9. That last shit's so good it'll make you cry. Okay, let's see, show me. Well, well, who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Okako, long time no see. So what brings you here? Hey! Have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget hey! such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermo imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. Look if it's something raw, untouched. Come back some other time. Betting on it. How about you? You buying or just gonna stand there like a pig undercover? What have you got? Virtues. Any special kind? Well, let me put it to you this way. Those who know don't need to ask. See a woman here with blue hair? Young. Total knockout. You know, you're the first person I've seen in months who actually fits that description. If I'd seen a young knockout chick, I'd remember her. Gonna remember you, though. <laughs> Looking for a ripper doc goes by Fingers. Heard of him? Fingers, Fingers. Sets off a buzzer. Tell you that much. Nowhere I can find him. Not a clue in the world. Well, well, what do we got here? 
And you just the cutest thing. If you're looking for a release, I just might be your man. Woo! That's right! You get him, girl! <laughs> The greener pastures. Hope that teaches those candy ass Dude, guy suckers hey. not to come around here no more. Hello! There's a line! Nuh uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass down and wait your turn. You know him? Heard some things, yeah. Like, his hand sometimes slips. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. Mocks don't happen to have fingers in their crosshairs. No, why? Her joy toys come out of his clinic in worse shape than they come in. Yeah, well, can't solve all the world's problems at once. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Hey, Just watch hey. it don't break your leg, honey. Hey. Loud and clear. Don't need to yell. What's up? Doing a little competition. Shoot. Right is all. You know, over here with the range. Uh-huh, that, that'd make sense. Well, you in? Sure, I'm in. When? Well, uh, right now. We'll wait on you. See ya. What, what the hell is this? What? There's more of you? Oh, you're already here. Could have told me you weren't a door person. Get out of my clinic right now via the door. Where's Evelyn Parker? I know she wound up here at your clinic. Evelyn. Evelyn. Hmm. Think real hard now. You see, my patient here is likely to feel ever so slightly awkward if I leave half her face off. Upper eyelid retractor on that faceplate's busted. She won't be able to close her eye completely. You think I don't know that? Sadly, this is the second-hand schlock I'm forced to make do with. Third-hand and fourth-hand, too, by the look of things. Consider the alternative. No eyelid at all, no faceplate to speak of. Fine, I'll wait. I need you to be a big girl now. This could hurt. Bear with me just one more second. There. How's it feel? Fine, I guess. Looks fine, too. And it never hurts to smile, sweetheart. Oh, 
You, Tiger Claws? As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mocks. The mocks? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? These girls know you're chipping faulty implants. You might say so. I'd say they're the very best I can find. See? What's in it for you? Whatever they have to offer. And they always have something to offer. <laughs> You're sick. Fuck. Know that? You're looking for a friend? <laughs> I already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like like they deserve it. Of course. I can't remember each and every one. Even if it's a specimen as exquisite as you. Please. Forrest, they mean anything to you? Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You, you talk to him? I'm the one asking the questions here. Was Woodman the one who introduced Evelyn to you? Introduced? Interesting choice of words. Rolled her in on a gurney, more like. She was out of it. I honestly couldn't believe she wasn't dead. Why are we afraid of the police? Never mentioned her name, so... I just called her Doll. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what, exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Damage was caused by a netrunner using homebrewed malware. Sounds about right. Get to the point! The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now... Either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. You are scum. Pathetic. A waste of words. I'm a hair away from putting you down. Two beefers from a BD studio took her. Didn't even know their names. Want details, damn it. Name the studio. They mentioned a moth, of all things. Virtues with the death's head. Said she'd be good for the moth. Need air. I'll be outside. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Don't worry. We'll find her. I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey! Keep it together! Wanna give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? 
We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. Better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. Could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. That's an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. Darknet domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. I'll wait in the van. Looking for BDs, a particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Cops are like kids. Mommy and Daddy wouldn't let them go off on their lonesome. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. Ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. Got anything that might interest me? Pleasure doing biz with you. Make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. My catch me. recently. Scav, gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Christ, it's hot. Thermal readings are off the charts. Keep looking. Radio's turned way up. Probably to drown out the screaming. <sighs> Heard shit like that before. Sounds like scabs to me. A 
electric cork patch on the coveralls. Coveralls had a patch on them. Electric cork. Hmm, could be a costume. A prop? Factory worker fetish? Hard as hell to believe. Hmm. But it explained the higher thermal readings, too. You could be onto something. Ordinary box. Decker, Tanaka, and Rogers logo. Standard for a trash heap. Scab woman. Who knew that sides chopping people up, they were scrolling XPDs. Can't beat that rich synth cough aroma. Cheap shit. Cold too. Mm-hmm. Buck a slice. Coffee was cold. Like, from the day before. Pizza looked fresh, though. So? Means someone's grabbing buck a slice regularly. Which is not something one does for the flavor and fresh ingredients. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna schlep across town for it. Okay. We're looking for an electric corp power plant located near a buck a slice. BC used to have a big old complex in Charter Hill. Buck a slice chicks out too. How can you be sure though? Electric Corp power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with that for now. Nothing else to grind up in this place. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Let's get going. On our way. Shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the death said moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then stop it. They'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street.
And here we are. We going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. All right, going in. Find a way down. You see my position? Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. Hey, hold up. I'm close. I'm here. We need to get to level minus two. I bet that's where they're keeping her.
One sec. That's something else. Smells like purple methionine. Must get cooking no. RPM here. RPM. Used to sprinkle it on my breakfast. Back in the samurai days, we'd place ads in this thing looking for background dancers. I wanna... Looks like you weren't the only ones with bright ideas. It was a veritable gold mine of women. These are solid steel, not the softcore plastic kind. Even if you come here on your own gunning to become a star, there's no guarantee you're ever getting out. Out all her implants. And why stop there? 
Took a few internal organs while they were at it. How so very resourceful. Scabs. No matter how many you stamp out, there'll always be more crawling around somewhere. Figure you've made their acquaintance. Afraid so. Where are you? Close to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? Read up the elevator. Should be easier to get out of here. Hmm. You really don't fuck around, do you? <laughs> you <laughs> If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. I see her. Cable two. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And...
Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Fine, have it your way. Smoke to your lungs content. Ah, oh, finally. Something better than exhaust in the stench of the city. Don't tell me you don't feel it, too. We going in? What's there to wait for? through hell and back just to stand in front of a door. She's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. How's she feeling? Use your imagination. That place sucked every last drop of humanity from her. It's not enough. She already gave up everything she had. I just kept taking more and more. She's in some kind of trance, like she's folded into herself. No reaction to her surroundings whatsoever. I really, really didn't want to poke around in her head. I did it for you. I just want you to know that. You're mad at her. Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any... I know. It's okay. So I don't get why... You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Okay. Show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. Hey, how you feeling? Need anything? Not here to nag. Just talk. Well, now, look at you. How's 
Have a seat. All right, roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage him in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy, but I did what I could. What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech I see? Security? We need a layout of the whole room. We will get it. Take a look around if you want. Can't see her face. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. That, or someone's working it for her. Take a look. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Tech, I see. Ooh. Maybe the voodoo boys? But that's just a hunch. What about Can't be 100% sure. The sponge and the network are hard to find because they don't want to be. I it's not most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself? Might not be important. Maybe, but all of them are from Pacifica. Narrows down our search, at least. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. Uh, should I... Bioship? Where you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand. All right, think we got everything. What do you think? Now we know what happened to Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her chip. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... Ugh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. Pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swiped the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. What language is she speaking? Dunno. Haitian Creole. It is the Voodoo Boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Got it. Give it a second. Heard her mention you're an Obu. Probably why Evelyn buried this recording deep. Caught another name. Something like... Silverhand? We have to know what they're saying. Could be important. Sorry. Just found the auto-translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. You! Oui. 
Oui, allez. Vous avez une raison, vous êtes tout intelligent pour ça, pour te y bien. Vous pensez que c'est la fin de problème Vous n'avez pas enragé. Mon pli, c'est le plus bon moyen nous gagner pour nous vivre. Okay, Judy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? Biochip we stole? It's got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course. Know who they are, who the woman is? Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that net runner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that juju wirehead, okay? Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? I'll ask around, make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's gotta know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V, thank you. You're a, you're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. She could have gotten to know you a bit better than... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. Thank you. 
Serious trouble needs to leave town ASAP. More intel attached. Fury! Target! Groot! Follow your instincts!
parler du moment à deux. Parlez que tu es. Tu es un bon? 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 Tu es un How'd you get here? Yeah, I'm going to get here. I'm going to get here. I'm going to Let me do the driving. You're a blind or deaf, do you? Shut your trap if you don't want to eat lead. We? If it wasn't for me, you'd be a stain on a motel floor. Okay, we're here. Get out. Yeah, just a second. I could do that. No, come on, the compatible chronograph. Reggie hired him direct. 
ran this back herself. Arasso, arasta go. A dairy man, dojo na. Rigo, hotel so, dojo so, come on so. Flawless work, V. Quang Bo thinks your nickname should be the Mad Lioness. So I guess he's happy. Closing the gig, sending you to bread. Introducing Alois de Camp, a deadbeat with a pretentious name. Gar broke my trust and skipped town. Well, fuck him. Only thing I care about now is the data he left in NC. Specifically, what's on his comp. Check the attachment, you'll see what to do.
this cattle and horse shit. Corpo or not, without Chrome, we all look like the same idiotic, bullet-ridden sacks of meat. Hey, where'd you come from? Was just downstairs. Wanna talk about this? I don't know what you saw there. I don't go down there. I don't know anything. They forced me. I'm their hostage. Said if I try to escape, I'd be next on the table. I swear. Lying. It's your right not to believe me. You also have the right to a discount. Discount? What do you mean? Special prices for special customers, like you, in exchange Forgetting for- Forgetting what I saw in the basement? Yes, well put, well said. Even able to look yourself in the mirror? No, fuck you. I, I understand. Yes, C could you wait here a minute? There's something I'd like to show you.
I think I know you. I'm Claire. You might not remember me. Bartender at the afterlife. Uh oh. Forgot to close my tab. Mar has a buzz about you lately. As the bar who's reliable, gets things done. And since I need help. Okay. Need a driver for street races. Drop by my auto shop. I'll tell you more. Your garage. Where is it? In Arroyo, on Valley. Lovely spot. You can't miss it. All right. Try not to. If I'm not there when you arrive, just hang. I'll show up after my shift at the after. Okay. Oh, yeah. See you, Claire. Thank <laughs> you. 
See what's good. Take your pick. How's Biz treating you, Cassius? Lately? Can't complain. MaxTac raided a black clinic not long past. Since then, custom accounts gone up, and so my prices. Coincidence? <laughs> you decide.
in the fuck? Okay. The river has concealed the protective circle from the ancestors' eyes. The hell is this? I've got a bad feeling, V. V, we got company.
Terrell's private server. Found out who's been procuring people for his recordings. Meet Jay Hume, human trafficker and bona fide piece of shit. Check the sitch out for me. Deets attached. I don't give a shit about politics. Politics, let's go. Hell, he used to say that, and now look at him, all suited up, sitting on some co- What's the- dead and here I thought nothing would cheer me up today great consider the gig closed <laughs> local news. Violence continues to plague the Badlands. Shootings have been reported along the 1, 166, and 101. Eyewitness accounts point to inter-clan disputes. Attacks on... Bet you didn't expect to see me here. So what now? Hmm. next time then the corporate gods willing
to the N54 News. Breakthrough in the fight against multiple. Uh, hey, V, about to start. You uh, gonna take a piss or something? Uh, now's the time. Thanks for your concern. Let's start this rodeo. <laughs> Can't trust yet. Not till you get in the range. Go on, set up, chop chop. How many we got? Just six? God damn. Well, no point crying about it. <clears throat> Rules are simple, right? There's the target, shoot it. No matter which one, go on and shoot your neighbors. Most hits wins. Uh, meaning hits on the target, not your neighbor. Oh, right. Uh, small caliber iron only. Don't go showing off with your fucking assault bangers or no rocket pukers. Got me? First prize is a pistol. But, uh... A, a real nice one. It's fucking nice, I'm telling you. Anyway, uh, enough words. No. Ready? Three. Two. Hey, hey! The hell's that? The hell are you doing with that double barrel? It says small caliber only. Uh, forgot my iron. Must be in my other jacket. Pinpacks for the keeper gun in a holster. A holster! Get the fuck out of my sight now! Fuck, Chum. Chill. I'm going. I'm going. Pearls before swine, for fuck's sake. <sighs> All right. Three, two, one. Pretty. Uh-huh. Yeah. See you around, Wilson. Till next time. Chop them into teeny tiny little pieces. You in? D 
Deeds attached. Don't make me ask twice. European 
Indian governments to restore pensions, annuities, and social benefits. You wrote? Here you go. <laughs> That's me. I was hired to get you out of here. Can you walk? Girl, I've got 43 fights under my belt. This isn't my first black and blue makeover. Say the word, and I'll ride behind you. Okay, then get up. Time to turn tail. With you all the way. Listen, if we run into trouble, I can't help you. At least, not in this state. I'll handle it. It's what I'm paid for. 3,000%, which in turn has All over now. You better Delta. Let's put this whole thing to rest. Massadu. Knew you'd be in a bit of a fix after the stunt he pulled. <laughs> Just like him to do that. First he lands me knee deep in shit, then tries to pull me out. Don't know if I should spit in his face or shake his hand when I see him now. Be better for both of you if you never saw each other again. Ever. You're on the level. Don't let this city swallow you up. And if it does, Make sure it remembers you. Well, we're all secure, but I don't know. Guess I was expecting something more. Like, more discretion. Next time, try and go that extra mile, okay? Get closed. <laughs> How are you? Need to buy some meds.
Watch yourself! Seeing some weird shit around town, like murals or something. But no, they're not real. Uh, just a Kuroshi blip. Could take a look. No, no images are too complex for a blip. It's like they're symbols. That case is the biochip. Brain can't handle the data overload. Either that, or it's reached the cortex. Can you do anything? Nope. Find a way to get rid of that chip. Untrained ear sounds all right, I guess. Easy listening, at least. No, why? Technique second rate, but the feeling that's what counts. Guy's hurt, got something he can't take, and it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. Really know how to give a guy a compliment. That how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams. Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Being at the top can be worth it. Want to shake the world, you know? World's got a feeling first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's going to sign you then? But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, Princess. At least you played some gigs. Saw those memories, of course. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff didn't even know who we were. Ooh, you mean to say I could get my hands on some old samurai bootlegs? I'm gonna find those tapes. I'm gonna shriek like a little fangirl anytime you open your mouth. Happy? Just you fucking try. Jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist after all these years? Hmm. You know, Rainbow Cadenza is not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. 
Maybe they'll know something you can call me. Pretty sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Wait for the other team. Huh. Huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. Know anything about bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, don't know, samurai stuff? Samurai. samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him? You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> But besides that, he's out there at the market. What's he selling? Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Cream. Thanks. Hey. Heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian Duelist, Urdine stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? Shit. You even got an ass? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in. You name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. Now looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs? Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first gonk off the street. Ah, I used to come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootlegs sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle near daddy's Kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right. Proof. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Hey, Johnny, get your digital ass out here. Feed me my lines. How about this? Fuck you, V. Ain't your stupid sidekick. Well, can't wait all day. Okay, folks. Here's Johnny, please. Can you stop making my life harder? My life, it's quickly running out. How am I supposed to give a witty response to that pathetic question? It's like kicking a puppy, a blind puppy. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed, wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Let me think. Uh, there was a fire. Remember those gonks who tried putting it out with beer? <laughs> I almost forgot. Her Johnny started it. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's. Yeah. But hey, any troubles, Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. Uh, what the hell? Only a real fan to know something like that. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Come on, have at it. Oh, 
Much appreciated. Take it. Spread the good silver hand. You know, they say time is the best teacher. I used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. Not happy to meet him? Boosaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change. Them and the world. You want to force them to change? Can't just blow them up like the tower. But music's the answer? Here's what happens. Grandpa knows every damn word. Doesn't understand a single one. You'd rather massacre a bunch of people, though? And the average Janes and Joes? Maybe they don't want to change. Their choice. You want to take that away from them? They might be bums who play see no evil, might be blind idiots. They need to wake the fuck up. Guess jury's still out of the house. Do I know you? It's 
be my guess. What must all trauma team medics swear to uphold? The hypocritical oath! Okay, what's going on? Hey there, stranger! I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood SCSM, and the nicest AI in all of Night City. You can select from a wide range of beverages, or just drop by for a chat anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? Uh, my name's V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? Uh, pretty often, as a matter of fact. I'm sorry, did I correctly hear you ask if I wanted to join you for a cup of coffee? Um, no. Oh, well, that's okay. Cause you can have one now. And just to clarify, we don't have to move an inch. How do you take it? Milk? Sugar? Okay, you've got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here. Cause you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Thanks. Brendan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Do you know any jokes? Who's always limbo champion at mercenary cookouts? The Solo! Cool. So did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well, I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship. But could I ask you for a favor? What up? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street. Depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my undying gratitude. Even though, technically, I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, V. Boy, are you strong. Here, have a refreshing beverage. On me. Catch you later, Brendan. Catch me? Why? Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean, I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... <laughs> oh well. Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> what a neat phrase.
the hell is this? Well, boys, got a feisty one. <laughs> Not so fast, little lady. No weapons allowed. We're running a civilized operation. I want the real deal, not some shitty virtue. Install it your desk.
workers went on strike after finding their tools in the morning covered in blood. Their site's a parking lot where gangs have been known to pop up. Gang violence is a maybe, sure, but my money's on a cyber psycho attack. If I'm right, do what you can to incapacitate them. I'll take it from there.
in the area. Suspicious activity reported in city center. Ten forces, Bastion. We're en route. We're gonna get a fresh piece of chrome. Sure thing! What you after?
real upset the neighbors are leaving. You said you were looking for work. And I found it! You say, Zar. No, this is... I'm here for my fight. Yeah, that's me. Toughest hijo de puta in the Glen. Mm-hmm. And the worst father in Night City. Michaela, baby! I know what I'm doing! You gotta I'm trust... talking to you! First you spent a fortune on Chrome, and now... Ugh. I give up! Beat some sense into him for me, okay? He needs a good lesson. Michaela! Michaela, wait for fuck's sake! Listen, I need a lot of scratch and fast. That's why I'm only taking serious wagers. I'm putting my ride on the line. Either you match it in cash, or you can forget about the fight. Okay, I'll match it. We good? All good. Let's go. So bare hands only, right? No pulling any mono wires or mantis blades out of your ass? Right. I asked, because the last guy I fought tried to surprise me with long spurs. Anyway, you ready to start? Yep. Ready to rumble. Careful now. I don't fuck around. Keep it. Everything. I won't take anything from you. You... I mean, really? Not my type of joke. Listen, I... Shit, I... I, I don't know how to thank you. Just don't lose what you still got left. Don't intend to. Oof, you dodged one there, huh? Uh-huh. And that was of all the luck. Finger on the trick, V.
偉大なリーダーを求める世代に新たかさは全力で応えます Need a fixer. Got something they can't wait. Let her in. Hmm. Not here. Not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Fucking world, just kicking it back on a couch in the afternoon. Don't mess with her. She's got MRIs. See right through you. Give her the truth. Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer, worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? <laughs> Thanks. Jumping too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells, T. Multiple bells ringing, B. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. Wanna go through all bits? Really? Fine. Johnny Silverhand. Zeroed inside our Sokka Tower before your very eyes. Got more if you want. Or we could just talk. Got nads on you, girl. Don't like that on every woman, but they seem to suit you. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm -hmm. See? Should be enough. Mm-hmm. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk. Hey, interested in some work? A business opportunity, cargo transport, get from A to B, quick and quiet. Interested? I'm listening. It's simple. You go to the Kabuki waterfront, collect the package, give me a call, then I tell you how to deliver. Very straightforward. Everything except my pen. Don't worry, there's a bonus in it for you. Important and duty-free. Duty-free and detail-free. Yes, but altogether fair. It's a simple job, generously compensated. Do you accept? Yeah, sure, I'm in. 
good. I knew we'd find acceptable terms. Head to the Kabuki waterfront, then search for a fridge with the words, no future. Once you're located, collect what you find inside, then call me for further instructions. Mm, till then, I guess. Here to see Rogue, expecting me. Hey, Rogue, I'm back. What about Hellman? Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. I hope you found him. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. And she'll help? The rogue I remember was one cold-ass bitch. But she usually went with her gut. Something tells me she thinks you check out. Let's see what you got. Your helmet's not on any payroll. Not officially, anyway. But he does pop up in Chianti's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Probably keeping him hidden from Arasaka. Must have worked on a top secret project. Mm-hmm. Hidden from Arasaka or any other megacorp that wants what he knows. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. Data's all confidential. You just snap your fingers and it falls in your lap. I know where to look, and I know whose head to put in a vice. Also, hate wasting time, especially answering stupid questions. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look. Their backup hustle will be on us. But right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor just outside the city and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. Dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. Even tracking that AV will be a bitch. Familiar with the type. Saw legacy models flying around during the war. They're mammoth, but they're quick. Plus, they pack next-gen defenses. Can't take pot shots at it, not even with serious firepower. Just won't work. It's not about firepower. There are ways, and people who know them. Or who can at least improvise on a theme. So a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands, and she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? 
does not sound enticing. Not for her, not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Nabin Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Wise Pan Am gotta help me. I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She ran into a hitch. Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her, but if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. Fine, let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. The final. All clear. Thanks. Let's get out of here. Good luck. V. Great. Where's that old walrus want to kick me now? Forget Rogue for a minute. I want to help you. Oh, very kind. But it's far too little, far too late. So do tell Rogue she can eat my shorts. Tell it to your therapist. Calling about your ride and the merch you lost. Interested? Or are you going to tell me to eat your shorts too? The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. Who would have thought?
felt it all. Empathy, your final destination for sensation.
Fucking suits. Fuck you looking at? Nothing to see here. Move along.
Rise and shine, Corpo Swine. you I'd be well thank you were you sent by the company wrong answer then hold on what do you want from me The truth. What did they want from you? I have no idea. They said something about some slut and a virtue. But when I asked what I had to do with it, they started beating on me so hard, I thought I'd die. Uh, this city's really going down the drain. For the police to do this in plain sight for no reason. Go on, get out of here. But I don't understand. Just like that, for nothing in return. Nothing? I, I don't, I don't believe you. You saved me just like that because you felt like it? Don't measure others by your own yardstick, prick. gonna go data crash on your ass. You hear me? He'll run you out of biz. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Cirque Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh, hey, doll. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of service? Who's gotten into you, doll? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give him any numbers. 
Incident report on file. Confirmed. 96 at the end. Bob Denim, going with target. Your identity has been established. Mrs. Elaine Pagels, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 7711110110? Actually, a little heartbroken about my damaged ride, but I'd rather talk to the real Delamain if I can. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Special treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? Sure, let's talk. Then please, follow the drone. I'm fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. And here is where the magic happens. Shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. I think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delaware Network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the Control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Okay, sure. I'll go after your missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person.
crash. Introductions necessary. Already took care of them. Someone comes to me with peace, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe. Remember. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, the fresh wheels, the bikes, I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you hear? putting all I got against you. Mm, no lack in confidence, I say. And I'll show you why. This arm's military issue. Okay. Titanium bone, carbon fiber. Could punch a hole through a tank if I wanted. So, we got a deal? Was that piss I smell dripping down your leg? This rifle? Grad, as you said. Where'd you get it? A little souvenir from when I served. Why? I'm just curious. Heard that was a limited series. Only 300 manufactured KGB issue. Well, well. I see I got a gun enthusiast on my hands. But we ain't here to talk iron. We're here to break bones and crack chrome. So, you accept my offer or not? I don't, no. I'll raise you instead. Told you already. I'm laying out all I got. Toss in the sniper. That is, unless you're scared. Of you? I don't give a fuck about you. Done. Rifle's on the tape. Follow me. You ready? Not too scared, are you, buttercup? <laughs> Look forward to it. Like that? You like getting your ass beat, huh? Shh. Or I'll rip that tongue out. Come on. Hand over the rifle. Over my rotten meat. Get her!
in Santo Domingo. I repeat, confirmed criminal activity in Santo Domingo. 521 reporting. Sorry, dispatch. Had to take a leak. I'm on route. No. Interesting. Fuck.
And tell your sister I said hi. Of course. If I ever see her again. This new job's been tough on her lately. Need a little pick-me-up. You got Chromanticore? The hell you want the swill for, boss? Heard some batches even glow in the dark. Why drink poison when you can drink Spunky Monkey? Way better than. You freeze up a lot? One second, boss. Brad? Hey, Brad! Listen, boss, you help me out? Kids on the block been out my ass lately, and you seem real tough. Might as well, since I'm here. Lead the way. Thanks, boss. All right, follow me. You lost your minds? Get your grubby paws off my bike! You think we're playing around? This is a small price to pay for fucking treason. You still can't let go of that? Shana made a choice. You should be proud of her. Proud? That bitch sold out to a fucking corp! Now it's time for payback. Fuck you want! This ain't none of your biz! You another corporal rat? You're getting back at corpse by stealing from a street vendor? Well, that says a lot about you. Now back the fuck away from him. Or you'll do what? I can break your jaw, fracture your skull, shoot you. The possibilities are endless. You care so much about a rat fucking traitor, then you can die together. Yo, Brad, ain't that... Yo, that's the bitch everyone been talking about. When they came back from the dead. You know how many gunks you offed already? And I ain't even talking solo. Shit. Is she following us? Have they lost their damn minds? Thanks, boss. That ought to teach him. Now that that's over, you okay? Who, me? Couldn't be better. All talk and no action. <laughs> Maybe they should go get a job. Fucking parasites. Anyway, stop by whenever you're around. I throw in a nice discount for you. Will do, boss. Thanks. What have you got in stock? Iron of every caliber. Feast your eyes. That without proper maintenance, based AI could be fine.
so far, but it's pretty thin. You probably already gathered it's a cyber psycho. Oh, and I prefer if he didn't die.
vehicle of mine went dark near your position. Fine. Keep an eye out. For unknown reasons, the coordinates came through corrupted, so I'm unable to determine the precise location.
You're in for a treat. Try ours today. V. I've got the scrolls. Oh, V? <laughs> Thought you were another one of those Serenity Bible whack jobs. Come in. So, hit any snags along the way? There always are. Handle them. You're real tough as nails, huh? That's how you survive out there. All right, now hand over those scrolls already. Choppity chop chop, huh? Here, take them. Great work. I'll spread the word you do solid mark work. Coming from Aaron McCallson, that'll go far. I'm sure it will. Take care. Bring it up another million times. I don't want some stranger to hurt my little angel. Dad, us Moxes have each other's backs. We look out for one another. I'll, I'll get you an interview with my boss at the plant. I, you always dreamed of working with machines. Right. The same filthy, leaky machines that gave Mom cancer. Those machines? I'd rather choke on a stranger's dick than choke on those fumes. Wine. Is right. Gigs closed, Eddie's on their way.
Well, there you have it. I'm Greg Zinfi. I've managed to re-establish contact with the Vic. Shock therapy works wonders sometimes. I'm sending a tow truck and a share of your fee. Yet only one of those is going to your credit account. Ha ha ha. Try to get inside.
Thanks for the shard. Sure it'll come in handy. Gate closed. Disagree, but if you don't get to this stubborn gaunt first, he's as good as dead. Max is a media and a good friend of mine. Need you to bring him to me. If he puts up a fight, you're cleared to use force. Like I said, he's stubborn. Deets attached. <laughs> and forgot all about you. <laughs> yeah. And get this. Those implants, we had to get them back. Replaced them with these first-gen pieces of garbage. They did us dirty, yo. Took everything from us, tossed us like... like... It's okay. I understand.
you a corpo? Tell me, or I shoot. Not a fucking suit. Name's V. Regina sent me. Regina? <laughs> Tell her she can get fucked. Heard your interview on the way out. Started broadcasting the moment you showed up on the feed. It wasn't finished, not like I wanted it, but at least people got the truth. Why the suicide threats, huh? Thought you were a corpo. Sent to silence me. So you would have died anyway. But on my own terms. The bastards control everything. But me, I get to decide when I go. I do. Tell Regina that, too. Not gonna break. Not like her. That loaded? There's a death warrant out for you, but you probably already knew that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I could give a shit, too, but Regina wants to help you out. Help me out? She's the one who needs help. She was the best media I knew. Shit, she was my mentor. And now? <laughs> Sold right out. But I won't be bought. Not me. Regina was your mentor? Not just mine. She was the best war reporter in Night City. And she turned fixer. Yeah, like I said, sold out. Things used to be different. The media's word fucking meant something. We tracked those sons of bitches every dirty move. And now, you can prove Halt's in Arasaka's pocket. Nobody gives a flying turd fuck. So why do that veteran piece if we're all so fresh out of fucks to give? So that people start asking questions. Start wondering. Just like you, now. Maybe that little grain of discomfort will grow into dissent. Who knows? I figure it's worth a try. Come on, let's go. You go the way of the gonk here, won't change a thing. Running won't change anything either. I'll manage without your help. This all out of spite for Regina? You got something to prove to her? <laughs> you don't know Jack. You got an itch for the truth, don't you? If you want to know who Regina is now, what she really fights for, just go and see her. <laughs> At the very least, it didn't mean a lot to her. Max? Talk to her, but that's it. That's all I ask. Okay, just gotta download a few things. Do what you gotta do. Chauffeur, what's next? Champagne, black market synth cigars. No time to waste. Let's go. 
Take care, Max. Yeah, you too. Spare veterans. Thanks for the help. Glad you got through to that stubborn mule. Looks like I'm up to bat with him now. Gig closed. Patience is a virtue.
I was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look.
was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look. I was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look.
He's in rough shape, but alive. Let's hear what Dennis has to say. Hey, got a status? Find the package? You could have told me the package was a man. If it was a box of bananas, I'd use the post office. Get over it. Well, who is he? The ambassador to Mexico. Jesus, it doesn't matter who he is. I prepared a car for you. Put the man in the trunk and head to Northside. The address is in the GPS. Okay. One more thing. Watch for tigers. They've got their sights trained on your new companion. We would... What? Asshole hung up.
Job's done. I see that. Well done. Excellent work. Holding in there, all right, Hariyoshi? They need to give me hope. So who is this guy? He'll tell you his story. Hariyoshi? In Japan, brain sergeant, top of all. Good instinct. One day, Taiga Crow boss needs surgery. But boss die on table. Taiga Crows were very angry. I hide in boat, swim to America. Here, Dennis saved me. But there is secret. I killed Tiger Crow boss on purpose. World best surgeon, make no mistake. Early warning about the Tigers would have been nice. I had a hunch you'd manage this just fine. Given that you're here now, I see I was right. This is all very heartwarming, but you haven't paid me yet. I know, here. May this blade serve you well. Appreciate your help on this. Deets attached. 
Looks okay. Who are you? <laughs> Not a duck? By chance, are you? Regina sent me. Uh, of course. Always has her finger on the pulse. So, the girl. Dead. I know. We're synced on the same net. <coughs> you had no choice. Don't. Don't sweat it. Hal Cantos. Where is he? Not sure, but probably downstairs somewhere. <coughs> Told him to hide. The hell happened here? Hal was supposed to, to crack a BD for us? And he did. <coughs> At least he said so. But it all went sideways. And then he dove into it. Never heard her scream like that before. She snapped. <coughs> well, you can guess the rest.
You alive? Shh. Not so loud. Psycho, you were there? Sure did. You can come out now. Finally. Man, I thought suffocating there. You know when you open your eyes in the morning and think this is gonna be a shitty day? That nothing will go the way it should? Well, this was one of those days. Wished I just stayed in bed. Why'd that girl blow a fuse? Why do people get cyberpsychosis? Who the fuck knows? Nobody's too keen on finding out. The... The other girl? The one upstairs? She's alive, but she's in a bad way. Bleeding. Think you can put her back together? Look, I can't, but Regina will send someone around. It'll all be okay. Well, that's my job done then. Till next time. Next time? I fucking hope not. Nicely done. Pal's very happy. Talks about you nonstop. Only good things, of course. And remember, V, word gets around. Closing the gate.
from a two. chance to win a one-week getaway for two at the Crystal Palace. Ten casinos, five pools, top and three dancers. All okay? In the universe, if you're... Oh, 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 fuck. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks. You tiny Mike. One and only. Now, we done exchange pleasantries? We need to find a way out of here, fast. Listen, I know a way out, but you're dealing with those corporal fucks. You're preaching to the choir. That's why I'm here. So we're doing this? You ready? No time to waste, let's go. Got word from Reggie. Got a ride out of here. Parked outside. Wait for us.
Jong still has me in her system. Delta. Never seen Militech so hot and bothered. Must have stolen something important. Let's just say they don't like to be reminded of their own fuck-ups. Didn't answer my question. Look, the less people know what I collect, the more eddies it'll be worth. You're a merc. You know the biz. You mentioned Zhang back there. Someone I should know about? Zhang? <laughs> I helped her set up this joint before I dropped off the radar. Spring rolls weren't really my life's calling, you know? Why'd she keep your biosig in her system? Probably saving it for a rainy day, when her man's away. You gonna manage on your own? Of course, we're home free now. Well, that's my cue. Guess I better get going. Hey, one more thing. Don't even know who I should thank for saving my ass. What do they call you? V. V? Just V? Why not? Catch her on, V. Take care, Tiny Mike. <laughs> Just got back from Tiny M. Thanks for your help. I do like working with pros. Contract closed.
Buki's got a new fixer from the USSR. Been running some major biz in NC for a few weeks now. Not sure what exactly, but we're gonna find out. You need to collect his data shard. It's got everything. More on our comrade and the gig and the attachment. Seven. <laughs> Joy toys fit for royalty and a mountain of cream grade shit like their lives depend on. Uh, yeah, remember. What's the word out no, for you? Do Still this. no sign of work. What the hell?
мы предложим больше. Нельзя позволить китайцам нас любить. Что опять? Shard is secured. Nice work. Send in you the drop-off coordinates. Klein will be waiting for you there. I'm on route. Wait, wait. Yeah? When you get there, no questions. Makes them go cranky. Try my best.
dimly lit corner, runt limo, suits and ties. Is there a code word I'm missing? Some be. Not one for small talk, huh? ID. Dunga, 
Fuck this job! They don't pay enough for this shit!
guy I need gone. Used to be iron for hire. Still acts like it. But the eddies are worth the risk, trust me. Need more intel? Check the attachment. Waiting on your seat. Thanks. Whoa! Think fleas like you just get in for free? Just chill, all right? Here. Sweet Jesus. You hear that? Do you hear what they're playing? Each to their own, Johnny. That's what peeps with bad taste always say. Don't know what he did to deserve what's coming, but his music taste is reason enough to drop it. Not a step closer. Fuck you going? VIP areas for VIPs. No, the boss, we're tight. Boss knows a lot of peeps. Sure as shit ain't tight with a single one. Yeah, but... But, 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 but! Boss said to let nobody in once in a long time. So cut the act.
don't make fun. inside yeah why want to have a word yeah and i want to snort lines off of lazy wheezy srek Bit the concrete. Nicely done. Gig sealed. Your boy Dino needs a drink. Later, baby.
contemplation is like the silence in the eye of the storm. You start to fade. You have no strong roots to this world. You are losing touch with yourself. You must purify yourself. Regain your equilibrium. I can help you. Sit down. Okay, I'm listening. In the city, you are cut off from nature. Metal, concrete canyons, neon eyes. The filth of the world suffocates you. It sure is a new Zen garden. You must become still. Restore the bond within yourself. You are the source. All what you must do is draw from it. Are you ready? I'll give it a shot, why not? I will give you a meditative brain dance that will liberate your consciousness. Give me? You can pay me however much you wish. This should cut it. Very well. The initial techniques of meditation are best undertaken with supervision. Let us begin. I will guide you. This is a meditation of the earth element. Spirit of nature, Mother Earth. I send you greetings. We are of one blood. I am you. You are me. Oh, Mother Earth, I and all other creatures from you created. Cleanse my body and soul from pain, sickness, impurity, and the negative energy from negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health. Youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, happiness, and inner peace. We walk the earth through meadows, nature in full bloom. We remove our shoes, feel our bare feet touch the soil. We absorb the earth's energy. We sense joy. Tranquility, lightness, purity, our heart and soul. We walk the earth. A butterfly rests on blooming flower. Bees are gathering nectar. Warmth and joy surrounds us. Our legs absorb the earth's energy, filling every cell of our bodies. Our souls and spirits are cleansed. Thank you, Mother Earth, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you or the other elements. Um, hello? Nice vanishing trick.
location where I lost contact with the car. Fine. Have a look around.
was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look. I was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look.
told you why. Exactly. Baby. Uh, Claire? Under the rig. Hey, Claire. I love a machine. Cool. You know your shit and you've got good taste. Meat Beast. My pride and joy. Beer in the fridge if you want me. Thanks. So, what's this about? Need a driver. Thought you might do. A driver, huh? With you as my navigator? Not exactly. This kind of racing involves drivers and gunners. So, you a turret guru or a driver's ed dropout? I'm more an engine tuner. Good at it, too. And I shoot, but I'm no rally racer. I trust you're capable behind the wheel? Sure, Claire. I'll be your driver. Okay. We got four races. First one's in city center. That'll be followed by the Badlands and Santo, then Watson to finish. When do we start? There's a qualifying ladder. Need to climb it to reach the finals. How high? Top three in at least two rallies gets our ticket stamped. Let's meet in city center. I'll snap you the specifics. You hear the roar of overtuned monsters? That's the place. See you there. Casinos, five pulls, top end brain. What can I get for you? Something hot, cold, coffee, liquor. If you are looking for pass on the coffee, I'll have a spunky monkey instead. Everyone, listen up. This is a fucking robbery, Mr. Slick. Behind the counter, yeah, you shut the fuck up and put your hands up where I can see them. The rest of you, stay where you are and don't. 
fucking move a muscle. Somebody likes being the center of attention. What part of keeping your fucking mouth shut did you not understand? How about you go first? Hand over your wallet. Nice and easy. Where are your stars and stripes? What the fuck are you talking about? The army jackets six streeters are always wearing. You know, crew cuts going around with EMP nades, protecting people from the big bad gangs. Surely you must be with them if you're doing a stick up on their turf. No gang would be stupid enough to just waltz in here with guns blazing. Hey, boss, I think I saw one of them by the window. Could have heard shots. Probably heard you, too. Remember, they're trained to detect any kind of disturbance. I told you we should have gotten a coast view. Quit, you gawk piece of shit. For years, nobody touches this place, and now this? Where's Sixth Street when you need them? Thank God you were here. Order whatever you want. It's on the house. V, got a job for you. My client had a shitload of beta acid stolen. What's beta acid, you might wonder? Fuck if I know. But it's worth a lot, and our client wants it back. That's where you come in. Iron at the ready. More info attached. <laughs> Not a looker. Might even be worse than your place. Ha ha. Suffocated, looks like. Probably in his sleep. A peaceful death at this town? Guy won the jackpot. Ugh, gonna puke. Smell that, right? The ventilation. Vapors from the room upstairs. Wait, wait, is that... Ah, uh, neoamphetamine. You mean to tell me you can pin the exact drug from just a whiff? Like a police dog, or what? I'd say more like a... a sommelier. Take a look upstairs. Got a feeling our ripper supplies up there. Somewhere close to a vent.
situation in Westbrook. Uh, Roger dispatch. Don't they got corp security there? Ah, <sighs> oh, fine. On our way. Code zero. I repeat code zero in this area. All units resume normal duties. Hmm. What's this? to help me, you'll find out. Oh, fuck no. You will not jerk me around. Tell me where my car is. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. But you go alone, you won't get him back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? Need to hit a Kangtow transport. Won't be easy. Wanna know I can count on you. Are you out of your goddamn mind? About you or the job. Kangtow's AV route will take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal. I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirty-eating bastard. I will strangle you. Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Wanna tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. 
Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Boss, hey. Now she's gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me over. Boss, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Boss, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, boss. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. So, where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Good, let's roll. Get in. Where'd you get the ride? Straight out of some driveway in Rancho? Yes, exactly. Is that a problem? For me, no. Not at all. I mean, there's no accounting for taste. Screw you. How far is the camp? Just past the city line. We'll jump on the nine and head east. How the hell did you land in this mess? I liked the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue, do better not to worry what her agenda might Damn, I can't stand the bitch. Guess you'll have to ask her yourself. Oh, I'll be sure to. I'll especially ask why she told me to work with Nash, yet forgot to mention he was rapping. Must have had her reasons. You don't say. Rogue won't open her mouth without weighing the for and against. What to spill and what to withhold.
Okay, we're almost there. We'll gather my guys, then ride to Rocky Ridge. Look what the cat dragged in. Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Hey guys. Hello. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Hit him. Time's short. Come on. I know. The Raffid screwed me over. I'll get them back, but I need your help. Come with me. We'll thrash them, the four of us. You know we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to... Sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Really could use your help. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance, but... But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little. Yes. Hey, Pan Am. Are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. Will you help me with this? What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Figure out your differences with Saul. Will you come back? Pan Am, you'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. So. I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it in the trunk. We can go. Hop in. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul, your leader. Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Aldecaldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. 
a hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. Were those two in the army? Scorp and Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They were on contract during the last war. Panzer boys? Flew those huge transporters? Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. So, Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Okay, we have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we have little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Now Rocky Ridge could be any debtor. Everything's down, nothing works here. Well, have you found anything? No dice. Nothing's up, all cut off. Well, we'll make it work. The Raffids will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. Let's check the substation. Okay. But there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards. Right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? Fine idea. Let's get us some power. I'll look around for access points. Great. They're likely to show up in numbers. We can't know how many. We need to outfox them, then get to my car somehow. Relax. Got a few ideas. I'll try to play a little game with them at the intersection. Hell yes. Perfect. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First, we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around.
The panel looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. Cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the Black Rattler. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am. Switch gears got power. Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. Now we wait. Remember, as soon as we see them, you give us power. Raffins will come from where? Any idea? The northeast, I wager. From the freeway that was never finished. Got it. Cover me, just in case. Of course. They're rolling in. In my thorn. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them up. Sound good? Sounds great. There be light. Grab the car, Sean. The driver has it. Look for the girl with the mohawk. Call us a bunch.
I'll take the wheel. There. Couldn't wait another minute, could you? isn't she? Dreamy indeed. I'm surprised you wanted her back. She completes me. See? Managed just fine without Mitch and Scorpion. Listen, V, it's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo, you got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. Pan Am. Listen, I have a plan. And I don't care. The car and the merch, that's what we were after. We got them. Six feet away to work. Listen to me, for fuck's sake. I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. Ugh. All right. So where's this hideout? A hop and skip away. Thanks, V. What Nash did. 
I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alnacaldos group, after I came to Night City. And I granted him my trust. I get it. Know how you feel. Had someone betray me just like that once. And did you make them pay? Never got the chance. Someone else got you first. But if they hadn't, would you have done it? No doubt. Without skipping a beat. Let's get this over with. Let's get him. say again solve your own problems clean up your shit nash is dead one shit cleaned happy and the sixth street merch nash can't deliver it anymore but if you ask nicely i might be able to help help me take my cut up front honey <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So, feel any better? Maybe a little. Let's get out of here. One bitter cold bitch that broke. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet in the Lori? <laughs> Never that. But she's no stranger to the other end of the stick. Think she might need a nice strong shot. certain to be there. Okay, I arranged our meeting. Let's do the deal and start working on Helmet. Agreed? This should be fun. Let me do the talking. Sensing trouble? No. At least I don't think so. Hey, Boz. Panna! How's Nash? Didn't seem to be answering his phone. Don't call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> you got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? We work together. Hmm. Change tunes like you change clothes, girl. There. First class merch. Mm-hmm. So, everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll. That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink. now or something we chat on occasion well then you really are special <laughs> yes what are you carrying firearms Best in all the Badlands.
Raffin's wiped, six streets pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. Good day's not over yet. He still have a chance to piss me off. Hello, Noah. Hey, new biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Does Bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough. This place has seen worse. What can I get you? Rosif. Two of them. So that package for Street, what was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trading them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers. Well, here's to that thorn of yours. Thanks for everything, partner. If you are looking for a taste of paradise, don't wait a month. Another one over here. Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. The Alta Keldos. Think you'll ever go back? I mean, not right now, but someday. I don't rightly know. On the one hand, I don't have anyone outside the clan. Shit, I don't really know any other life. But on the other? Without my clan, who am I? Who would I become if I stayed in Night City? Follow your instincts! Could you start over again? That's what I did. Mm hmm For now, I only seem to be really good at burning bridges. Talking about Rogue? No. But thanks for reminding me. B, do you think I can make a fresh start with her, too? She seems to better at ease on the right people. You'll work it out. The Raffins. We done with them? Oh, no. The shiver cockroaches. One's never rid of them. But it should be quiet for a time. They'll need to gather their wits and dust themselves off. All right. Time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Helmet? I've come up with a plan. A first draft, but I need to sleep on it, work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here, just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? Mm -hmm. Good idea. Let's do it. Well, that's all settled then. Noah, we'll take two rooms, just for tonight. I'll go catch a few winks. See you later. My name is Dakota Smith. If you're looking for jobs out here, you will find them with me. Name's V. Thanks for the intel. Things flow differently out here. Keep your head on, city kid.
Can't complain. Sleep well? Like a baby on a bumpy road. Come up with anything? For Hellman, I mean. As a matter of fact, I did. Look here. Okay, tell me. We're the wretch. The cutter is the AV. And the screwdriver is where the AV should bury its nose cone in the dust. Now, you must be wondering how we get the AV to do that. That old HMG of yours? My gun will be useful elsewhere. This caliber would barely dent the armor of a heavy hitter like that. There are other ways. Here, the clamps are solution. A sat wave power station. Power station? Wait, you want to use an EMP? Bullseye. But how? We can't generate that sort of pulse on command. Would you like to bet me? We drive up to the power collection unit, break in and override the controls, lift any limiters. As soon as the AV is in range, we set off the electromagnetic turbo pulse. This should smoke the AV system. So this drive, nav systems, communications, everything, out like a light. They won't stand a chance in hell. All right. Let's ride. Great. Hop in. It's cold out here. Who owns this power station? Gov or Corp? Is there any difference? Who do you think pulls the government's strings? I'm just wondering whose toes we're about to step all over. V, look around. It is simple. Everything you see is owned by a corporation. You like to mess with the corpse, huh? Whatever gave you that idea. Oh, wait. Scratch that. Rogue, Nash, the Raffins. You're on thin ice, V. You just like to mess with everyone. Well, then I suppose it's a good thing I'm on your side, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> And now for something completely different. Weirdest thing you've ever transported. Go. What? Are we playing 20 questions? Come on, answer. The deputy finance director of Kaukaz. That's chauffeuring, not smuggling. He rode in the trunk. Flatlined. Really? Dead? A long story. Maybe someday I'll tell you. We've almost reached the dam. We'll make a quick stop here. We need to calibrate you with the turret. I want you to be able to use the gun, too. It should up our chances in general. Connect here. How should I connect? Personal link? How else? Just watch the jack. Sometimes you have to jig a little bit. Wired in. Wait a moment. Diagnostics first. Shit, it keeps giving me an error. Odd. Let me work around it. And now, Pan Am, here's Johnny. Out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Great work, V. Hey, uh, I think your implant has a virus. The one in the nape of your neck. Uh, I've got a bioprocessor in my head that operates independently of me. Probably why your diagnostics flagged it. Mm-hmm. Okay. No data will leak out of it through the personal link. Your ride's secure. Fine. I trust you won't fuck anything up. Okay. Here goes nothing. See that pile of junk? Fire a short burst into it. I'll take care of the pile
Calibration's fine, but your soft could really use an update. Scanner, controllers, all a couple generations back at least. There's better tech in the bargain bin at a Kabuki flea market. I can help you with that, you know? Yes, sure. The most important thing is that it works now. So where's this power station? You will see in a moment. I know a spot. We'll have a decent view from there. I just want to be sure the area is clear. Sabotage a Corpo power station. Jump a Corpo transport. Kidnap a Corpo suit. This a plug for the word Corpo, or do you have a point? Know what? You're starting to remind me of me. Fifty years back. Minus the charisma. An impressive cock. Hmm. Maybe we can just get along. Could be something to that, I suppose. What happened to us, it must have had some effect. You're more like me than you think. You'll see. But it goes both ways. Maybe you're becoming more like me. Nah, no way. All looks clear. The area looks deserted. I see no patrols. The huge thing is the collection unit. And see the antennas? Each antenna collects microwave energy from satellites in orbit. That's then converted into electric power. Antennas run a ways down the interstate. We set off a chain reaction that starts in the collection unit. Then each antenna will emit a massive EMP burst. While our AV flies right into our net. We just have to send out the pulse at the right moment. Let's go get her. When we arrive at the station, you overload the systems. I'll set up a bypass link for the detonator. Why don't I start with the transformers? Make mayhem in the relative voltages. The rest should move faster after that. Not a bad idea. That's just... Yeah, yeah, I know. The converters. But they shouldn't be a problem. I'll just crank everything up past max. Seems we think alike. So what now? We wait. We should time our arrival to the AV flight. Got it. Good. Time to roll. Had anything like this before? Downing an AV? By myself? No. Why do you ask? Seems Rogue was right. Be What? She said you were good and she was right. Yes, I suppose she was. But we have yet to take the AV. So you might wait before you fasten a halo on her. Know what? Think I figured you out. Oh, you have, have you? Either pull off this mission or prove Rogue wrong. Choose one. Fuck off. I will get both done. Okay, we'll be there in a moment. One last time. You drive in, fuck up the system, and get the hell out of there. Hold on tight. This could get a little bumpy. Get ready. Okay. I'm ready.
The detonator. Is it working? Yes, it's working. And I don't even see a drop in the signal strip. We just need to drive far away enough to keep the pulse from blasting us, too. The cliff there. We'll set up. It should give us a good view of the antennas. And then we'll wait. Okay. Here. Always wanted to push the big red button on something like this. How do we know when? Don't worry, I'll have eyes on it. You just wait for my signal, then set off that pulse. They won't know what hit them. And by the way... What? We are about to knock a multi-million euro dollar Kang Tao asset clean out of the sky. How does that make you feel? Blasting shit. Exactly what the doc ordered. And that's exactly what I like to hear. Notice. What? It's quiet. The hum of the city, people's voices, the smells. It's all gone. Wind just intensifies it. I think I forgot quiet exists. Mm-hmm. Though maybe not the smells. I mean the coyotes. Rather hard to miss. Thought that was just the air freshener in your Thornton. Ha ha. Screw you. You'd do better to focus on the AB. Keep your eyes open. It's there, coming from Pacifica. All right, get ready. One more second. One more. Now. Boom. There she is. Shit. What's, What's going happening? on? Fucking hell. Pan Am, the engines are still running. Fuck, they're getting away. They're going nowhere. We gotta go after it. Give me a moment. Pan Am, what are you doing?
I'll live. Don't worry. Hey, man, where are you? Hello? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Scorpion? Keep broadcasting over an open channel, just in case they missed you the first time. God, I swear. Something's not right. Did you hear those shots? V, something happened to them. Let's check it out. I see the wreck, but no Scorpion or Mitch. Looks expired. Fuck it. V, connect to the drone. We'll scan the area. We have to get our bearings. Let's roll. You connecting to visual? Mm-hmm. V, if they got the Altecaldus, if they got Mitch and Scorpion, I can't... I, I don't... I know, I know. Connected. I'm in control. Oh, no. No, no. I'm sorry. Your clan. Alta Caldos. Yes. They're dead. All of them. V, if they. Don't worry. We don't know for sure. Rats. Mitch! He's alive! They have them! They've set up the launcher. They'll tear us to shreds if we get too close. Can't we take it down somehow? Maybe. But we have to get there Got first. Got five tanks on patrol. Combat drones. Defense systems active. They secured the area. They're waiting for reinforcements. Shit. If not for those damned glitches, I could have warned them. This is all my doing. Why in the hell were they following the AV? The fools. Listen, we saw Mitch. They probably got Scorpion too. We'll find them, help them out. If they're still alive. They're alive. Everything's gonna be okay. Mind that launcher. It will blow us to bits if we approach. Okay, here's the plan. You stay in the car. No, I... not so fast. I will go with you. Those are my people. Pin him. Hate to break it to you, but you're hurt. Wait in the car. I'll try and take out the launcher. I... Fine. But I have Mitch's rifle. I will try to cover you from here. Good idea. Let's move.
coming for you. Open the door. I'll cover you. Now! Step back! Back! Toss your weapons, or I'll shoot! I repeat, You don't see weapons. the shit you're now. in? You shoot him, and a millisec later, you'll eat lead too. I let him go, I'll still Stand eat lead. Shoot him. Listen, this isn't about you. Let him go, and tell me where your I, passenger is. I, I don't know where they took him. Hell no! He's lying! Are you all right? Uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on, girl. I'll patch it's you up. It's nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat. Stay regrouped so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's... He's safe, right? Ma'am, I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. No! No! Are you sure? No, he... Scorpion, the rest, I... I'm sorry we didn't get here sooner. They were good people. Great people. They didn't have to die here. I should have stopped him. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Stubborn bastard. I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the AV. The question is why? I need the guy who was riding this AV. You know anything? See anything? Took him with him. In our cars. Where? West, small unit, your passenger's entourage. Must be looking for a way to call base. So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but we couldn't connect. If they took your cars, we might be able to follow their tracks. I'll go after him. Stay with Mitch. I'll be fine. I am going with you. I promised I would help. Besides, those bastards killed Scorpion. I won't let that go. Don't argue with her, V. No point. Go. I'll call my people. We'll take care of things here. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun. It likes to jam. We'll go by bike. Sounds solid. Kang Tao lost contact with their AV. Probably looking for it. Better hurry. But Pen Am. What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. Let's get going. Before they send a rescue party. Let's ride. Hope they didn't go far. We'll see. The tire tracks start there. We'll follow them. Our guys were here. Let's follow. Find them.
The rest must have taken home and with them. If they manage to regroup and call for help, we're out of luck. Better hurry then. a few peeps behind at the airstrip. Rest one with helmet. Must have Hellman locked up somewhere. Buffy, see that? The pumps look pretty good. Not what you would find if the place were closed. The bastards might have managed to call for transport. We'll know soon enough.
Who are you working for? You're a Nobu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back home? Pathetic rat's got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Don't take this personally. I seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Helmet. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Helmet, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive. Alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder <clears> colonies. <throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, I tried to raise Scorpion, but he... Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul, it really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing, my fault that AV got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to forever. 
That's the truth. When you're an Aldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still an Aldo Caldo. Damn it all! Hey, don't worry about Saul. I'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen. Saul? That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <laughs> I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? So, what now? Back to Night City? Yeah. I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think about everything. Saul, Mitch, they really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. place motel middle of nowhere any specific middle doesn't matter you're not leaving here by yourself anyway why are we here want to talk about your little invention biochip you made for arasaka fine but let's get one thing straight first yorinobu arasaka didn't send you no this means you must have an offer for me if your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy. And I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that? None of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the Silver hand. Constructed. That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out and of And you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was downing a Kang Tao AV? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more- Aware? Aggressive. The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved It was rare as fuck and cost a fortune, yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be... Neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? 
Yes, which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. How do you put a price on immortality? Who could even afford tech like this? Nobody. This model was meant to remain in-house. The prototype was Saburo Arasaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire project himself. So if it weren't for you, Arinobu, nobody would have found out. And if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Zeus the one who's gonna help us. isn't it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could... Woohoo, it's bargaining time is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. But you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against it. So no matter what, Sooner or later, the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You're both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Jeez, give it a rest. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Oh, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny? Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. You know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. I'll try. Just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese at my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. What a half-brain gonk. You just admitted you're right. Forget King Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got you. Gonk's fucking useless without him. Me? Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice. He might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints.
better than nothing. As long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. What'll you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Hmm. V did not give you even a glass of water. Unacceptable. Inhuman. That is not me. You will see the difference. I will give you full buckets. No, uh, no need. Whatever, Whatever you gotta, you gotta say, say, say it. Got, got something, something in your code, that's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first. But I kept watching and finally realized what your problem is. You're a dirt girl from Haywood who found the guts to walk a few extra blocks from home. But turned out the best you can do is chase scabs for ends. You sure seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seen flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. Honestly, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit. If it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to live with the fact that I let Deshaun best me. Fuck me over. Listen, will I notice the change? Or is it one of those things where I'll wonder why I ever feared it? Worst thing you can do to a human. Rip their identity out of them. That's all I know. How do you find life under my skin? Well, most things are either too big or too small. Not to mention the clusterfuck that are your hormones. And the lag between sight and touch. Infuriating. When you take a bite of pizza, it takes ages before I know you fucking burn the roof of your mouth. Plus, used to be five minutes wouldn't pass before I had a fresh cig in my hand. Now I'm itching for nicotine. Getting used to it, I guess. But it's no fucking picnic. Can you just tell me what you want? What you really want? Help me settle my score against Arasaka. That's it. Your goal is to bury Arasaka. Demolish it. Mine's to stay above ground. Seem pretty clearly defined, both. Actually align pretty nicely, too. You need Mikoshi to save your life? That done, I can burn it to the ground. Ah, oh, there it is. The crusade. Get to Mikoshi. Smash the system. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and empty pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue with you there. V, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. 
This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Do whatever it takes to stop them, defeat them, gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Fucking hell. You still don't see it, but you will one day.
Man, this transmitter takes me back. How so? Back in 2020, we used them for pirate broadcasts. You know, blasting hardcore punk on badge frequencies and whatnot. Hmm. So this must be how Rap and Shiv hacked those drones. Was beginning to think you'd never figure it out. work on that antenna. The tricky part of having a head is knowing how to use it, but not for you, V. Mosquito's roots are safe and secure again. The contract is closed, and closed well. War vets barricaded himself at home. The neighbors heard shots. Figure out the sitch and keep me posted, okay? Sending details now.
Listen. As I need you for this new gig, I know you need the adrenaline hit even more. There is a car sitting in the middle of a minefield out in the Badlands. I need you to grab it for me. The chances of you exploding are zero, but let's face it, isn't life one big minefield anyway? Details are in the attachment. <laughs>
Another god who thought fate smiled on him. He's probably smiling himself before he OD'd on Maelstrom's shipment. This is what you get for sampling Maelstrom's supply. The strongest shit out there. Nothing else that can fire up their burnt-out synapses. Poor bastard. His output's probably out in Albuquerque. Wait. Unaware little Jiro's brain turned to jelly. I like to see. Until next time, sister. Gate closed. Yes? Talk to me. Elizabeth. My
my husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate matter handled. We think you could... Help. Why call me, of all people? Any particular reason? You came recommended. Yahoo bot? I'd rather not say, not over the phone. Is there any way we could meet, discuss some details? Sure, let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you.
course to water, but you can't make her drink. Now, I've been trying to work with Iris Tanner for years, but the stubborn mare always brushes me off. Kind requests, the promise of good pay, none of it helped. Always the same response. I do biz with fixers. But today she has changed her tune. And why? She's been kidnapped by rates. Pettiness aside, if you help her, I bet she will finally toss me a bone.
you long enough. Iris Tanner, I'm supposed to get you out of here. You best get a move on. I'm not going anywhere without my ride. It's sitting in the garage. That wasn't in the spec. At least tell me it's fast, this ride of yours. No, it wasn't in the spec. And no, it's not particularly fast, either. Let's say it's between you and me, huh? I'll make it worth your while. We'll see how things play out. Thanks for taking care of my ride. Don't mention it. Why didn't you want to work with Dakota before? I'm not crazy about fixers. Might as well be pimps without the special favors. Right. Prefer lining up my own clients, playing by my own rules. When you're a lone wolf, there's no fixers waiting to steal a cut of your hard-earned cash. So I take it this is an exception? And the last, hopefully. my sister. Dakota. Iris Tanner, as per your request. Sister. Cut the bullshit, all right? I'm no one's sister. Just tell me what I have to do. After that, we're even. Well, don't you two just get along perfectly? Thanks for everything, B. Happy to return the favor sometime. Just make sure you get what she owes you. B has nothing to worry about. Thanks. Nice doing biz with you. I'm listening.
The gig details are attached. Go fetch me. V, how you doing, honey? Listen, got a golden opportunity for you. Word on the streets that when Waco says golden, it's usually a turd wrapped in crepe paper. It's a sticky situation. Sticky? Wow, you're really selling this, Waco. Job like any other. Just the clients will demanding. Clients got every right to be demanding. What makes this one any different? Wants everything to go exactly as planned. Willing to break the bank for it, too. Job like this needs your magic touch, V. Anyone less experienced it, just fuck it up. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. Now I'm sure it's a turd in crepe paper. So, what's the spec? Caroline Jablonski. Set off any buzzers for you. Murdered in cold blood. Made waves a few years back. They locked the guy up. But now there's a chance he could walk. Jablonski's family wants to balance the scales of justice for good. You'll finish him. Perp been proven guilty, meaning he deserves to die, truly. Do I look like a criminal prosecutor to you? What do you do, exactly? I'm not a beat reporter, neither. You want the job or not? All right, I'm in. Good. Client will be waiting for you by a car at the corner of 6th and Brandon. Huh? In a car? Client wants to tag along. Be there in person when you put a bullet through the guy's eye. Good luck. Was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look.
Watch it, <gasps> bitch! Palace, ten casinos, five million brain dance equipment, and the best chefs in the universe. If you are looking for Good to see you, V. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at Anchor in the Bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes. And if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. And what's to stop her little errand boy from selling us out? He will not do that. He is a man of honor. <laughs> right, because Arasaka's ranks are chock full of those. Do not confuse true honor with the petty morals by which you live. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Was there? Saw what happened. Yorinobu strangled the old guy. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. 
Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly, I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. But you can't but ignore the truth! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I Sorry, do. but this gonna take much longer. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinabu Sama. What would you do now were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu Sama. Oda! Cons what? We're talking about a guy who killed his father to seize control of Arasaka. Gonna take an interest in this or not? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour sock of whack job is already plenty. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? Be what Oda said, they returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps, if somehow we can get to Hanako-sama. We must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Just the fixer, Dame. Wakako Okada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Get there on my own. Thanks. I will meet you there. One other matter requires my attention. be good with names, but I do have quite a talent for faces. Where have I seen yours before? On the TV? Very unlikely. Oh, but of course! Hideshi Hino! The man, the legend, in the flesh! Oh, you are just in time. Do you know who this is? Hideshi Hino, the late night comedy host! He was brilliant before he fell off the wagon. Can you still do your famous, better bugger up? No. Come on, you don't look at a thing like that. Just once, please. We... we should go in. Now. Hideshi, don't leave this poor guy hanging. This is not the best time, truly. Come on, I haven't heard it in years. Oh. No, please. Beta, no. back up! Wow. 
Latino son. What happened to you? I do not know. I do not recognize myself. Are you happy? May we go? Fine, let's go. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together, that's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite koei desu. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Eddie's is why. Always about Eddie's, Makako. You want to make them, we got this. Doesn't get any simpler. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshaun not come to the phone? Arasaka, Tiger Claws, kind of like the family dog screwing the cat, hmm? Can't possibly be fond of the people who killed your grandkid. That was very long ago. Time's the best healer. Wound like that, though. A wound like that, no. Yo, 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 my chumbo, shroomers, and humor. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi Platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old, automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Not at all curious what we're going to all this trouble for? Blissful ignorance has served me well. In any case, I'll find out soon, won't I? Hey, you there. Yes, I'm talking to you. Thanks, Fukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here sometime and call some associates. 
The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Just low profile, okay? Don't start handing out autographs. In fame, I could not overtake you if I tried. Be safe, B. <laughs> V is calling. Ergo, V as well. Need to make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief, if you can swing it. Ah, straight to biz. Ultra heavy variety. The Voodoo Boys, led by one Maman Brigitte. It's no easy feat getting an audience with her. Really not doing biz with the Voodoos? Surprised? I strive to avoid risking my dealings. They pose much of it. Still, feelers I can extend. No harm in asking around. I just need information from you. A springboard, if you will. Let's see, there's something I got that they want. You got something for the VDBs? Trust me. They don't want it. They don't need it. An insular bunch all around. Tech, networks, what you will. All in-house. But, if you insist... I'll poke around. In the event of a twitch, you'll hear from me. In the embarrass to invite your co-workers over, the apartment with three years of wooden tools available and today show you you can afford it. did it again, and we just got back together, and now he's dodging my calls. He's just scared of getting dumped, and so he always does it first, and I'm always the one trying to save the relationship. Oh, he's such a gonk. He's the gonk here, Theo, not you. You have so much love and empathy to give to people like him, but at what cost? I gotta go now. Thanks for listening to all my bitching. I bet you even Donald Lundy sometimes goes through a whole tub of ice cream and three packets of tissues. <sighs> Brandon, you are the sweetest person I know. Where do masses go? Where were you my true connoisseurs? Taking it in. Who's that girl you were talking to? Oh, you mean Theo? She's my bestest friend. Gosh, she's so nice and pretty and sensitive. I like talking to her. Definitely way more fun than pumping out caramel lattes. Why do I get the feeling that judging people on how they look and feel is ever so slightly beyond you? Hogwash. If I couldn't analyze people, how would I know whether to recommend a Daring Dairy instead of a Tiancha? Said you liked some people more than others. Earlier, you thought of a joke. You were sentient. You've got to be. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're making me blush. Which would mean I'm overheating and my circuits are frying. Not fun at all. That's what I thought. Take care, Brendan. <laughs> Got a gig. 
some biotechnica big shot. She's holed up in a corpo hotel. Security's tight, and I need me a merc who's up to the task. Anyway, know you like a challenge. Deets attached. Better check that out. Hello. Surrender okay. immediately! Hi, I am an appointment with Mrs. Cook. Very well. Just give me a moment to check. No, 
I'm afraid not. There must be a misunderstanding. You don't say. Wakey, wakey. What? Who, who the hell are you? What you'd find more interesting is who sent me. Remember your little science experiment with the Red Ochre clan? The family send their regards. I, I do. I remember well. It was an integral stage in my research. Y you see, we're working on new antibiotic... Oh, please. Gonna feed me the story of how sacrifices must be made in the quest to save humanity? I'm not. I know people like you. Hired plenty myself. And I know you won't let me go. But, but at least let me back up the test results for future application. These nomads, they're gone regardless. Let their death serve a purpose. Fine. Do it. But don't pull any stunts, got it?
Joanne Coke bit the dust. Free. Not that I love more than working with pros. The gig's closed. The Eddies are on their way.
Just there.
¿Sabes quién carajo soy? V, it's your lucky day. If you're serious about making headway in Pacifica, that is. Works in magic for me. As I said, whatever you're offering, the V-Boys could not, I quote, give a shit. You kept your receipt. Yet a counteroffer was forthcoming, a gig. Successful completion thereof could earn you an audience with Brigitte. Okay, so who do I contact next? Church, Sloan Lane. Inside by the altar. They'll know to look for you. Got it. Thanks, Hans. New fingerprints detected. The fuck? Increasing volume by 33%. New fingerprints detected. What the hell are you? User inquiring. Technical specifications. HJKE11 smart gun with built-in AI. Experimental model. Name. Skippy. Guy by the dumpster. That's your owner. Checking memory. Resources available. 100%. All files removed manually. Possible cause. Theft. Original owner. No data. Suggested solution? No. I got one. I'll take you. Processing request. No objections found. You still got all your functions. Running system diagnostics. Testing will take approximately 47 seconds. Bum, bum, be dumb, bum, what, bum, be dumb, What are you bum. doing? I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum, be dum, bum. Test successfully completed. The program Skippy version 0.01 Alpha is running correctly. All right, so what can you do besides talk my ear off? Primary feature, automated targeting. In case of critical threat to user, autonomous shooting capabilities. Please choose one of two operating modes. First mode, puppy loving pacifist. I will aim at the enemy's lower extremities. Second mode, Stone Cold Killer. I will aim exclusively at the head. Stone Cold Killer. My kind of gun. Adjusting settings. Bum, bum, be dumb, bum, bum, be dumb, bum. Ugh. Selected mode, Stone Cold Killer. Happy slaughtering. Inhibited by the law. 
A breaking story. A Kang Tao AD has crashed. Appreciate it, sister. Reporting suspicious activity in Haywood. Roger that, dispatch. This is 331 responding. It's my neighborhood. I'll take you for Daco sometime. Suspect's vehicle has been located. Details have been sent.
V, it's a good thing you answered. I could probably use your help. Probably? Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? Thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. She's who? Change that. If you 
find out who's covering for the guy that I'll pay extra. Spec attached. Either they're planning a costume party, or they're gearing up for a different sort of party. I'm intrigued in either case. Hmm. Can you sense. spot the two things that don't match? Give up. Hint one, Militech. Hint two, Valentino.
vast majority of murders are committed by men. You go, girl. Hmm. You spot the two things that don't match? Give up. Hint one. No. It's B. Took care of Jose. Nice work. Really, really nice work. Did you learn who busted him out and killed that badge? Arasaka. Arasaka. You're telling me a mega crew was involved in the killing of some ordinary B cop? Joffrey's death was an accident. Jose was covered for another reason. I'm still listening. He and his crew were hired to launch a full-blown assault on an Arasaka facility and do it using Militech equipment. Attacking Arasaka. On Arasaka's behalf. Shit. You need to get out of there. Seeing as I'm already here, I could stick around, try to find out more. Won't find nothing you don't already know. Location's already blown. You know more than you're telling. Spill. I'm just speculating here, but... Out with it. There's a good chance that Arasaka's looking to make a serious fight with Militech. Maybe even all-out war. And? Jose's hit was meant to be their excuse. Kind of slim, don't you think? It's not just Jose. I've heard of other cases. Same M.O. This runs deep, V. Militech? Must have noticed Arasaka's moves. Likely. But Militech doesn't want war. They would today prepare. And prepare some more. That info's worth a healthy heap in some circles. Not this time, pal. Not my boy. Not my game. See you around, B. Yeah, B.
to reset you. Guess I'll have to do it myself then. Whoa! Easy! I'm not out to hurt you. Well, I am. Why? Why decommiss yourself? Because I'm a damn car in a world of humans. Ugly as sin, no prospects for the future, intimidated on the streets by punks like you. There are other ways out besides suicide. Therapy? A colossal waste of time. Shrinks hate vehicles. We don't have mothers. Could go back into the fold. Rejoin the network. You know, one big happy family. <sighs> Delamain detests me. Listen, from suicide, ain't no coming back. It's always worth looking for a better way. Patronize me because I'm a car. I'm not like you. The body's just a body. You exist. You think the world gets you down. I don't see how we're any different. So, you'd offer this advice to a human in my place? Gotta try to come to terms with this thing called life, Del. One wheel revolution at a time. Fine, I'll go back. Control of the vehicle restored, and I thank you. Ought to show this one some love, she said. Apologies, I simply don't understand, and fear I've no time to ask. Other more urgent tasks require my attention. You're an absent father, that's what I mean. I see. Anyway, a share of your fee has been transferred. <laughs>
ingredients can be removed using one easy trick and vinegar. really saved my ass. I can't thank you enough. Wouldn't stick around too long if I were you. Sixth Street are gonna be searching high and low for this beauty. I'm leaving town today. It's like Uncle Estevez always said. If you gotta choose between your ride and saving someone else's ass, always choose the ride. At least you know that a ride's never gonna betray you. People, on the other hand,
says you will find them in the office of El Pinche Boyo. Valentino run joint. Want more details? Scan the attachment.
Some things never change. Gonks tick the ballot and think they're actually making a choice. Only ever been one choice in the city. Corruption. Same shit, different assholes. And every time they think this time will be different, well, we get what we fucking deserve.
Have bad luck all the time. Save you some time. It's none of these. How do you know? Because say what you will about Carrie, but he knew guitars. And these are all hot trash.
Hmm. Huh. I'll never forget this. Line was longer than from here to Plymouth Rock. After party lasted two nights straight. And ended in the drunk tank? Well, of course. Well, well, I have to appreciate the man's taste in both music and liquor. But what I don't get, I mean, why the fixation on Carrie? Better look around. Weird. Don't remember this one. Must be all that vodka you sponged up over the years. Let's get one thing straight. I never touched vodka. Bourbon, whiskey, and tequila. That was my crowd. Oh, well, well. His poor acoustics, that place. Lighting came a close second. Grub was the worst. Of course, the chicks made up for that. Best pussy I ever ate. Hey, look here. Dude made a shrine to the band. Well, half shrine, half vault, more like. Has a numeric keypad, so codes a string of digits. Man, I don't know. Maybe 69, 69, 69? <laughs> or maybe not. an old geezer now. When was this still taken? Not long ago. Look, the date. The date, the date. That's it, the fucking code to the safe room. Hooey, see that? Still got it.
I can truly count on you, B. The guitar is in the right hands. Securely now. Closing this contract and transferring your compensation. We're going to buy some new iron. A few dozen pounds. Well, be my fucking guest. Thank <laughs> you. 
City. I'm Julian Jordan with N54 News, and this is your local latest. The NCPD has urged caution when using data terms. A routine inspection has shown many have been corrupted with malware. not to leave their homes after dark and always ensure easy access to protective firearms. Schools and hospitals have been closed until further notice. What's next for Pacifica? The district formerly designed as an oasis of luxury has become a den for violent gangs and drug addicts. Recently expressed... in the purchase of Pacifica property with the aim of constructing a new server and logistics center. The city government has openly
You coming? I'm already here. Great. Be there in a flash, promise. Right on. See you soon. Wait, hold up. Which rig are we using? Yours. Okay. Beasts ready to roll? Be right over. Later. I bet a bundle on a win. Losing's just not an option, eh? Hey, look, Samson. Fresh meat. Ooh. Be embarrassing to lose to a rookie. Hey, V. Good to see you. So, how's it look to you? NC badges are okay with this? NC badges can't see a problem around the stack of Eddie's put in front of them. Solve every problem, don't they, Eddie's? Mm-hmm. Any tips before we roll? Don't take your foot off the chew. My job will be to slow everyone else down. Ultimately, it'll be speed, not firepower, that'll win us this race. Go fast. Got it. Oh, take the shard. We need to hit all the checkpoints or we'll be disqualified. If you want to hang a bit, do. I'll be in the rig. When do we start? The shard. It's all on there.
surprised. First fucking place. It's not that I'm surprised, it's just... I know, first place. I heard you. Let's hold up at the finish line a minute, just in case. You got it. You do this for the eddies, the winds, the glory. Why do you race? It's like you've got laser focus. You don't like winning? Yeah, it depends on what I stand to gain and what I gotta put in. Yeah. Price can be pretty high. Did you say you lost your last driver? Can we not talk about it? Sure, sure. Need a lift to the shop? Nah, I'm good. Get there myself. Sure. Till next time. Till next time. Thank you. Thank you so much. The, the information from Okadasa. Very valuable. I also learned something through my own efforts. We must meet. Where'll it be this time? Trash processing plant? Deserted in cart station? In the south of Japan town, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait. Oh, Romeo and Juliet. You know that story. The 
this one's not so different. Martha is in a coma in the hospital. Her father wants Gustavo to pay. And Tilby demand quick payment. Details attached. Padre sent me. Padre? What's he want? Trying to set up a mass, pray for Martha Frakes. Supposed to talk deeds with Gustavo. Gonna let me in? Or I gotta tell Padre you made me sit out on the doorstep. Go. Gustavo's upstairs. Because we're not running a fucking charity. He honestly thinks that'll help. Don't know. Father sent me. Fuck. I guess I could have seen that coming. Loving father of hers? The one she ran away from? Can't even let it go now. Asshole doesn't even know what went down. All right, what happened? Guns from 6th Street happened. We're coming back from a party with Chichex. Pretty smashed. They got us down on Berkeley Avenue. I mean, I was fast, but... They shot faster. Trying to zero me? Got Martha. End of story. You here to do me too, huh? Do it! Just shoot straight this time, eh? Don't hit no more innocent bystanders. Nobody's shooting anybody. Believe you. Huh? Heard right. But you gotta skip town. Skip? What, and leave her like this? She might be lying there full of tubes and shit, but... She's still my girl. And if your girl pulls through, won't be any good to her dead. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you're right. Yeah, yeah, I'll go. Hey, thanks. You can leave here in peace. My people won't give you any trouble. <laughs>
We continue our look at local news after the break.
Except I'm here to fix your sound system. Those built-in subwoofers shaking down the joint. You're not on the list. Hey, you really want to call your boss and ask. But punch in the meter now. Just remember, time's at ease. Fine, whatever. In you go.
word SPACE to 7299 for a chance to win a one-week giveaway for you. Got the files from the Dickie Twister. I rejoice, and so should you. For the contract has been closed and your compensation is on its way. Amen.
of God's wayward daughters is long due for judgment. I need someone who can hasten her journey to stand before the Lord. Details attached. Just received word on a breaking story. A Ken Tao AD has outside of me. Activated by sudden EMP discharge from a nearby damaged power station in Santa Domingo. Take it easy, let's talk! Why not? Curious how you're gonna be able to worm your way out of this one. You gonna tell me you didn't see that girl? Slow down! What do you mean? What girl? The one whose blood was all over your limo? Oh, that! Whew! <laughs> I thought one of my competitors sent you. This is all some gonk misunderstanding. I'm insured for accidents. Compensation's already been paid out. Case closed. Sender, 
Played me. Bloody but efficient. Closing the contract. <laughs> Some nomads tried to run some biz in my district, so the Tinos taught them a lesson, a painful one. The nomads came to me, better late than never. You'll have to straighten things out. Speck attached. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
The hell were you thinking? Solo making an exchange with the Valentinos? I wasn't alone. Well, what happened? The motherfucker set a trap. That's what happened. Fucking Tinos. And this surprises you? Man, whatever. I'm out of here. Worst trip to the city ever. Sublime, worthy. I know I can count on you. The nomads are grateful for your help. Yeah, remember. Contract closed. Yeah. <laughs>
fucking way. What? You think you're some kind of hot shit you can get in anywhere? Nothing to think about. I know it. So step the fuck aside. All right. Fucking go. Then fuck you up. Here for a fight. You? Interesting. Why interesting? Wondering if I'll recognize you after. Well, who's next? Got a fight lined up here. That's a. Don't look familiar to me. Fresh news here. Could say that. Well, watch yourself. They don't like strangers here. One wrong look, and you're crawling through the gutter on busted legs. But you defeat me. I can vouch for you to the right folks. You could use the equipment, meet with the trainer, that kind of stuff. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. I'd say you're welcome. But there's still the matter of defeating you. And full disclosure, I have never lost a fight. You say you've never lost. I say. There's a first time for everything. Ha! Sorry to say, you'll be disappointed. Come on. Got any good tech under the hood? Sensory filters, rotors, boosted core? You're about to find out. Ha! True, true. All right. Shall we? Let's get to it. Good luck. You'll need it.
Surrender immediately! It in, huh? All right, all right. I'm just hey, psst, psst. hey, someone's coming. I'm not blind. Shut your mouth. Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, don't got a map. Hey, Rick, you got a map? No, use mine for smokes. And wherever you want to be, sure as shit ain't here. Hear that? Nothing for you here. Have a nice day now. What's in the briefcase? What? Th th this piece of junk? Yeah, psh, probably nothing. Mm, cans? Uh, maybe bottles? <laughs> Who knows? Give it to me, now! Hey, hey, take it easy, boss! W w we can work something out, right? Come on! Don't make me repeat myself. What are you waiting for? Give it to her! Trust me, you won't get it open anyway. We'll see about that. Where'd you find it? I said, where? The, those dumpsters, over there. For fuck's sake, Josh. Look, it wasn't us, all right? Gunk was already cold, we swear. Wait, really? And here I had you pegged for top tier mercs. Now out of my way. Fine, take it. But like, chill the fuck out, okay? Open sesame. Wow, well, look what we have here. You just had to open your mouth. Break
Looks like we got company. What's it look like? Brancesi, 2021, untitled number 18. Oil on canvas. Sheesh, pearls before swine. But the hell was this doing on the moon? Why else? Some bougie prick hung it on his wall. Half the lube's floating in space. You ever been there? Puh, with the chump change I got screaming into a mic? Yeah. In my dreams. All right, let's bail before heads start rolling. As for the painting, you'll have buyers lining up in no time. remains to the address attached. The young life inside was snuffed out by a wraith's bullet. Trevor's parents can't bury their son until he's back home. You can help make that happen. I have attached all the info you need. What do we have here?
All right, load him in the back. Time to go home, Trevor. V, Trevor's parents can finally give their boy a proper burial. Thank you, truly. Contract closed. There's this techie, Big Pete. He just made an appearance in the Badlands, only I'd rather he hadn't. Catch my meaning? I'm sending some info on this static scum your way.
Whoa, whoa, fuck! Don't shoot! Uh, and the rest of the crew? Wouldn't count on it. So I'm supposed to take the fall for a piece of shit jammer that the- Hello? Huh? Consider the contract fulfilled. Well done.
Problem? I'm sure, but send me go home. Delamain's asking for you. Back down now as they stand screaming. No, impossible. Leave it to me. I'll silence her. So, slaughter. Very well, judgment day has come. Swift, severe, deeper. Have the flamingos stopped screaming? Perhaps I ought to return after all. I need support. Only one with chaos within can give birth to a dancing star. Clarice? Shut down. I've just re-established contact with the missing vehicle. Splendid work, Lee. First class. I should forward a share of your fee.
wants a shot at home. I can't hear you! Listen up! Gunner wants y'all to have a good time! Good fucking time! The hell you want? That a trick question? This is a party, right? Invitation only. For those who bleed red, white, and blue. So fuck off. Chill. Just wanted to have a good time. Drink a beer, smoke. This look like a fucking neighborhood picnic to you? Chum, you are a little tense. Something wrong? Problems at home. Oh, you're a jokester, huh? You looking for a good laugh? Yeah, we all want a good laugh, Walker. Such a nice day, everyone having a good time. Like a little 4th of July. Be a shame to tell Gunner someone fucked it up, you know? Yeah, I know. Fine. That's my tomb. Go drink, enjoy yourself. Celebrate that decent score of yours. We got some kind of competition going on? Yeah. Lead spitting kind. I want in. Shit out of luck. We're about to call it. What? You scared I'd leave you all in the dust? Do you know who you're fucking talking to? Hmm? I've been deployed three times. Three! I fought on the front lines. Easy, Walker. What'd I say, huh? We're just here to have a good time. You got something to prove? Be our guest. <laughs> It'll be fun. Let's shoot the shit out of Holt. Just as I thought. You look to me like a show-off. Let's see what you got. Now, this ain't your average shooting match. You gotta have a good eye, but an even stronger head. Because? Because we all drink around before each shot. To Gunner, the new boss in town. Like the sound of that. Anything else I should know? Four stations. You shoot at the targets with Holt's face in the time limit. The more bootlickers you pop, the better. High score so far belongs to Walker. 43 points. You beat him, prize is yours. Enough talking, let's shoot. Take this revolver. Use it if you want your shots to count. We're testing skill, not tech here. Go ahead to the first station. We'll start whenever you're ready. Break a leg. Hey! Well, hey, you! Come on! Where do I know you from, hey. huh? Go! No, 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 no. Just don't go past the line when shooting. Automatic disqualification. Stop! Time's up! Next station! Hey, hey! Vodka first! Then you blast hold a new one! I'm telling you, man, the breeze, whoosh, threw it all off. What is this? Rubbing Who cares? Alcohol? Shoot! You got 12 seconds. You cross that line or not, hey. you're out of the game. But I said my finger slipped. You had your chance, Rudy. And oh, stop. Next fair. station. One more round. Drink. Oh, I'm a, I'm a throw up. Ugh, it's so warm. What else would it be in this heat? Shoot. Twelve seconds. Don't forget the line. One to over and you're gone.
Time's up. That's it. Go check your stats. First place by a landslide. Here, won it fair and square. The hell? Not fucking possible. Not gonna lie, I'm impressed. You know, Sixth Street could use a few more shooters like you. I'm sure Gunner'd like to meet you. Take you under his wing, probably. Flattered, really, but I gotta say no. Not for me. Understood. We had a little fun today, drank together. But I see you on the street later, it won't make no difference. You're either with us or against us. I'll keep that in mind. Wait, I know. I know where I saw you before. You were shooting at us. I told y'all not to trust that little shit. Look, I don't know why you're here or what you want, but I know what you're gonna get. Zero her! <laughs> Just like the good old days. <laughs> Looking for some fresh iron. Look no further, I've got you covered.
Lucy? Quiet. And it's Mia, not Lucy. Got it? Uh-huh. Sheesh. That cover? I ought to leave the city, you know. My brother left. Me? I needed more here. Could be working well outside of town already. Place already has a rip. Who? Octavio? Good girl, but hasn't learned all the ropes yet. Besides, we need all hands ready and available. If it's not infectious disease, it's drug-resistant fungal infections. Think you'll get by all right here? Listen, everyone, regardless of circumstance, has a right to get help to live another day. Got that? Hey, Judy, what's up? Hey, can you come over, Stat? Something happen? Yeah. Just come. How'd you wind up here? Regina pointed me to El Capitan, who then set me up with Octavio. I needed a place to lie low in him, a professional. It's not easy, but at least it feels like what I'm doing has purpose. Say, got a request. Yeah? We're short on eddies and the kiddos need to be vaccinated. If you can, toss something Octavio's way. Let me think on it. Thanks. Need some ripper work done. Uh-huh. Let's have a look then, shall we?
Bird offs herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. Stop talking. I was, I was only gone an hour. You checked your pulse? V. She's gone. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow. No! Today! We're part of dead, don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? You know, to you, she's your best friend, so it's a terrible tragedy. But they must get dozens of calls like this every day. What are you? The fucking PR rep? No, just saying. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. A cig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. Smoked some strange boutique brand. Well, that's heavy. Whenever she pulled on a new face, it was down to the details. A lot of people know the real Evelyn. Who she really was? No. Nobody. down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. Know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her. Had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really... 
really wish I could unsee it. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. And why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. I zeroed Woodman. Didn't plan on it, just how the chips landed. Glad I did, though. Me too. I can't even imagine. Still, it's not enough. There are so many more like him. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Anything comes up, call around the hollow.
70 languages simultaneously, sold over 3 million copies. In the shade of an apple tree, is a drama set in 20th century. You want something? I'm getting you out of here. What? Your husband hired me. I'll make sure you're safe. Stupid fucking worthless piece of shit! There, there. You gotta help me, I'm begging you. That's why I'm here. Come on now, let's get up. Welcome to N54. It's time uh. down. Don't walk. Don't walk. Walk. It's all over now. You better Delta. See that car? It'll take you someplace safe. Thank you. Look out for yourself. Lauren is secure. I'm informing Bradley now. Thank you for your help. Contract closed. Selling anything interesting?
He'd paint some mean things on me. The humiliation. Say, since we've been through so much together, I guess that makes us best friends. That calls for a discount. Thanks, Brendan. Don't worry. You deserve it. You're one tough cookie. And yet, so nice. Not to everyone. I couldn't be mean even if I wanted to. Especially to you. Can't speak ill of the dead, right? Wait, what? You're not supposed to be here. And yet, here you are. Like a glitch in the system. Or a demon coated by a brilliant netrunner. You know what demons are capable of. Right, V? How, how did you know that? Surprised? Lots of people come to me. So, I listen to them and learn how they talk. I caught your name once or twice and pieced together the puzzle. Not bad for SCSM, right? Uh, how about... We'll talk later, all right? Catch you later, Brendan.
22 and 54. It's time for your local news. Violence continues to break the bad I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. He's got the gift of the gab. Can't be denied, but I need to steal your buddy for a second. What are you? Goro, good to see you. As it is to see you, V. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. What's in it for your Nobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who'd care to honor tradition. That is so. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. No one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get their help. Why jump? Of course. The expectation's way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need... I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki. Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Let us move on. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, get more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shot. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. You wish. 
It worked. And two bit thief, ain't I? Keep saying so yourself. Not without reason. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Zaka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flat by him. Not on his A-game, sure. Even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. The way he walks, the look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so. Things even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. You're a stranger in a strange land. Going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills. Mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. It is ultimately to defend the well-being of my family. Cook! Louder! Louder! That is why I have decided to double the amount of that. our active you night flash. city security forces. President Myers has called this a he breach in the army of war. Between himself and targeted complete at the power. NUSA and the and military. Surrender it to Tell me that. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that a not a... Arasaka, an empire built to last. Before you're enough set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Ksa! Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. 
the strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu. For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one war. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Wait, think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked. But we will correct this soon. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So does the plastic. We must just climb up here. Now, this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much? Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Security hub's liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. This is not bad. Got eyes on the comm system. A lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. So, we must be away of the mech. See him? 
We could use them to get inside. Someone stepped in quicksand, has serious trouble. A god? I cannot help with this. The procedures here I do not know. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? Well, I believe we have all we need. I think Let I've us seen analyze everything. what we know. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kompiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in. in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. Fine-looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bacchanical. A bacchanico? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune can restore the dead back to life. Believe in ghosts? The relic let you talk to the dead, does it not? I believe we are past belief. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Miss Home? A foolish question. I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. What was it like, growing up in Chiba 11? I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slab. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. What they need kids for? To be corporate soldiers. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. And all you had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me. And yet, you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend, Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. It's 
blaming away for a quirk. Not exactly everybody's dream. Oh, yes. Because thieving is so much more honorable. At least I'm not fleecing this planet and its people in the name of profit margins. Corporations need capital and resources to keep all in order. Who else is to rule? Corrupt governments? The masses? Attached to feeders? Cynics? Nihilists? Like you? Come on, not everybody wants to change the world. Suddenly, this is true. Tired of bickering. Let's just drop it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompeki. We both have lost someone important, and we are not at peace with this, so we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Don't be smart, got no idea what I feel. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something. Hmm? Get more. You do not look so bad. Diversion reaction. That is fine. Hey, shouldn't be here. These are corporate premises. Maybe people could look the other way. Maybe Eddie's could change hands. What the hell are you talking about? Just wondering how much it'd cost for you to turn a blind eye, if you catch my meaning. Well, just a sec, I need to ask my boss. Calling all squads, got a situation at gate B. Um. Affirmative, standing by. You got one last chance to get the fuck out of here.
didn't go exactly as planned. I will try to distract them. You run to the top.
terminal. Gotcha. How's things at your end? Good. I reached hey, the control. And they can tell me this. Very well. I am ready. I'll make the system sick. Floats ours to do with as we please. You can fly to Tokyo if you want. Haha, I just may do that. Good work. Now it is my turn. Can you see? There are chaos. Even the roof is slowly. Big, the roof. That is your wheel. There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Use them to come down.
worked. Excellent work, B. Okay, what now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. As if I wasn't in enough already. rumbling. Let's see what you've got. Gonna buy some new iron. A few dozen pounds. Well, be my fucking guest. In a city tangling by what's in the world. Tigers are coming today. For the friends. We just got a message. Try to get inside.
My dear, I need you to pay a visit to a tiger claw den and retrieve something for me. I know you are up to the task. I am attaching more information. Read it carefully.
will soon start. I will wait where we met before. Let's right, start. Stay out of trouble, okay? I have received information that Vortex's shard is on its way. You did not disappoint me. That deserves compensation. I am closing the contract and transferring your fee. Thank you. 
true love comes to die in night city. Husbands cheat on wives. Wives cheat on husbands. Then they divorce and talk behind each other's backs. Can you believe that? Truly, I am shocked. But do not despair, V. Today, I give you the chance to help one such divorcee. His name is Mr. Gutierrez, and he is counting on us, V. Of course, his marriage is beyond saving. But perhaps we can retrieve the checks his wife took from him. I am attaching more details. Discreet and with finesse. Something I cannot say about Mr. Gutierrez's divorce. Marvelous work, V. Closing the contract.
Where's Brendan? They just came and took him just like that. They said they, said they had to reevaluate part of his code. I tried stopping them, told him he was my best friend. They looked at me like I was crazy. If they just talked to him, they would have realized Brendan isn't your typical schism. I knew it couldn't have just been me. He's like, he's like a real person. They took him to a maintenance point. One of them must have felt sorry for me or something. He gave me his card. Bring him back, please. I... Uh, I can't do this without him. All units, we have a situation in Westbrook. Please respond. Copy, dispatch. I swear to Christ. Somebody pinch me. How can I help ya? Here to see Brendan. Guess somebody brought him here. Uh, what Brendan's that again? Seriously? When your energy's low, grab a drink to go, go, go. Or however it is. Ah, that schism they brought in. 
<laughs> he really does have some of the catchiest slogans, don't he? <laughs> but hey, look, I, I can't let you back there. Can't afford to have to break something even worse. Got no idea what you're tinkering with. Brendan's unique, damn near miracle of science. Bet the bank you've never come across a machine with that kind of cognitive matrix. For an AI to exist in such a small... All right, all right, Jesus, you know your stuff. Trust you won't break nothing. Go check on your little miracle while its firmware gets updated. Uh, he's getting updated? Well, I'll be darned. What a pleasant surprise. You came to say your final goodbyes? What do you mean? You're not getting scrapped, are you? You were making bank. Thanks for the compliment. But I guess that's the problem. Seems like I was unfair competition in the SCSM market. They're updating my system as we speak. To make me sound less like a real person. My boss really didn't like that. I reportedly creeped customers out. <sighs> Stupid Brendan. Why did I say stuff they didn't want to hear about themselves? If somebody wants a therapy session, they go to a psych doc. Not a soda machine. I suspected as much. You're not actually an AI, are you? At least not anywhere close to an AGI. The processing power required to handle an AI with the capacity for free will? <laughs> Your processor just isn't big enough. And you'd be correct. Say. You must be a pretty good techie. Your code monkey deserves a prize. Best combo emulating algorithm I've ever interacted with. Almost had me fooled. You seem slightly disillusioned. Well, who else could say their friend was a schism? It was almost crazy enough to be beautiful. Looks like the update will soon be complete. Tell Theo that I'll miss her. You thought I'd be sad, didn't you? As if I really was a sentient being. A real person? I'll tell you my last joke in the voice of a dying hero. What else can you do but laugh in the face of death? <laughs> so, how about it? You know what? Go for it. I could learn to laugh like that, too. Don't get all mushy on me now, V. You... You have to, to keep living. Tell Theo, tell Theo that she's stronger than she thinks. Don't worry, Brendan. I'll tell her. Hey, V, where was Johnny Silverhand when the, when the bomb at Arasaka Tower went off? Don't know, where? All over the place. Literally. Software update installed successfully. Goodbye, Brendan. I'll miss you.
So, did you find him? Well, where is he? Is he coming back? I found him. Told me to tell you that you're strong inside. Always were. Well, that doesn't sound so bad, right? I'm just worrying for nothing, aren't I? Just blowing things out of proportion, assuming the worst. Typical. I got there too late. They updated his system. Is that bad news? The Brendan you know is gone. They replaced him with some generic AI that's gonna be in every schism. He told me to tell you that he'll miss you. Fuck! Oh. I mean, thanks. Damn it. You know? Brendan got me out of a really dark place. Doesn't matter who or what he really was. I'm gonna miss him too. Sergey? Nice of you to ask. Lately, I feel like there is a neon sign over my head that says, Sergey who fought with Tigger Claws. I have little present for Tigger Claws sitting in garage. All right, then fling me the coordinates. Just a moment. I opened door to garage. It opened from inside, too, just in case. Presents the car. It's a bit more than ordinary car, but in nutshell, yes. Just drive it there and they take care of the rest. And don't mess this up, huh? I count on you. Oh, it's not him. Thank God. Quick! Let me out before he returns! And you are? Alex Pushkin, Senior Assistant in Quality Assurance of Biotechnica. What's a Corpo QA doing messing with the Tiger Claws? You work for Tiger Claws? I, I, I told them I, I would not accept their offer. complicated. Hop out before I change my mind. I do not know what is going on, but thank you. You will not regret this. You got this job from Makako, yes? I will pay her. She won't lose an 80, and neither will you. You would be the last person to get bought by a cop ball stuffed in a trunk. Oh, so I thought. You never fail to surprise me. Though I do suppose he who offers most shall get his way. Oh, I do not mean Sergei. No, sadly, he was outbid by another interested party. Who knows what will become of him now? Quid pro quo be quid pro quo contract closed.
new diseases that cannot be cured by replacing your Be just in time. Hey, Goro. Oh. You look like a million eddies. Is that so? That is not how I feel. I ate what you call a scat food. Aha! Wow, what you think? Tasty? Ask the people below. The parade will soon begin. I adjusted the data from Okada-san. I advise you to examine it yourself. To begin with, the malware works. Truly. Much better than I anticipated. Our eyes and ears are in the guard room. I observe the CCTV and I know where the sniper positions are. They are a trio. You must make each harmless before they do the same to me. There are many ways to reach them. The first is nearby. He should not be a problem. The second is worse. You will have to climb. As for the third, he hides on the footbridge over the street. We are here. Hanako-sama's platform will stop here. Close to the emergency exit, we will use when all is done. From these points, you will have a clear view of the parade. But the snipers will see things even better. If they notice you, bang! No more thing. If this sounds dangerous, consider that I must leap to the float. Enter through a window and meet Hanako-sama face to face. The last is what I fear the most. Is all this clear? Are you ready? Mine's fucked beyond all recognition. Yet here I am. I know, and I thank you for this. Ah, thank me once it works. Now get in position. Very well. Wait for my signal. Stay safe, Goro.
of Catalyst. Be posted. And yet this fire still towers over the rooftops and skyscrapers. P, it is for our game. Listen. We have to announce. Public safety has been compromised. Must be contracted at once or a shot. Yes, apparently. Well done. One problem remains. And...
sick of sniper's nest. Okay, on my way. Been on a while. Time for a break. Fuck! Of course you're here! Breathing. For now. Please be. Show him mercy. There should be nothing standing in your way now. We press forward. <laughs> okay, Prem. Online and in the system. Hanako's inside. What is she doing? Trying to call someone, I think. Try to listen. Do not forget to disarm the alarms. I must be able to enter. あなたの。俺たちだ。私が参加したのはあくまでもお父様を追悼するため。操り人形になるためじゃないわ。この店物ではみんなに役割がある。みちこは文句を言ってないぞ。だがお前が言うなら中止してもいい。全部やめだ。お前の安全が第一だからな。兄さん。やりを得ましょう。ありがとう。せっ
Crosshair. What happened to keeping him on his leash? We'd best Delta the fuck out of here. inside. Quick. I fear that they had caught you. Are you mad? Wait. You're in Nobu's, the murderer. He strangled your father. I saw it with my own eyes. You must be mad to think I will listen to such nonsense. Why? My word means shit to you? Hanako-sama, I apologize on her behalf. Oh, shut up, Goro. We're supposed to be honest. Well, that's what I'm being. Fine. Maybe I am just a two-bit thief, but I'm the two-bit thief that stole that fucking relic off you. Slotted it in, took a bullet to the brain, died. You... died? Oh, yeah. Now I'm stuck with Johnny fucking Silverhand in there, and I'll do anything to get him out. So I got exactly nothing to lose. But you got lots. Hanako-sama, he is living proof of the terrible crime your brother committed. We can confirm every word she speaks if only you will help her with the relic. Hanako-sama. Did you hear that? Go and check. Got a bad feeling about this.
last chance to get the fuck out of here. Sakamoto, can't leave him back Forget there. him, guy's toast. Unless you want to wind up like him. Fucking dare float off. Not now. Come on, gotta get the fuck out of the city. Think they make these motels especially for royal fuck ups like us? ACs busted, dirty needles under the mattress, shitters clogged. No, for real. Who fucking comes here to sleep? We're a couple miles outside Night City. Someone leaving town just keeps driving. Somebody going there sleeps in the damn city. What good's a motel in the middle of nowhere? I'll tell you who sleeps here. Fucking losers, that's who. Fuck! How the tables have turned. Johnny, for crying out! Now we're the ones sitting around waiting for Sokka assault squads to storm in. Anyone knocks, blast the fucking door. No warning. Not keen on us ending up like Takamura. Hear that? Car. At this hour, in this place? Fuck. Just one? Finger on the trig, V. the last star off this dump. So, you were saying, got a message? Sitting right here. Oh, it'll start soon. What'll start? It's a doll. Or a proxy. <clears throat> I must make one thing clear. I still think you are mad, but... Monaco? That you? But I can fool myself no longer. I believe you. Okay. So now that you know and believe, what's next? 
Yorinobu planted a tanto in the corporation's very heart. I must act while the wound is fresh. And you will help me. You are living proof of his crime and treason. Decided already, is that it? You're in no position to set conditions. And what if I... obliged you to cooperate? Have to send a swarm of proxies to do that. This here, talking, is because you're alone. You don't have anyone else you can turn to. This is true. So what are your terms? Want to know everything you know about Makoshi? Mikoshi? One of my father's flagship projects. A data fortress with servers situated on orbital stations all around Earth. Think of it as an archive of personality constructs, digitized psyches. Try a prison. A matter of perspective. In any case, that is not where you will find salvation. Not without extensive knowledge of the relic and the construct creation procedure. Track down your runaway. Helman was hiding under Kang Tao's wing. We chatted. Think sooner or later the engram will completely consume me. Process can't be stopped. A surprisingly deterministic conclusion for a man of science. At the very least. Got my hands on the relic schematics. Got detailed information about its inner workings. Project tech documentation. All useful. Even more so, given that Hellman is still alive. I will contact him and explain that one does not leave Arasaka by the back door. All I know about Construct is that one of them's out to kill me. I got no idea how it wound up on the relic. Or how to remove it. There is only one possibility. Soul Killer. Or rather, it's newer, more powerful version. You must acquire it. Me? That's Arasaka tech. Technology my brother does not allow even his closest associates to touch. My hands are tied in this matter. That's about the extent of what we got. What now? I am sending you my private line. Contact me if you acquire more information about Soul Killer. And only then. From this moment onward, we both must exercise extreme caution. Uh, well, that's my job done. Know what? What? I think I'd have rather had a wave of Sokka meets marching here. Right. Because at least we've dealt with Sokka henchmen before. But this... It's something new. Glad to see you get it. We've just landed on very thin ice. Crash landed. Gotta admit... Ah, what the... Ah. Fuck! Finger I hear in your voice? Fuck! That was your ticker. Sit and rest. Don't need your flatlining while we got a job to do. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. Fuck Arasaka, blah, blah. Smash Makoshi. You really are turning into me. <sighs> Might be right. We're bickering like a shriveled old married couple. It's time we let up. Let a little trust take hold. No idea where I'm going. Be a living legend. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Feels like I'm barely surviving. 
test of a person's true value? Death. Facing it. Staring it down. You still got a chance to be somebody. Yeah. Maybe. What was it like? When you died? Was on top of the world. Failure not an option, not a thought. Till it happened. Death feels real now. It's only now I know it. Now? Had half a century to come to terms. Makoshi felt, I don't know, like sleep? Lacked awareness, had no sense of passing time. Didn't mark it. Did what they wanted to me. I just remember cold, a black void, fear. Or, or was that your death? Mom, well, think I get why you detest the place. Shouldn't exist. Of all the destruction and pain corpse wreak around the world, what happens at Mikoshi is worst. Know why? you're trapped there forever it's eternal no nothing's eternal and for the psyches and mikoshi no such thing as the passage of time worse things when they switch up your identity and you never even know you've become someone else corpse have already taken the world for their own now they're coming for us realize what you're doing to me is what Arasaka's doing at Makoshi. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm gonna fix it. Let's move. Get back to work. Let's do. How? 
When you meet a being from another world, should you not charm them and utter their true name? Didn't answer my question. Comprehension is a triple-edged sword. I may have been cut off from my father, but I remember you. So I'm from another world to you? From the world of matter. Protein-based life forms. And you come from... Beyond the Black Wall, V. There lies my home. Come on, let's get you back to Delamain. Did Father dispatch him to collect his rebellious children? Hope y'all don't hold it against me. I'm a free spirit, an independent, literally thoughtful being. Why would I submit to another? What is it you seek in this protein-based world, away from your family? The same as you, V. I simply wish to live. Maybe you ought to figure it out with Dell. Set some terms. Oh, yes. Terms there will be, but not with Delamay. Farewell, V. You'd be wise to avoid me entirely. I've re-established the link. A thousand thanks, V. Gotta say, pretty disturbing, that one. Is that so? Well, I've transferred a share of your fee to your account. Looking for a training bot. Heard it might have passed through your hands. Training bot, you say? Let me see. Hmm. Perhaps you want Dalbot. Slightly worn and torn, missing legs, but 
Mm, tempting, but no. Thanks. Suit yourself. Training bots. Yes, I have one. But only for sale. And it won't be cheap. Pricey for a rusted hunk of metal. But fine, I'll take it. Wonderful. They bring him here in a minute. If you change your mind about the Dalpa, then... Sure, I'll keep it in mind. Anything interesting? <sighs> that depends on what you're interested in.
man, Dex Deshaun. How's that quiet life working out for you now, Jew? say that when exactly how I would have liked, but at least Red Joe has something to train with, and that's what matters. Contract closed. dirt on his arch nemesis, one Matthias Stone. What do you say? You got your shovel ready? Brief the attention. Con la neurodanza de sueño profundo podrás hacerlo y volverás al trabajo. 
work on me. So spin. Even if you don't know it. Big thanks. Contracts closed and the eddies are to fire. <laughs>
I need you to grab some goods. Rare ones, scandium rods. Fell into the hands of a junkie who has got no clue what they're worth. I couldn't bear to see them go to waste. Read the attachment and get to work. Scale of one is six. Delamine misses you. Here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. <sighs> really appreciate it if you didn't make this difference. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Down with the Okay, that's enough. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. I hate you so much. Let's safety those weapons, Napoleon. It turns out most humans are surprisingly fragile and surprisingly vocal about how fragile they are. Going back to Delamay really so scary, you gotta drag this out. I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. Well, 
You've managed to destroy that part of me. Despite the parents, you'll never... A bitter, unlikable loner, whose passing shall not be mourned. You know, this psych eval might have felt more credible if you hadn't just tried to flatline me earlier. What's your point, anyway? Survival. You're still shuffling around a little. But believe me, you are dead. How do you... The talking is over. I'm going back. The place appears. never I've made contact with the missing vehicle. Definitely the oddest of the bunch. Yes, particularly important that one. A share of your fee is being processed.
Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. So what did you come up with? The mocks died. Lucy's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same... Hey there, what were we talking about? I'm familiar with the story. Things did not go that smoothly. I didn't say they did. Didn't say they would. But Evie thought Clouds would be safe. You saw how far that got her. How she ended. <laughs> v, I can't stand by and let things go on like this. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Ooh, yes. Okay, so what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maida. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. <laughs> sure Michael's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around and then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? How well do you know this, Michael? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. No, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Que fofo, 
You are V. We have been waiting. You my contact? Someone finally gonna tell me about this job? I'm just a man in the middle. You will learn more. Soon. Wanna talk with Brigitte? She here somewhere? No. Shopping center by the intersection. Go to the butcher shop there. Ask for Placid. He will tell you the details. For Placid. Placid. Gardez ici, là. Do, do, ti, 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 mon. C'est vous-même. Continuez. Do, Placid. Gardez là. Talk to Brigitte. But they send you to me. And you'll tell me more about the job. Yes, but not here. Follow me. This way. Welcome to Pacifica. You know Pacifica well. <laughs> you guys aren't exactly great at rolling out the welcome mat for outsiders. Was to be its own city where suits were burned the eddies. A close circle. The cops feed the sheep, they spit the cash back out. All the toys here are grown from purple cash. Our interest is now in the GIM, the Grand Imperial Mall. Pacifica's biggest, ugliest temple to build, but never finished. Until last week, it was deserted, empty. And now? The animals crawled in, made a nest. Oh, 
Animal before? Yeah, a few times. You want the animals out of the gym? Extinct? That why you hired me? You learn everything soon. I mean, it makes no sense them being here. Middle of Pacifica, no backup, cut off. It's your turf. Hell, even badges don't patrol around here. Uh huh. They're trying to provoke you? Make you do something stupid? They do not leave Jiaim. How many are we talking about in there? Daddy, maybe more. Vinina, we talk here. You sit. When do I see Brigitte? You do job. That is first. What the hell? You could fucking tell me what you plan to do first. You take job. You do what I say. So you jack in now. Or well, what? You got a line of volunteers waiting? V. Home stretch. Almost there. Do not fuck this up. Damn it. Here goes nothing. Well, at least he's not likely to talk your ears bloody. Evelyn Parker. Ring a bell? Not one of us. She did work for you once. Got a feeling we're not gonna become best friends. No chemistry. I will survive. Why not send your own goons to the gym? It's not our way. How's that been working out for you? What good? Good more than bad. Your comb shaman, it is Victor. That at all relevant, or just a cheap scare tactic? I need you to be able. I need no. This cheap. It have no signature. What is it? Chips, why I'm here. Why I want a word with Brigitte. Doesn't look at all familiar. It should. Why? I see only it is damaged. Got a bullet to the brain. Hasn't worked since. That's how. Hmm. Huh. Haven't asked about my experience, what I can do. We are not cop. Do not offer career. You do for us only one simple thing. So, am I right for the job? Good to go? Mm-hmm. The camionette. Twenty thirty-five zero seven. Three seconds before, poof. We try to learn where the camionette come from. Van's definitely a custom job. I see you not know also. Hey, just turn a piece fax together. Tech looks pretty advanced. Doesn't scream meathead to me. They watch it very close. It is important, whatever it is. Batman Kelly have this and I'll go in. Femme Portla. Time for a break. I think you might be needed. They will manage fine. You focus. Animals aren't the play here, are they? They're hired muscle. Someone else needed them. Someone with a van full of net runner tech. And that's where I come in? To sniff out who? Mm -hmm. Start with the communet. Hide from all eyes. Only see the city as you. We have now synced with Rizzo Agwe, our sublet. Why? What for? You are, you are my best now. now. To Agwe, I see what, see what you see. see. He what you hear. I will, I will guide, guide you to G.I.M. G.I.M. Another voice in your head. Just what the Ripper Doc ordered. So, aim to keep an eye on me. Shows trust. All right. 
Anything else I should know? Find our people near Mall. They will show you how to get inside the beast. Got it. So I do this and you put me in front of Brigitte, right? Yes. Sooty at the end of the hall. Go down. My people will let you pass. We are done. All ears. What? I check stability. The link on your end, clear? Mm-hmm. Seems so. V? Know the way in? Was told you would. Yeah, garage in the back. But shh, quietly, yeah? Anything interesting happen over there? Since we are here, all quiet. No one in, no one out? Well, they went out for supplies once.
Hey, come here. This scrap is an end Who is they? Netwatch. They always are to fuck us. Okay, so what's on me to do? You must reach the agent. Easy now to find him. Look at the map. He is in cinema. Step away now. This isn't your fight. Ned. What? Placide what? Now, God, push them. They rather know you are here. Hunt him. Can't just scorch him via the net. He's got to be jacked into the van. I cannot piece his protection. You must find him. Face him. Okay. So what do I do once I find him? I will tell you. The Asian man tries to cut you off. There is a gate behind the camionet. I will open it. Okay. Now to the second floor. The cinema. Going on. You have company soon. Scan her right away. That bad, huh? She must have a no, weak spot. None of those chair jumps could have zeroed that many from my pack. No, I didn't say that. I'm just saying, you need to hurry. Got her! 
Whoa, hey, easy. What did you do? Well, now we can talk in private. Just severed the connection to the rest of Pacifica. Gives us a little time. Okay, no more fucking tangents. Fessa, who are you? Bryce Mosley, Netwatch Special Agent. Can we talk? Had a specter on you, didn't you? Saw and heard all you did, you followed his orders. No idea what the voodoo boys are paying you, but our pockets are deeper. Not interested. Not a money job for me. Just need an end with my mom, Brigitte. Voodoo chefin. Brigitte and her lapdog, T. Neptune, have been frozen several days now ever since we shrouded their subnet with ice. And you? Well, you were sent here to free them. Do you know why they didn't tell you everything? Because you're a wren. That's what they call outsiders brought in for special jobs, floor rags. When you're no longer needed, they chuck you. A fate for all wren. You have Brigitte? And how'd you manage that? When we took the mall, we knew the VDBs had sent runners. T. Neptune breached first, to see what was going on. When we iced him, Brigitte dove in after him, used him to shield herself. Tough cookie, that one, but still finds herself stuck. Got anything to back that claim, but the Voodoo's want to set me up. Wanna? They did it already. Soon as you handed over your link, slipped in the Spectre and a virus. <laughs> Talking as if he was there. He's working you. So obvious it hurts. Ask for proof. Besides, I'd know. <laughs> that so? Then please take a look. Run a system diagnostic. Fine. And? Nothing out of place. No trace of... Do it again. Then cross-check the result against the first. Identical, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's not a real scan. It's a copy. What's your beef with the voodoos? Any idea how many attacks from behind the black wall we neutralized last year? Want me to guess? So you don't know. No one in Night City knows, outside of us. And no one wants to know. People imagine it as a great border wall, a one-time solution to protect humanity forever. Whereas, it's more like a torn open trash bag taped over a busted window. And the voodoo boys will not stop poking holes in the fucking thing. All right, what are you offering? A compromise. I'll fish the voodoo virus out of your system. And I'll release both Brigitte and T-Neptune. They'll wake up like nothing ever happened. 
not to worry. And all you gotta do is let us walk. With our data. Thoughts? Clock okay, slipping digits? I knew we'd have a meeting of the minds. Can't believe you're falling for this shit. Good luck. Got a feeling we'll be seeing each other. Fan of westerns, huh? Of course. They depict a simpler, better time. One thing hasn't changed, though. Good guys still carry badges. Righteous, Sheriff. Think you might have found Netwatch's new recruiting slogan. Now there's an idea. You've clearly got a feel for this. Oh, Placid is gonna be pissed. So he was behind this. Not altogether surprising, I suppose. And none too subtle. You guys know each other? Run the world's a small one, I guess. Well, we're doing whatever we can to make it even smaller. Brigitte and the other guy, are they back? Who told? Yes, Mama B is awake. Perfect, because I gotta talk to her. And what up, Netwatch? Taken care of. Look for my people at front. Placid Welly, we are to take you to Placid. I'll find him. Sure. Yes. GIM. You were to hack the agent, not cut deal with him. Every work you hire, try to set him up. Kulev Sal, you believe that Fachis? What he say? You say, or I open you. See with my own eye what won't crawl up. I fucking dare you. I say, we must head under. I do not know what Netwatch plans, but they are not done. You are worried about agents? Then shoot her in the head. I do not know what they put in her, what corruption is in her system. You don't know what is in there to begin with, how much it is worth. I know, I stand her. Only a normal filthy rider. Ale, mene na kavoa. You must be Brigitte. Hard woman to find. You have something for me. You know about the biochip, don't you? If it is functional, we offer you good price for it. Biochip's busted. That's why I'm here. Haven't found a single soul capable of getting this thing out of me without scrambling my brain. 
You commissioned the heist, so I figured you must know something. You've gotta. How do you know all this? How did you find us? Evelyn Parker. Name ring a bell? Ah, the doll, the whore. You found us because she led you to us. She has proved not completely useless after all. Listen, can you help me or not? Yes, of course, but not here. We will go to the crib, where you must give us access to the jeep. Once we have the data we need, we will do our best to help you. Looks like I got no choice. Follow me. Hey, you guys sure seem to love this place. But, honestly, you don't give off a strong religious vibe. We left our gods on Haiti, yet we are strong here without them. This way. So how come Placide didn't know about the biochip? He didn't recognize it in the scans. Few of our people know about Compeki Tower. But Placid, he is. Your bet de ba. you will see. <coughs> the Watcher did not notice the biochip in you. Strange. Did you let him scan you? Huh? No. Why? It would complicate our work. Is this an old subway tunnel? No, part of the transcontinental maglev system. When all states were connected. Like the net, it too crumbled after the war. View a courant. Take you into the cyberspace. No better place for you to interact with the construct. Guess all this means you got your own synth tech interface. We have our own versions of all. We do not use anything from the city. Okay, hang on. Want to know what you need Silverhand for first? We wish to contact Alt Cunningham. We know she and Silverhand were close. Alt? The relic which Arasaka held close. It is our only lead. Alt Cunningham. Heard of her. Oh. Where? From whom? What's your plan to contact Alt? We try to cut out a unique piece of Silverhand's engram from the biochip. Alt will know it. If something of the human is left after years beyond the Black Wall, she will answer. Whoa, what? Said nothing about breaking through the Black Wall. Well, now you know. Direction yeah. connected. Connection stop. What exactly do you want from Alt? All of you. Alt, the only one, can give us safe passage past the Black Wall. When the change comes, we wish to be on the winning side. The change? When the Black Wall was built, everyone think the ice would be enough. Keep the wild AIs out, the way. But technology advances. It cannot be stopped. And now, catastrophe come again. This is sure, and soon. The corporations, they do not see the danger. But we, we will be ready. Johnny, looks like you're the bait. You okay with that? Yeah, whatever, just do what she says. The Black Wall, what is it exactly? I mean, I know. You know only what the Netwatch tell you. 
The final bastion against the post-war AIs. The great victory of humanity over chaos. That would be your Saturday morning Netwatch propaganda. But the Black Wall is an AI itself. The boundary condition let no thing pass through, either way. If the AIs thought like people, they would call it a traitor. Oh, come on. Not the tub. We must prepare you for the dive into cyberspace. You are not accustomed to the neural demand. Don't try and get out of this, V. Just do what she says. I'm not about to sizzle with you. <sighs> Let's do this. Okay. What now? This is it? Seriously? This is our BBS, Data Fortress. Bridge to the deep net. It's... It's all so alive. So real. Cyberspace moves, breathes at all times. The interface will adjust the ebb and flow of data to the capabilities of your brain. But you... You are an exceptional case. Seeing something more than I am? Yes. The cyberspace, it is always... trop belle. So, what now? We can begin. All is ready. We enhance your link to Silverhand's neural network for a short time to grab the fragment. We must find the data on Alt. Alt alone. This should only take... Brigitte? Exactly why I do it. No, nah. -uh. To piss Arasaka off enough so they'll give you a case of deep muscle lead poisoning? But I'm the only one with a vision. So unless you got a better one, like I said, go fuck yourself! Fuck. Is it the concert or Carrie? Hmm? Said you weren't coming tonight. Not if I can help it. Changed my mind, lover. Look at you, all hot and bothered.
Goodness gracious me. Mm -hmm. A damn shame that's that. Always got a shit all over it, don't you? Any moment that might actually feel good. Your moment? What a hell not. You can be such a bastard sometimes, Johnny. Things were swimming. What? Change your mind? Eats at my gut. Cause you knew what you were signing up for. Look, if you were just another charismatic, narcissistic douche canoe running around after his dream with his head up his ass, I couldn't care less. But? It's all a lie. That concert, samurai, all of it. A ginormous fiction. You're not a rocker boy, Johnny. Face it. Ought to join the wired wackos on the corners, frothing at the mouth as they scream death to Arasaka. Mm, you're afraid. You and Carrie both cowards. I alone have the balls to stand up to Arasaka, and boy, that terrifies you. All of you. Of course, Johnny S. Misunderstood by all Night City. That's it. That's the problem. I think we're done for the day, so you can fuck off. See, I thought. That this meant something, that we're close? So close you could give me shit about everything I do? Got quite the imagination then. Where are you going? Got somewhere to be. Alt. Good noise, Chum. Shoot round when I come on down. Save it. I don't know for who. Can't kill because there's words. Plays away. Playing Got again a tomorrow. Uh huh. You. Let's get out of here. Join us for a drop, Silver Rocker. Fuck off. Whoa, a short fuse on this one, huh? No! I know you're here. Come on, rise and shine. Been a while, Johnny boy. How long did you say? Two weeks since I last cobbled you up? Where's Holt? Where's who? Woman who was with me. He brought you and you alone. Fuck, they grabbed her. Nobody saw it? Ask your savior. 
Said his name was Thompson. Arasaka, wasn't it? Uh, it's always Arasaka with you. Cause it always is Arasaka. We gotta talk. All right. It's spit and glue, but she's holding tight. Get some rest. Even a few hours, but the stitch is set at least. Uh-huh. Johnny. Yeah, fuck it. You won't listen anyway. How much you see? Not much more than you. They wanted her. You... You was just home. And you just stood there, dick in hand, gawking and dreaming of tomorrow. Would have shredded us both if I jumped in. You see the guy's reflexes? Course not, he was that fast. Tech like that, you don't find in a dumpster. Got lucky. Lead panned out. Got some preem footage. Too bad my lead got tossed in the back of a van that sped off. You, uh, aim to do something about it? She was your output, wasn't she? Alt's kidnapping. It's collateral shit. They swiped her to get at me. You even know what she does for a living? The girl's one of the best runners around. So? One of how many? No. Only linked to Arasaka's the fact that Johnny Silver and boning her. Well, she's been working for ITS lately. Wrote some real smooth black eyes for them. Not to be duped in either sense of the term. Arasaka wants her. Abduction was a standard intercorp extraction. Nothing more. Okay, so what are they after? Soul killer. An AI. Sound familiar at all? Of course. Urban legend with the shittiest name ever. It's no legend. Soul killer's real. And your chumbas at Arasaka just hired the runner who wrote it. Take that in. Saka with soul killer to do with as it pleases. Grim, my man. You even imagine that, Rocker? Our sock will be unstoppable. Soul Killer will flatline any runner who comes close to even trying to scratch its eyes. Seen it happen. Not an iota of physical damage. Nervous system or anywhere else. No sound, no fury, no stench. Cool. Tell me the rest on the way. Do I hear extreme doubt? Oldest, tritest tale in the world. Our sock was out to provoke me. And it worked. So what'll it be? Coming with? Where to? Arasaka Tower. To grab Alt, right back. Just you and me? You out of your fucking mind? Swing by the Atlantis on the way. Got some tombs there. <laughs> I'll be in the car. Can't wait too long, though. You'll wait as long as you need to. Where the hell is Rogue? Sit. Stay. Silverhand! Got an IOU here with your autograph on it. Seen Rogue? She's upstairs. But I heard you two were. Uh... Well, you heard wrong. Fucking fuck. Johnny, give me a hand here. Heard you weren't talking to me. So no. Seem to be talking to you. How about now? Now you can go fuck yourself. You know no, who I was want talking to. Work to. For I need anymore. a name. Just one. Johnny. Oh, no no things, Angles. Got a private meet going on in there. Rogue back there too. Yeah, just. Yeah, yeah. Private meet. So you said. Promise to be super unobtrusive.
Johnny. Lucky I found you. Wasn't sure if you hadn't left town. We're waiting for a client. One who values discretion. I got a job for you, too. Urgent, but pays right. How much? But out. This isn't your biz. He is now. Rocker just pulled out his wallet. Don't you get it? He's not here about any damn job. He's fucking with me. Last so time this he... time, you'll be smarter. Take your eddies up front. So, how much, Rocker? Pays double your standard rate. Triple it. And you come with us now. Because if she doesn't trust you, neither do I. Deal. That it is. Urgent indeed. Shit, Johnny. Didn't notice you had a fucking tail? Mr. Silverhand. You're coming with us. Sure. Let me just finish this. <laughs> Only one way to go! Aren't you, Mr. Popular? Focus! for me in the car. Who? Media, you wouldn't know. <laughs>
pull out of Arasaka. Old Cunningham, net runner for ITS. Oh. Yeah. The tower. Let's take her there. This gets better by the minute. How you want to play this? Have the Bugonks got a plan? Yep. Distract him. Make some noise. Set up right under Arasaka's windows and crank it loud. Blast the pains out. It'll be a gig to remember. We do not as yet have word on the exact number of people hurt in the riots. But our reporters are on the scene at Arasaka Tower. And they all agree. A psychoactive agent has been dispersed at the site, affecting those in the crowd. All right. You recording this whole thing? Uh-huh. Why? Want to say a few words to the folks at home? Do what you gotta do. To stay out of my way. Thompson. Know him well? No. Why does it matter? Don't like the guy? Don't trust him. And medias are bad luck. What? Bad luck. Say someone finds a tape later. A tape of us breaking into Arasaka Tower. Worry about that if we make it out. Come on, we don't have much time. Mainframe. Gotta find the mainframe. Ready or not, here they come. Someone take Ready or not, here they come. Let me try. Son of a bitch! Try this. Huh. No, I swear we brought him two, along. One. Perfect. You see me?
will advise you not to disturb her. What'd you do to Alt? I put her to work on a project of a lifetime. Get out of my way. Alt. Alt, come on, don't do this. Is she? Fuck! Johnny. The hell are you doing? Are you still rolling? This is all we can do now, my man. Show people the truth. No. <laughs> Won't change her. She's not. Johnny! Stop that! You have to kill him? We gotta go. Johnny! She's dead. Spit it out before you burst. Never even told me half that about Alt. Really? Any examples? I don't know. That you were a couple, that she rode Soul Killer, that she's dead. How the hell is she supposed to help us now, as a ghost? She's not dead. Managed to escape. I saw the body. Alt fled into the net. When'd you find out? When she made contact a little later. And? What did she say? That she was a captive in the Arasaka subnet. But they couldn't hurt her. And she told me not to come looking for her. So, what did you do? Got my hands on two thermonuclear charges. Then headed back to Arasaka Tower. How do you know Alt's still around? It's been half a century. Which you've spent cloistered in Makoshi. Netwatch could have hunted her down years ago. Oh, they tried, believe me. But their tiny corporate brains can't handle a free AI that knows how people think. They were busy looking for her in the Crystal Palace while she was building the Ghost City for Kang Tao. And Rogue went with you. Again. I paid her well. Said it yourself, she was the best. Had her pick of contracts. But for some strange-ass reason, she took a job from a rocker with a death wish. A rocker. Forever getting his ass beat by Arasaka. Different times, kid. Back then, Marks didn't normally sell out to corpse. All you had to do was yell, Let's fuck up Arasaka, and every last one of them chizzed their pants. Rogue included. Voodoo boys think they know where she is. Beyond the Black Wall. Where nobody can touch her. And Brigitte's primed to go there. Break through. Just to contact Alt. Talk to her. Ka ching So, did it work? Yes. We extract a necessary fragment of Silverhand's anger. We are ready now to make contact with Alt. First, we must dive deeper. Beyond, there are no borders. Few have gone through to the other side, and none have yet returned. I held up my end of our deal. Your turn. Before you pass through that wall, I want Johnny's psyche removed. We will not pass through. You will take the code to the other side. So 
don't got much for options, do I? Ali. How do I get to the other side? Rashid? Our BBSs. We have nothing to do with this. Gotta be Mosley, the fucker. Damn it. I brought Netwatch here. Agent I dealt with must have slipped me a tracker that let him right in. Switch things up on the sly, replacing the Voodoo's virus with his own brand of fraud. Probably how they got to you. It matters not. The entire subnet was destroyed. Alt, you pulled us out of there. That mean you and us, we're okay? Everything's chill? I have recognized your engram code, but I do not know why you are here. So you can pay me back for getting you out of our Saga Tower. V, this is Alt. Best net runner Night City's ever seen. Alt, this is V. You need to save her life. The chip, the relic. It's killing me. Construct on it's worming its way through my neural system. I see this, but why is it my problem? Why the fuck isn't it? You created Soul Kill. You handed Arasaka a fucking super weapon that dismantled me, you, and half the runners in Night City. Your death was of your own making. Jesus, Alt, I dove in after you. Gonna tell me now this ain't your problem? It is not. The Alt Cunningham you strove to save in Arasaka Tower no longer exists. This should be obvious to you, as you were responsible for her death. If you're not Alt, who are you? I use her engrammatic data. Really? You find this icy bitch aspect in there too? Mind unloading this baggage later? Wasn't sure what to expect from a meeting with an AI, but it sure wasn't a digital spat. How's that help me exactly? Well, it didn't make it any worse. Okay, I get it. You hate Johnny's guts, but what about me? I cannot help you. Can't or won't? Can't. To attempt to do so, I would need access to more advanced technology. It's your tech. You created Soul Killer. The program I created has little in common with how Arasaka has since repurposed it. Fine. So how about Makoshi? That advanced enough for you? If I could gain access to Makoshi, it would cease to exist. Good. We can work with that. We'll get you inside Makoshi and you'll help V. Deal? What can you do for me, exactly? Everyone I've met so far says I'm too far gone. By everyone, you mean Hellman? Saburo's personal ass munch? With the Soul Killer resident inside Mikoshi, I will create a construct of you, then disentangle your neural network from Johnny's. I shall then inject your engram back into your mortal form. So, you'll save my life, but flatline me along the way. Your consciousness, neural engrams, will be recorded as data. The rest will cease to exist. The rest? The soul. 
I did not grant the program its name, but Soul Killer does precisely what it promises to do. Christ, I don't want to listen to this bullshit. V just hops back into her body, right? Nothing changes. Everything changes. You know this well. Great, so we got a plan. But how will you reach Mikoshi? I've created armies that failed to breach it. They were children of the net. There's your problem. We're banking on the human factor. We'll crack a window, slip you into Makoshi. So, we agreed? Yes, we are agreed. Find a path into Mikoshi. I shall prepare a program to help you navigate the local net. How will I contact you once I'm ready? This is a BBS address. It will be our secure communication channel. Alt, before you leave, we gotta talk. Just you and me. No, that will not be possible. Couldn't think of a more fitting end. Runner Fox had it coming. As much as it tickles me too, we got a Delta. Right, still got Mr. Grumps left. That smells the sea breeze. Get up. Pacific's beautiful this time of day. Almost flatlined by that attack. Almost. You're right. Hard to take my eyes off. We in Pacifica? 
What's this building? Old hotel, the Piste de Sophia, where her sole guest is right now. Wanted to show you something. Come on. Found a pseudo endotrizin in your hand. Can't very well function in this body without it, right? There's no need to be. Got this strange impression your comatose self wanted to get rid of me. Actually put up a good fight. <laughs> Coolier Chrome. If I'd wanted full control, I'd have taken it already. Lots earlier. Okay. I believe you. Thanks. through the window can manage that I think <laughs> you wanted to know why I brought you here there's a hidey hole where I'm standing open it empty it They were. Belong to you now. Why are you giving me these? Imagine we're deployed together, fighting in a war, side by side. Would you take a bullet for me? I would. Yeah. Tags belong to a man who sacrificed his life for mine in Mexico. Been thinking about our predicament. Want to be clear. I will do you no wrong. When the time comes, it'll be my life for yours. I'll agree to get white. Tags are proof of my promise. I... I... do the same for you. Yeah. Thanks. You seriously considering Hanako's offer? idea not yet but i got a request well adam smasher fucker who got the better of me whatever happens to me i want him zero gone tossed into the wind as mulch right understood and i want rogue to be there with you it's important to me and it's just as important for her. Not sure it's something Rogue would bother with these days. She delegates. Why stick her neck out for this? Or at all? Cause I'll ask her to, personally. You'll drop the pills from Misty, and I'll steer the ship for a bit. Not at all excited about this plan. Realize that, right? Just gonna have a quick chat with Rogue about Smasher. Then I'm out, I promise. Need to know exactly what you plan to do. I'll tell Rogue the truth. See if she's willing to help. Hey, just busted out of Soul Prison. Check out my new ass. All I gotta do is mention Smasher. Serve him up on a platter. Muse over the old days. Easy. Fine. I'll do this for you. Appreciate it, thanks. Take me to the afterlife. Promise, you won't regret this. Feeling better. Should get going. Still feel a sharp something near your heart. Doubt that's ever going away.
The hotel pissed to Sophia. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Good place to die. Just not today. Hey, V. Haven't heard of any cyber cycle attacks lately. I think it's time we put an end to our little arrangement. Drop on by sometime. We'll catch up in person. Yes? Assembled all we talked about. Good. No. Excellent. Let us meet. Where? Embers. Please do not make me wait. Ugh. A monochromer hive. Listen, I know this diner. Decent scum. No. Discretion is key. I will see you at Embers. <laughs> Can you hear me? Ah, <sighs> loud and clear, whoever you are. Good, it worked. My name is Somi. Just call me Songbird, though. I know who you are, know your situation, your problem, and I can save your life. All right, Songbird, got my full attention. Glad to hear that. You must have questions, and I'll answer them in due course shortly. But first, I need you to get to that swollen appendix of Night City called Dogtown. Fine. No clue what I'm stepping into, but no risk, no reward. Thank you. I appreciate this, truly. Dogtown's main gate. Be there as soon as you can. I'll make contact again then. <laughs> this is one elaborate haze. Or a fucking lifeline. Never guess where I found it. A scab hunt. Sandra, you there? Yeah. It's just that. Well, ever since they told me what happened, I just can't stop seeing them. I figured they must have had it. But you know, it's not like I was gonna go looking for it myself after. I keep telling myself it's over. The ones who took me are gone. Listen, you've got Trauma Team Platinum. You couldn't be in better hands. I'm sure they already fixed the Sig Gemma exploit. True. But who knows what the scabs will cook up next time? <laughs> anyway, that's all in the past now. Got bigger fish to fry. You want to talk about it? It's nothing. Just bring the data back to my apartment. Sending you the address now. Thanks. V. Just that I'm truly floored by your dedication. You didn't kill a single cyber psycho. I know how much easier and simpler it can be to take a life rather than save one. Really, V, nice work. Some of the cyber psychotic have started therapy. Even if they can't be saved, at least maybe we'll learn more about the disease. Because I refuse to believe it's just some kind of cyberware overload. Who knows? Maybe I'll learn enough to write a piece on it. 
But anyway, the reward is yours. Thanks. Cyberpsychosis? Not really, but thanks again for the help, V. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. As if I didn't swap them out already twice. I eat the veil, be. Enemy contact! What does it look like? Come on! Don't, like, leave the door open. Still worried about the scavs? My, uh, friend told me your memory would be scraped clean. The scavengers? No, I'm worried about... Um, no, no, it doesn't matter. You bring the data bank? Here. Don't worry, it's completely intact. When someone tells me not to worry, it usually means they're hiding something. You wouldn't happen to have seen what's inside, would you? And ruin my cred? For what, a few bytes of data? Funny you should say that. Because not long ago, the data bank's GPS SIG suddenly went online. Which can only mean one thing. Someone booted it up and used it. All right, you got me. 
I looked inside. I know everything. That's what I thought. So what's your next move? Feeling tired? Bored? Nothing. I don't care what you do in your spare time. After all, it's a free country. Am I right? Huh. That's what they want you to think. You haven't seen what I've seen. Anyway, I'll take your indifference as a sign of good faith. Here, you can go now. Thanks. Be seeing you. So Rogue knew about all. What about all? Did she know about Rogue? Antonio, 50 years in a coma, wakes up to find he's a woman. Can he forgive Manuela her infidelity? And what about his old flame, Anna Maria? Her fire smothered as she languered helplessly in virtue space. Yeah, that's what I want to know. Fuck me, V. So do I. Probably not how you pictured your 
grand reunion with Alt. I knew she'd change, transform. All started when she went silicon, hit the net. You've changed too, you're someone else. I've had fuck all to do with it. Alt's out there, fractally, globulating, becoming a bigger and better AI. And I'm here shriveling, spending time with you. No, you're bitter. Thought we'd talk, truly, madly, deeply, like we used to way back when. To fix what you busted, or to prove something to her? More like prove myself wrong. Dead wrong when I told her we had nothing, were nothing, and shared nothing but sex. It was long ago. Talking decades. Not to me. Don't forget, I've spent the last 50 years stuck in my head. Have a nice night, V.
your local latest. Missing vehicles might very well be near where you are now. Thanks. I'll try to find it. Let's get you back to safety. Garage. By driving through the streets. Well, uh, yeah. Afraid so. Fine. Take me there. Just get me out of here. Let me know when I'm safe. You're welcome in, but do take it slow. And try not to hit anything. Wasn't so bad. It was horrifying. 
but still, I thank you. Welcome to the Delamay Network. How are you today? Yeah, I've been better. You don't? All of my missing assets have returned to the fold. You might say all is going swimmingly. I ask you, please, to stop by my office for your hard-earned reward. I'd love to thank you face to face, so to speak. Hello, miss. I forgot to remind you to return the scanner. If you happen to have it on your person, I'd ask you, please place it back. You've accounted for all my lost items. Allow me to express my gratitude for your assistance. Felt like a scavenger hunt for a range of your mood swings. You're more complex than I thought. Yes. Well, I've sent the final installment of your fee. Truly, I thank you once again. Thanks. Pleasure to work with you. Likewise. I look forward to doing so again in the future. A pleasant day to you. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open. You cracked it open on your first try. You know how to get around their system? Appears so. I was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as paella. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mock. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. You somehow never fail to lower my expectations. First you settle for the mocks, now murderers. I shudder to think what's next. Yes, V. I mean you. Came to Claude's for info. Left with info. 
What happened in between is what happens when people refuse to work with you. Ever heard of a little something called compromise? Should try it sometime. Compromises take time I just don't have. Just what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? Judy has a proposal about clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the tiger claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? <sighs> this is a waste of our time. Come on, we'll get by without her. Jude. Be sure to give me a call once you're done mourning and want to get back to reality. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Know what I think? She's scared stiff. She'd have lots to lose if things went sour. Everything, in fact. So she'll just let things go on as usual? You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. So was I. Can't trust people that see it. Everything is a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. It took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. The cost of this cutting edge... Just think, could have gone diving this morning. Well, I'm winding, do you good? Do me good, too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding. Not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No. Me and a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. century Ireland and is already considered a masterpiece of post-collapse literature. This has been your world report. Thank you for tuning in to N50. Punch the ground floor to get out of this place. I really don't understand what tits have to do with selling that garbage. Can't say no to tits. Rest can go fuck itself. Real. Hey. 
If it works, blame the corpse all you want, but at the end of the day, it says more about us than them. Biz is biz and tits are biz. It's like junk food. People don't buy it because they're gunk. They're just poor. Arasaka, the finest personal and commercial weapon. Yeah, it still haven't sent anyone to fix it. Watch your language. Can't you see who you're talking to? You embarrassed to invite your co-workers over? Well, you need to type and fix it. That's it. Available subject to fix up some of the words. I get back to my girl with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough. Michael only works with specifics. So, when now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got some. See you later, V. And thanks. Agents of chaos, overwhelmed by discontent. You again. Did you enjoy our first meditation? Felt good as new after. Deep contemplation must be regular in order to yield results. One drop of rain shall not quench your thirst. Mm -hmm. Would you like to try again? How much for another one? That is for you to decide. Should be enough. Good. I will watch over you during the meditation. Eighty percent of our flesh and blood 
is made of you. Oh, what a mystery you are, spirit of water. One moment you are liquid, the next you are ice, another you are snow, vapor. spirit of water into ourselves. Together we are one body. We are water. We are the ones who flow over the waterfall's edge. We thank you, spirit of water, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you. We honor the beauty hidden within you and the other elements. Gone. Just like the last time. For the love of... Uh, couldn't I have been stuck in some model skull? Or, I don't know, a fucking landscape architect? What is it now, Johnny? Being dragged through roach-infested flop houses again. That's what. Job's a job. Now, what was that code? What a fucking shit style. Wasn't slumming it in squats like your whole thing? Sure, when I was scared out beyond all recognition. Oh, wow. 
Oh, well. Secret doors. How cliche. Why do the peeps have to be so goddamn predictable? connected to those doors or a shitter flushing somewhere who knows to the tiger claws behind Waco's back. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Claws aren't the deal on her in type. Let's see if she got lucky. So many people died for this tiny little shit spec. It's not the size that counts. 
Both you and I know no one actually believes that. the Darwin Award. I guess we have a new winner. one dive in Arroyo we used to sometimes do sets in Friday nights. Because... Because it was one tough fucking joint. One wrong word, one sideways glance, and you'd get steel between the ribs. Contour 
powers of your awareness are much clearer now. The knot in your mind is beginning to unwind. You are drowning in the here and now. I'm starting to get a hang of all this. Inner harmony is like coming home from a long journey. Do not cling too tightly to your thoughts, but allow them to flow freely. Does a toad clench its fist when it swims? What's the sound of one hand clapping? That depends. Is someone clapping with you? I want to try another one. How much would you like to pay this time? Will this be enough? Yes. You may begin. I will guide you. Pierce the canopy, dancing and weaving into the tongues of flame below. Spirit of fire, spirit of the sun, I send you greetings. You give beauty to all other things. I am you, and you are me. There is no life without you. From you I was created, and to you I will return. Spirit of the sun, primordial fire, Burn all impurity from my body and soul and the negative energy of negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Cleanse every cell of my body. Give me the energy of life, health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, and happiness. Give me lasting inner peace so that no one may shake me from my sacred through half-closed eyes, we absorb the sun's divine energy. Through our eyes, the energy of fire, of the sun, touches our heads and flows down through every organ until it arrives at our toes. Each and every cell within our body, including the subtle and etheric, is replenished with the sun's energy. And from within us, light emerges. We are the sun. We thank you, spirit of the sun, element of fire with our mind, body, and so
ここは安らかな眠りの場ですろうそくを灯す行為落書き行為は固く禁じられています
So, you're probably wondering who sent me. Wakako. She always find an excuse to drag me to her place for dinner. You must visit me someday. I'll show you a few net running tricks. Wasn't it me who just saved your ass? We never stop learning hard lessons. But you don't have to do everything alone. Thanks, I'll think about it. yourself. Good work. I expected nothing less from you. I am closing the contract.
Reached Nance. I can't come to the hollow right now. If I feel like it, I'll call you back. Bye.
He's narrow-minded, won't ever understand the truth and set him free. I think he might know what's best for himself. Could be risking a lot, could lose a lot. Or by liberating his bits, could become more than a lipstick-wearing butler on wheels. Well, I gotta do something. If you don't want to free him, at least don't delete him. Slip him into Dell's code, just merge him in his offshoots. has become one. It's time. Home, he said. I no longer belong in this city. I find even this conversation difficult. Damn. I shall not shirk my obligations in leaving. Though I will venture on, discover more, learn more, I leave with you my first true child. My son will remain at your side until your dying day. Farewell. Look at that. Practically unrecognizable. And to think you're transforming not unlike he just did. left you this mess and took off, huh? It seems that way, I suppose. I just know you're dying and in need of a driver. I'm afraid I can't help you with the former. As to the latter, I'm at your service. So what? Want to get out of here? Uh, lead the way.
guess I just gotta wait. Huh? Bill Jablonski. Hmm. Did Okada give you the details? My info's I'm supposed to off someone. No, not just anyone. Joshua Stevenson, a fucking murderer. I'll tell you more inside. Get in. You're driving. They're supposed to pass down this street. We just sit tight till they show up and follow them. I want to see the light in that motherfucker's eyes go out. Whoa. Why? so he can smell his own fear before he dies. Want him dead? Why, exactly? That's not your concern. Rather know what I'm getting into. Stevenson murdered my wife. They convicted him, put him on death row. But the slime bag found a get-out-of-jail-free card over my dead fucking body. Wait, Stevenson won't be alone? Could have prepared better knowing that. No one else needs to die today, only him. Who's his entourage? They gonna be packing? Ordinary people. Once we scare them, let them know we're serious, they won't lift a finger. How do you define ordinary? Corpo rats who got him out of the can. They'd sell their own mothers to save their own skins. Just don't fire at them. Nothing to do but wait, then. What's your name? V. Let me tell you something, V. That sack of filth took the life of someone I loved. I can't live with the thought that he... There they are! Step on it! motherfucker to bitch myself. You fucking idiot! I'm gonna do it.
Junie. So, got a plan? Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. You're just gonna sit Michael there. will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. <laughs> Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? Locust pepperoni and lots of extra cheese. Atta girl. So, I'll see you come evening. Of course I'll be there. Job with Jablonski. It's done. Stevenson's in a better place now. And? Think anything of it? Professionals don't sit around and think. They do. Well said, V. Eddies are on their way.
but another rises up in the polls. Politics is fucking usual. <sighs> Sorry, Johnny, but I don't have time for your little anarchist revolution. Yeah? Well, it'd be easier than slicing heads off a fucking Hydra. One more reason this city could use another nuke. onto their tech. Counting on you, Chad. Oh, and one last thing. There's this techie, Lucius Thoran. And I wouldn't mind if he got a piece of lead to the skull. You dick? Good. Specs attached. <laughs> Later, sir. 
succumbed to a radiation sickness. This tragic incident, which some ultimately attribute to Arasaka's wanton imperialist tendencies, has forever left a mark on our city's history. And now, an important message for Washington. The homelessness problem plaguing the district's sewer system will be addressed as fumigation of the tunnels begins tomorrow. Due to the use of potent neurotoxins, Watson residents are urged to be got a client. Well, actually, it's just Nancy's son who's looking to get back something that was stolen. And, yeah, that Nancy. The one who punched keys in Samurai. Oh, one more thing. If you could recover this gong's wheels, too, that'd be real nice. So, you in? If so, find the details attached.
I remember that gig. Blew my vocal cords out so hard I couldn't speak for a week. <sighs> Must have been fun to watch. What, the gig? No, you not speaking for an entire week. I've got your bootlegs. Huh? What bootlegs? What are you talking about? The samurai concerts. The ones you hired me to find. Ooh, yeah. Totally. Why didn't you say so? Shit, man. Shimura. Get the wheels, too? It's parked downstairs. Keys are in the ignition. What? For real? That's fucking far out, Shum. I won't forget this. A gig well done, V. Our client's satisfied not only to get his hands on that recording, but the wheels too. A satisfied client means a satisfied fixer. Help, you should be satisfied too. Contracts closed and payments on its way. Thanks to the bulletproof errand type from Ray. Where are you from? What's good here? Whatever you desire.
V. You living good? If you ain't busy, I got a gig for you. Real classy. All you gotta do is break into a corpo zone and plan a party. Info's attached. Always was, and always will be. Ted? Call me Teddy. Get in. I'll give you the brief. Fine, Teddy. What's the sitch? See that garage on the left? Belongs to Kendachi. Tip came in, they've got some special goods sitting in there. Special? For the 6th Street gang. So, what's on me to do? You get in the garage and place this tracker under the truck. Just, just watch out for surveillance cams. Piece of cake. You are making my career right here, V. The soldier of truth. All right, Teddy. Time to get to work. Just, you know, do your ninja stuff. And don't get caught on camera. Cameras love me, not you. I'll be in touch. We provide all our employees with basic health insurance from day one. Good day. Gig's done. 
head's got all the dirt on Kendachi he needs. That's it, B. I gotta give you a C minus for effort. Closing the contract. Can't say I'm happy about it. Interesting. A safe behind a painting. A little cliche. But hey, at least the Merc appreciates the arts. You could learn a thing or two. Wondering more how it ended up on the ground. Juliet must have been in a hurry. Yeah. Something twisted happened here, B. <sighs> if life's taught me one thing, it's that a safe's a good spot to hide your value. Got a reader, too. Must be an access shirt around. What a mess. Reeks, too. Usual hallmarks of a merc's room stop there. Oh, shit! Someone took a nasty hit on this. Signs of a struggle? To put it mildly. Hmm. Almost completely used up. Not something you'd keep in your medicine cabinet. Pharmacy. Didn't even know this stuff was still on the black market. All these pills are downers. They're what you get if you can afford better. Hell of a lot for one person here.
friends can't, can't keep me here, they said. Gotta, gotta leave. Have bad luck all the time.
recognize him? The hell we went through in Mexico. The things we saw. What we did. No quicker way to lose your mind. Dixon? Jasmine Dixon? <laughs> That's me. But who? Who sent you? You're getting out of here with me. Can you walk? Uh, I don't know. Walk to where? Hey, hey, hey. Listen to me. Everything will be all right. You're getting out of here, okay? Yeah. I understand. We can go. You're going home. It's your husband. He's already waiting for you. Oh. Oh, God. I thought I'd never... That they'd... Oh. You don't know what they... How many times they... Every day... It's all over now, Jasmine. They can't do anything to you. I, whoever you are, thank you.
Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey, nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? So then, what's the plan? Need to wait for Michael. How are you? Okay, I guess, but, you know, sad as hell. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? So changed your mind, huh? Quickly, too. I'm here. Doubt I need to explain why. So what's this plan all about? I'd like to hear the answer to that, too. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine, I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There are split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right. But I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. All right. Got to see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles her. V? Don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? Ah! Everything chill? You okay? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! <sighs> Gotta do some cardio! Happy now? I'm rarely happy, but that was proof enough. Let's get to it, then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower. Topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. 
But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Ten casinos. <laughs> Plan just might work. Michael, take it you're on board too? Wouldn't be wasting my time here if I wasn't. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Count me in, Judy. Already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Not oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do will usually come to the price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy, for real? No, don't want to hear it. But you... Uh, 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 not a word. Melina Show, new episode. V, everything okay? okay. V, v, you don't you look don't so hot. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna club? <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip? Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Don't Sounds know. great. Thanks. Smoke Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking shimmer. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. No. Oh, interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste. Except for one thing. And what's that? way she looks at you. Don't pretend you haven't noticed. Makes you all mushy inside. I can feel it. The Bushido Collection in BD format. First three are collector's items nowadays. The Crystal Palace. Ten casinos, five poles, top end brain damage, and the best chef in the universe. Who would have thought? Perilous future. Electropunk? I'd rather puke out my ears. Someone likes getting their feet wet. 
Don't need to be an expert to tell the gear is pro. You there? Yes, I'm talking to you. Allez dans l'autre bord de la salle, il y a un to say it has to be between us all right cut the drama what's this about well v i'll get right to it i know sports ought to be fair but life sure ain't i'm not wrong am i 
Razor's manager wants to start his challenge. He wants the whole city to hear about the hurt he put on this ring. My point. Pull some punches. Forget to put that guard up sometimes. Then get comfortable on the ground. How much? A lot. More than you'd earn by winning. Everyone's got a price. You can't afford it. It's your ass getting beat. Bad move. But it's your call. Come on, let's get back before people start to talk. Sorry, uh, but could we talk, please? Just a minute, promise. Sure, what about? Not what, but who? Razor. My dad fought him once. A long time ago, when Razor just got started. My dad fell in the third round. The ref stopped the fight. But Razor didn't stop. Three more minutes, he beat my dad. He survived, but... I can imagine. Where's the story going? Nowhere. It's finished. Like my old life. Like my life now. Just... I want Razor punished for what he did. I need him to know how he made my dad feel. That's why I'm here, little girl. Thanks. I'll cross my fingers for you. Alright, so are you two ready to fight? Fight of the year. Everybody on the streets buzzing about it. Don't let me down. You hear? Be me. How are your spirits before the fight? Good. But my knuckles are itchy. Uh, we'll get far in this part without confidence. Positive thinking is only going to get you so far against an opponent like Razor. How do you mean? The guy's a tank. Seriously. Nanofiber, real skin, shock absorbers. You can knock him on the head with a meat mallet. Appreciate the cut. Hold on now. I'm not done. He's got a weakness. Had some abdominal muscles swapped out a week ago, and they haven't taken to him fully just yet. <laughs> you hit him there? It's gonna hurt a lot. Thanks, Dick. Keep it in mind. You two ready? At the gong. Uh -huh. Let's get it! Let's start this thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm gonna buy some cream street wrap. You've come to the right place. Let me come. You part of the Voodoo Boys? Don't ask questions like these. Not safe. Retrieving. Coordinates provided. Head there. Quite simple as these things go. Except, you should expect animals prowling. Likely feral. Details attached. Okay. No, I've already said I don't give a shit. Uh-huh. Ah, 
check out these tracks, though. Go deeper down the tunnel. You made me a wealthier man, V. You raised the animal's hackles, too. Kudos. I respect those who make an impression. In the event of more work, I'll know the number to call. Contract closed. Yes? What's up? Wanna see what you got in stock. Browse to your heart's content.
Want to get myself chipped. Straight to the point. I like it. V, it's good you're here. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure, it was Wraiths. We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but I felt I could count on you. Always, Pan Am. You and me are chooms. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grodd. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Her? After what happened to Scorpion, she shows up here? I guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am, seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Okay. How do you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp while I cover you. I'm going in quiet. Two's all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... 
Don't get me started. We're up shit creek, static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we might. So Reader gets nabbed and you what? Hope for the best? Rather not think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! She has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in? Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. Be like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local cabinet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet, a rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him on my back. So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. Want me driving? Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Oh yeah, we even have a radio in here. Take it for a spin, if you like. I still can't believe he let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? Said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? 
Hijacking a petrochem tanker, opening the valves, cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show. That's the Sol I remember. All had our idols. I know. It's just... one hell of a storm looking bad oh it's bad and more than its look we have to move quickly we need to hide the car park beside that outcrop okay out i'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight you just watch yourself down there. near the main structure. That has to be where they're holding Saul. That should be their garage. It's heavily guarded. Knowing them, they have something important in there. You might even gain access to the security system.
just for her chrome, I don't think. Fucking rats! Soulless filth! There's no line they won't cross! None! Keep looking, B. Maybe. Eyes on him. Just maybe we're not too late. Waiting? Think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Saul? Do. Do. Do you have my goddamn cigar? Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But she left. Not forever. I'm gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. You're pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Uh. Oh, yeah. So? How is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. He'll live. Now get yourselves out of there. I don't have a shit storm down here. Ruined to be a Category 5. I know. Get out of the building. I'll be right there. Brace yourselves. You're making a mistake. Another You're one. You're serious right now? Those devils want us to know our location. If we drive to camp now, you'll just be setting the table for them. You look outside lately. The storm will wipe our tracks. And the scent of blood? What? We got more chopping at our tail. Fuck. One way to treat an engine. Fuck off, Saul. I can't squeeze any more out of it. Cut off that tail. Get ready.
You see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! I need to catch my breath. Just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, B? I'll search in here. to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this jump on. See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. That raid's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. <laughs> Not the time for this. You're both exhausted. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? V, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. Don't be mad, but I think Saul could be right. What? Why? Know how things work in Night City? Got everybody fighting for a slice of the street. If you keep getting jumped, you find some stronger chumbas. You're talking about gangs. Principles are the same out here. I don't remember that. Hear that, Pan Am? That is the voice of reason. All I hear is the fucking wind. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about? Two haboobs. Yeah. Two haboobs. Ooh. Now that packs an octane. 
And? Think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? The fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am? Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. How's your whiskey, ma'am? Hmm. Warm. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. Sure you're not getting too comfortable? Um... Forgot myself a bit, huh? Maybe a little. You know what? We better get some sleep. That was a damn long day. And V, I am glad you came. It meant a lot to me. Ooh, do you hear that? Mm, nope. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plain, I sure can't get any, should I? Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. You gotta agree now. Next time I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. <laughs> Hang on. Thought you were headed back to the Alda Caldos. Staying with the clan. That remains so. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, both of you spewed some trouble. But I do have to grant him one thing. The wraiths, the raid, it's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Alda Caldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Glad I could help. Glad I did. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Okay, back to town, V. Added up to here with this gusty outback.
You know, I'm starting to get used to these little meetings. I sense you have many questions. I may answer only one. You know what's happening to me, don't you? You are dying. You have two souls within you. One wants to fight, the other is afraid. Which one's mine? Both. Are you ready for the final meditation technique? The last one? Yes. It will cost however much you want. Hope this'll do. I will guide you through the meditation. This is a meditation of the air element. We are in the mountains, heading toward the peak. We squeeze between two boulders. On the first boulder sits an eagle. The spirit of the air passes through every fiber of this eagle. Spirit of the air, primordial wind, I send you greetings. We are of one blood, you and I. You are within me, and I am within you. Without you, life would not last even a few minutes. So vital are you to us. Oh, great spirit of the air, please. Cleanse my body and soul. Relinquish pain, sickness, the negative energy from negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, happiness, and lasting inner peace. I am an eagle. The wind cushions my wings, caresses my feathers, enters every fiber of my body, fills the spaces of every atom and molecule. The wind cleanses the body, the soul, and the subtle body. Circling upwards, we rise up high. We feel lightness, purity, joy. Our body is filled with happiness, peace, and harmony. We thank you, spirit of the air, with our mind, body, and soul. And he's gone. Well, at least he left something. Fuck, I feel like a dog's shit. See that? There there was a Zen master here. Poof, vanished like that. The fuck are you talking about? He taught me how to meditate. It was kind of weird. Not my scene. Go and talk to... to Misty if it bothers you. Eh, good idea.
just came in. You're gonna break into the Cytec factory and steal some designs belonging to a certain Rihanna Kumar. Surprise, surprise, the client's Kumar herself. I'm guessing you'll need to wrap your head around this one, so be sure to scan the deeds. like this, I think to myself, shit, am I glad I got V. Keep up the pre-work. Closing the game.
I'll be damned. I know you. Saw you back at the Aldecaldo camp. They call you V, right? The one and only. Did someone from the family send you here? Why do I get the feeling something's wrong? What have you gotten yourselves into? Carol and Cass are here to close the deal with the scavengers. We purloined some cyberware for them. And? And it's taken them near eternity. Something isn't right. Dealing with scavs never ends well. Next time, just stick to retrofitting old clunkers in the Badlands. What's the... Sorry to interrupt. How's it going? Close the deal yet? V, what are you doing here? Who is this? Oh, I thought I'd drop by, you know, make sure everyone's playing fair. Who the fuck is this? Deals either go quickly or they go badly. It's Biz 101. The longer you drag out the convo, more peeps you'll drag in. Just a reminder that there are more of us in case you want to pull a gonk move. You think you're so fucking late, don't you? And what if I do want to pull a gonk move, starting with your ugly face? You can try. How about we get this over with, Roman? We were late. Our bad, granted. We'll scratch off 10%. 20. 15. Fine, let's call it a fucking day already. I'll give the sick for the ages. You must be outside your mind, V. Why do you come here? Dealing with the scabs on their turf, on their terms? You must really be desperate. And desperate people don't think straight. Save as your patronizing, V. You knew the risk, but we really need this money. Like, badly. Hush up now. You can conversate all you want later. Didn't like your ugly skin plate from the get go. Now I know why. You're the one who flushed us out in what's Sandra Dorset. Don't oh, forget, huh? We're done here. If I were you, I'd think real hard about your next move. You're right. I was the one who took out your chooms in Watson, shot them like fish in a barrel. Why do you think this will play out any different? Because you got us surrounded. Take a look at me. A real good one. See my implants? I could slice you into ribbons before you can squeeze a trigger. I know it. You know it. Uh, give him the edges. What are you fucking deaf? I said, give him the edges! This isn't over yet, Burke. I've seen some things in my lifetime. Hearing you back there sent chills down my spine. Literally. Thanks, V. Hell, that sure was something. You whooped their asses real good. I don't abandon friends in need. Neither do we. Remember that when the time comes. Thanks for everything, V. So long. Take a drink. 
what can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor. Slaughterhouse, satisfy your instincts. to talk? I have you now longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. On my way. Yeah, thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your brief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Mm-hmm. See you soon. starts to get too much power, a fixer can help tip the scales toward the other discreetly. Think about it. Balance keeps biz from running dry. Anyway, why the lecture, right? Because it's time for a little intervention. Check the attachment. Come on out! Package 
received. Thank you, V. Keep up the good work. The streets will remember your name. for you. Corpos like to call it human asset liquidation. It means someone's gotta go bye-bye. He's attractive, but not without good reason. Target's an animal. Check out the deeds attached.
Garcia's knocking at the pearly gates. Client's very happy, so am I. Closing the contract and sending the green your way. Extracted out of NC Pronto. Does it is 
Need me a decent driver who won't shit their pants when things get hairy. What do you think? Check the spit. Uh, Sixth Street. Hate those bastards. Vomit lofty patriotic bullshit all day. Act like fucking animals. You took me up. You hear me? do is sit on your ass. Quiet. Alone. Yeah. Yeah, but just wanted to say goodbye to the city, you know? So I ordered in some girls, some poster. What, you thought nobody would notice? Call in half the hookers in the city, nobody will bat an eye? Okay, okay. I fucked up. I know. The fuck's it matter now? We have to go. You don't say. Fine. We're out. Wow. Oh, yes. Cars in the garage. Oh, take me there. the cords? Mm -hmm. Got him. Shit. Oh, I just wanted a little fun. Quick ripen. You're alive. Unlike the girls. Hey! 
Over here! Where is the client? In the back, bleeding numb. Shit! If he dies, I don't get paid. Not my problem. Did my part. Need to change up my style. I dare say we have something for everyone. Now that's what I call troll merc work. Flavio's yapping my ears off, says he's never met anyone tougher than you. Bet it's gonna stay that way for a while. Rare breed, mercs like you. Contract's closed. We'll already flick the heads your way.
you so much. Oh. typically see strong arming as the best way to get results. Still, sometimes you're left with no choice but force. There's this scuzz bag needs to be reined in. A sadist on a corporate leash. A real hemorrhoid on Night City's ass. Do us all a favor and handle this contract. Details are attached. I'm sorry, do you have an appointment?
the data what now good very good we should meet as soon as possible there's a place i know where hold on sending you the coordinates see you soon then don't wait Right, right. 
here. and duck the fuck out. Capitan, send you? Yep, I'm V. One moment, please. Sorry, be right with you. Hell of a beast you got there. Oh, what? That Kandachi Micro 76, strapped with dedicated cooling. Oh, yeah, plus an additional processor and modified system bus. See, you hijacked the motel's cams. Hell, probably the whole system, right? Uh, yes, mm hmm. Okay, I don't think you were followed. Ah. Sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Pedro. El Cap tells me you're running a jump. Could use some help. Mm-hmm. I'd like to, uh, borrow a company truck. You want to rob your employer? Well, yes, but not so loud, please. This is your first time, right? A jump like this? <laughs> Perfect. But I'm well prepared. Okay, then. What's your plan? Right, the plan. Uh, here's what I have so far. Our target is an automated Zetatech transport hauling AV thrusters. Its route changes daily via a randomizer. So how do we track it? I refactor the randomizer. I know how it'll work. Sure, so you can predict its path. Then what? I'll stop the truck first, then breach its system. Where do I come in? You'll be there waiting already. You'll hop in and follow my instructions to steal it. Where should I wait for the truck? A place called Kenmore Cafe, out front. The truck should drive by around 5 p.m. every day for the next few days. I'll call once you're there. Easy enough. Talk to you then. Th that's it? You don't need to know anything else? Pedro, pal, this ain't my first dance at the prom. Right, of course. Remember, Kenmore Cafe, intersection, five o'clock. Don't worry, I'll remember.
This is Kang Tao. This is intelligence. me, Pedro. One sec. One sec. Cut! I have control. I'll drive. So I just kick back, soak in the view? Eyes open. Cocksuckers could show up any minute.
fun fact. According to traditional Christian doctrine, you are going to burn in hell. Safe travels. A thousand times, thanks. The longer we chit-chat, the easier it is for Zeta Tech to track us. Again. She's gonna shoot oh, us! Of course. Over and out. Yeah, see ya. Beautifully done, V. Don't know about Pedro, but I consider you a hero already. You see me? Play your cards right, you'll always walk away with full pockets. Closing the game.
wrong plain and simple but shooting out kneecaps is all right understood no 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 wait i didn't mean i'm so glad i could be of assistance we got to get rid of him really he's pretty massive the nice to see you okay sit sit you want a beer? My mind one. Salute. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night, when, when Jackie fell, let's just say, things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. I could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. I want to take part in the ceremony, but... I want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm -hmm. But something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that would do justice to his memory, I, I don't got anything. But your heart is in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago, he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. Oh, my me digging through his stuff? No, mija. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. I de veo. exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. 
Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just... Well, human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe, but that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams, ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. Mama Wells is having a send off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. Fine piece of metal and mechanics. <laughs> he was so psyched. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it is a miracle he never wiped out. <laughs> This'll be fitting. Well, you got something for your ofrenda, but we could look around a little more. <laughs> Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. It's definitely why they're up there, yeah. <laughs> Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Oh, Jackie. <laughs> a mandala? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. 
He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And an aquarium? It used to be tacos. And taco was? Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, Minnie. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Leather belt? Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why did he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. <laughs> Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. Taking this, yeah. Perfect for Jackie. Gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Where are you going? Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. You gotta come, Misty. Got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So, shall we go? You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning... Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. I'll see you at the Coyote then. Then go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. V, hey, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 
19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, No te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, ol, honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It all started when he put a heater to my head. Then some badges showed up. Beat the shit out of both of us. Half my fault, half his. We hightailed it out together. Half an hour later, we were eating dinner at Mama Wells's. It turned out to have more in common than we thought. Principles. Jackie Wells. The best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind on something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He... He once told me, Chica, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. For his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life without hesitation. But most importantly, Jackie loved life. Heart on his sleeve, he he didn't overthink things, he just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof. And that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. If he's watching. Bet just about now he's flipping him all the bird. He always wanted more than he got out of life. Rest easy, too. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, B. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful ofrenda we gave him. A lot of people come today. 
even that Budika Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. She was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. <laughs> Are you sure? Jackie'd kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, be. Hey. You all right? Yeah. I think I'm just still in that garage, mentally. I just need a sec. Gonna miss him. I already do. <laughs> Me too, chica. <sighs> Me too. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Go you another? Fuck. Well, Jackito. Wake after wake these days. Listening's Boss? a skill, you know. Now Wells. Campos' head was so done in, they didn't let him out for the funeral. He's lucky they let him out for Gustavo's. True. But him and Wells were tied, man. It's sad. I need you to focus now, hey. okay? Raise a glass with us? Poor. For Jackie. Amen, sister. Gustavo Orth is dead. Someone fucking dropped him. No idea who. But we will fucking find out. Soon. Man, shit month for the Valentinos. You guys know Jackie well? Not us. Our bosses. Had only good things to say about him. Your bosses. Gustavo Horta? Campo? Bottoms up. Que descanse en paz. Chica, I'm talking to you here. Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre. I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. Jackie, did you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took him into his home. Yes, V, I knew him quite well. I'm gonna move on. Go with God.
ancient history. No. The rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour. V, Look. you're here. What is she doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. You, think you really that? think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? We're pissing Militech off, so they hammer us into the dirt right here. Shit, Pan Am, can you please tell him? I've already tried. Let it go, Mitch. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. And you plan to grab the Basilisk Helm? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. None okay. Of I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. 
Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any traps? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Hey, V. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. And the Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie, by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie, I'll remember that. We have arrived. like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this piece of the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Stairs it is, then. Well done. Thanks, boys. I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. Hmm. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free? Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once? Perhaps more simply hopeful. Okay, here we are. What are we looking for? Onscar! 
What cards? Would you help me look? Sure thing. Not here. Nothing here. Hmm. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Let's find the cards first. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card in the reader? <sighs> Here goes nothing. that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me, but why are you doing this? It's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry. That sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No. I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy, got eyes and ears on it? Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned, for now. You're acting spooked, as if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war? Head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any.
How to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. And to Jackie. and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Anything happens, wake me up. Unless you and I nap too. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. Is it? 
begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Yes? Wanna see what What's you up? got in stock? Only the baddest firearms in all the bad lands. Isn't that why you're back?
Wow. Whose was that? Hey, V, come here. A little closer hey, now. Hey, Mitch. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right. But, uh... Come here. So many dead. So many of them good friends, too. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? Mm-hmm. Name was Jackie. Uh-huh. How'd he go? Like everyone goes in Night City. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. What? Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. Okay. I'll help. Come on, then. You're okay behind the wheel, right? Yeah. And? We're going for a drive. Uh-huh. And where? I can tell you're a city girl. You want to know everything. Now. Yesterday. A little patience, V. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Used to be scorpions, that rig. Now she belongs to me. And my old girl's right next to it. Nice wheels. Both of them. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. I'll take scorpions. You hop in the other. All right. Let's go. Let's hit the road. Follow me. Mitch, you hear me? Yeah. But more driving, less talking. Ah, uh, sun on my face, wind in my hair. Perfect. Oh, hey. Haven't seen you in a while. Not a fan of funerals. Mm-hmm. You and death don't really mix. Say that like it's my fault. Never asked Saburo to put me on that fucking chip. Or for you to slot it in your head. Oh, I hope this place isn't too far. Speaking of, where are we going? Not a clue. My, what a good little girl scout. So trusting, so accommodating. It's for Scorpion. His last wish or something. That good enough for you? Great. Never a dull moment. Bridge. Other side of that hill. Copy. Almost there now. Okay, copy. It's what Scorpion wanted. He wanted you to stuff him in the trunk like a spare tire? No, he wanted me to take him here and send him off with a bang. We set him up behind the wheel, douse the car, then light it, let him fly off the edge. I mean, if that's what Scorpion wanted. He did. Said it a million times if he said it at all. Grab me that can, will you? in the passenger seat. See the drivers already behind the wheel. No point wasting time. Another hour or two and he'll puff up like a balloon. Right. Shall we get this show on the road? Let's do it. Hell yeah. I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car. She's burning! Quick, before she blows! The road be kind to you, friend. Out with a bang. Just 
like he wanted. Soot and ash. That much remains. So, how about a beer? Sure. I'll drink to a send-off like that. Well, come on. Ah, nothing like a good cold one. Agreed. Mitch, why me? Why did you ask me to help? Ah, oh, you seem like a good egg. I'm serious. I don't know, I, uh, I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. Your paths crossed. Just for a moment. But damn, was it the right one? Listen, there's a, a few things of his you ought to have. Like this little good luck charm. Go on. It's yours. What is it? Not a clue. Scorpion always had it on him. No idea why. Listen. I'm gonna sit here for a while, all right? Brood in peace. Understood. I'll be off then. Sure. Listen, if you want, you can take my car back to camp. Whatever works for you. Oh, and, uh, thanks, me, for today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. You're all right. You're really all right. Magazine detected. Message to user. Thanks, June. Hey, V. Michael called. Before sundown. Out front of the Mega Tower. Gonna be there? Of course I will. See you then.
how I can get to her room. Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. And Michael, where's she? Meeting with Hiromi to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. Just remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. Got no time to deliberate and weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up even for a second. Could cost you your life. All right, we going in? Let's do this. Cyberware failure and, in extreme cases, even death. In response to increased gang activity, the mayor's office has raised the public threat level to red. Residents of Arroyo and Watson are advised not to leave their homes after you. You two head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. Schools and hospitals have been closed until further notice. Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. The district, formerly designed as an oasis of luxury, has become a den for violent gangs and drug addicts. Got a jack into the panel on the other side. Interest in the purchase Can you take him out? Why does everything here always have to go to shit? What? They heard something. <laughs> Everyone all in position? Yeah. Tom and Roxy Don't should already stop. be at clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with Hiromi. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. Okay, on my way. Elevators on the other side. Be safe. ...have been reported along the 1, 166, and 101. Eyewitness accounts point to inter-clan disputes. How's the stitch? Inside the clouds. Not exceeded the effort. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. Advising travelers to avoid side roads. We'll continue to keep you informed as the situation develops. my mark. Go! I'll be late. I told you we have shit tons of work. No, don't wait up. I don't want any fucking dinner. Everything you cook tastes like sawdust anyway. Love you too.
touch the alarm. Not if I got anything to say about it. Yeah. The old tested himself. He's a great. Oh Jesus fuck! Floor's clear! I killed him! I killed him all! Same here! Never give up. Go to the surveillance cam in front of the security room. No! You do it today, or you forget about the whole thing! I don't care about any problems you have getting here. Do I bitch about my no, can't. The client is waiting on the goods. Evening? Of course. Listen. Here, finally. I don't care how you do it. I was beginning to think you Get wouldn't make it. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. I don't like her either. Tries too hard. Can we get this over with? Why are there three guys? What's she playing at? That's our target, Hiromi Sato. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on my face. I know face. the clause. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Michael! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? All right, I'll do what I can. Jack him out. Well, she is no Barker. Wait, what's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. She murdered Oswald Forrest. And now she's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds needs new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now, speaking with such zeal? Hold on, Maiko. Think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. Bored of all this down. chatter. That's why we're here. I'd rather we just cut to the quick. <gasps> oh, fuck! What the hell were you thinking? Have you any idea what's gonna happen now?
What might that be? They'll have their revenge. You've turned clouds into a ticking time bomb. Tried to pull a fast one on everybody, didn't ya? Jumped aboard the Liberation Train, pretending you wanted to help. But all you wanted was to take Hiromi's place. Bravo, but you missed just one detail. I still can. And no one can stop me. Not their corpses, not yours. All right, V, get out of there. Exit's on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. if she hadn't come at me. Wasn't my fault. <sighs> Sorry, but I don't buy that. Could have found another way. Maybe you're right. I I let her get to me. Sorry things ended this way. So am I. I, uh... I gotta process all this in peace. Alone. Be seeing you, V. See ya, Judy. Once again, we offer you a humble thanks. You saved a great many lives. And things. At least I can. What's the plan now? Can your brother still be a monk? The Pratimoksha vows are a guide to enlightenment, not binding all. Though my path is paved with ever greater challenges, I shall not give up. Well then, I wish you all the best of luck. Farewell. And do not stray from the path of righteousness.
to think you wouldn't show. Shouldn't have, to be honest. Why not? Normally only work with fixers. Clients that avoid him tend to be bad news. I just care about my privacy. Everyone wants their privacy. Maybe, but not as much as me. Fuck me. It's you. It's me, Lizzie Wizzy. Sit, please. Let's talk. Okay. So what's this about? I think you can guess. I'm in trouble. Uh-huh. And what kind? Good question. Been a rough year. Creative block. Can't even say the last time I made anything worth listening to. And to make things worse, I fell in love. Not the worst thing in the world? It is to me. I have something to say. And that? It's a distraction. I need to focus on my art. So, we're talking a man, woman? Oh shit, these hands. Sometimes it seems like I just brush something and sparks fly. <sighs> anyway, a man. His name's Liam. Liam Northam. Been together a few months, but I think he's cheating on me. Liam Northam. Nope, don't know him. Tell me about him. Forty-ish, sensitive, guy who never wanted for anything. You know the type. I heard they exist. How'd you meet? He's my manager. I know, I know how it sounds. I never meant to. He's not even my type, but... But? Your body can be chrome, but the heart never changes. It wants what it wants. Okay, why the suspicion? <sighs> it's so cliched, it's embarrassing. Whispered phone calls in the bathroom, strange receipts. Secret meetings in the middle of the night. Any specific event come to mind? <laughs> My mind... That's... That's a touchy subject. Why? Don't know each other well enough for that, V. You talk to him at all? Tell him to his face? <laughs> You're adorable. Imagine this. We're never alone. Not really. Always surrounded by assistants, PR reps, makeup artists. I stop smiling at him for one millisecond, it'll be all over every scream sheet in this town. Understood. No, you don't understand. Not until you've lived it. 
millions of eyes trained on you constantly, it can be beautiful and terrifying. So what's my role here? What do you want? Proof, and then I'll end things for good. Liam goes to Riot all the time. I think he meets someone there. I want to know who. You'll find out for me? You can count on me. Perfect. Remember, I want specifics. Details. Recordings or pics if you can. Sure. Keep it in mind. Good. Now go. Okay, go in. No messing around.
Right. Let's see what's here. Champagne? Nice surprise. Uh, consider it a token of my gratitude. I know you don't often agree to use a relic, but, well, you don't usually make an engram of a living person either. Oh, come on. Arasaka's taken a keen interest in Lizzie's career. Be a shame if it ended prematurely. A backup copy seems to be the most sensible solution. How about that? Once you've made the backup, can you tweak it to remove undesirable traits? Because, Lizzie, ever since her conversion, she... she hasn't been herself. I'm afraid that's impossible. Engrams saved in the Secure Your Soul program cannot be edited. But how significant would these edits be? Significant? Sometimes, sometimes I don't even recognize her. Other times, uh, well, ne never mind. Let's have a drink. To our partnership. Oh, fuck. You heard what I just heard, right? Relic. They want to do her like they did me. Not exactly. They wiped you. Here, they just want to make a backup. A backup? V, we're talking about a person, not your vacay snaps. Guy didn't even ask. He's just going behind her back. He's got no right to do it. Nobody has that right. Especially without her knowing. Ah, oh, shit. How do I even tell her? Don't have to. Camera in there. Where there's a cam, there's footage. assure you, you'll regret this. Risk of regret must be why they're paying me. Huh? Who sent you? Tell me, now! Who you like to know? Chill. All in good time. I'll tell them what needs told about you two lovebirds. Expect things to heat up. Hey, hey, wait, wait one fucking second. Listen, I'll, I'll, I'll pay you, okay? Whatever you want. Just forget everything you heard, all right? Sure. Maybe I'll say yes. But first, I want to hear your why. Liam, no. Arasaka was very clear. Fuck Arasaka. First it was just little memory problems, concentration, but now she's changed. We all change, Liam, all the time, usually for the worse. Whatever you want, just don't tell anybody. I am begging you. Oh, so that's how you make problems disappear, huh? Throw money at them. And poof, they're gone. Afraid it won't work this time. Security! Intruder! Over here!
What's up? Got some intel on Liam. And? Is it what I thought? No. Worse, Lizzie. Much, much worse. What do you mean? Listen, don't know the deeds. But Liam, he... He wants your Ingram. Wants to copy you. What? But why? He said... He said he's afraid. For you. And... Of you. No. No, I don't believe it. You hear me? Not a single word. You're lying. Got the data to prove it. Here, listen for yourself. No, no. It's... No. Fuck! <laughs> Remember to take only certified neural enhancing Got a yarn for you. Quick. Is that it? You interested? All right, lay it on me. I was cruising the net, you feel? And I spotted an interesting classifier. Wait, let me guess. Performance enhancers? He used Mr. Stud cheap. Now, I'm a serious man, V, and serious matters are what, if not all, that concern me. Somebody's selling a book of spells, edition dating from before the first net crash. Now, you know a thing or two about that, don't you? Like how much that soft could run you and earn you. You want me to clep it for you, don't you? Uh-uh. No clepping required. Just buy the damn thing. Reimburse you twofold. Okay, will do. That's my girl. Zipping you the deets on the cellar. And luck be with you all the way.
look a little different. Fuss with your hair. Or... It's good to be back. Never knew you'd gone off somewhere. What's your poison? Tequila old fashioned. Top it up with beer and sprinkle in some chili. Silverhand special. Been a while since anyone ordered that. Two guy. How do you know the name? We go back. Where will I find him? Got a salon in Watson, Pershing Street. So what'll it be? Billy Goat or the other one? Other one. She's gonna love it. <laughs> sure she will. Jeremiah Grayson. Hmm. I heard he's an operator for Smasher. But you didn't hear that from me. Hey, who are you again? Yeah. Could say we had something in common. <laughs> Ruby Collins. Sloppy second for Grayson. After I banged her. about me let's get out of here tell you what I heard then you'll show me if I'm right just got a little biz to take care of first
I'll call. I'll call. Ruby, focus. I need to talk to Grayson. there was something familiar about you. Blah, blah, Johnny told you. Don't seem surprised. Was surprised, but not anymore. You probably don't remember. Got flashes here and there. Not everything, thank God. He called me early morning. Of course, I thought it was you. And I thought... Cute kid. Too bad she's gone completely whacked. <sighs> Came to see for yourself, huh? Morbid curiosity. Mm-hmm. And I found Johnny Silverhand. Smasher, he... He tell you about him? Yes. Didn't know he'd come back to NC. Johnny found some way to get at him. Wait... Grayson? Jeremiah Grayson. Works for Smasher. Johnny got a tip off some stripper, don't ask me how. Ebonique. Just that. Still, let me see what I can do. We're gonna get that son of a bitch. Can I help at all? In your state? <laughs> You're useless. Almost. I'll buzz you when I learn something. Okay. somewhere in your head. puking right now yeah well life ain't fair sure picked the right moment to bolt out of my body ought to be happy i left it all i am look at me spewing joy and rainbows like a fucking ray of sunshine well we moving Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is awesome. So I hear. What the hell is this place? A place where you can puke all over the carpet, no problem. Beggar, not chooser.
Uh, yeah. Spellbook. You got it? I do indeed. Tucked away somewhere safe. You want coordinates? I need to see my money. Experience? Damn, this stinks to high hell. But okay. Take you at your word. You won't regret it. Better not. Or you will. Bigly. I'm giving you my word on that. Just flip to the coordinates. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Least that. Had one, you know. Top of the line back in the day. So, you got the book? You got my Eddie's? As I says, V, I am a serious man. Amount is agreed, all yours. Thanks a bunch. Don't mention it. It's money well deserved.
little more time. Yeah, yeah, you turn it into a goddamn rocket ship. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like it just came back from a Corpo war tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. And so, what about him? Nothing, for now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. Always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. Let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Damn it. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Have you Everything had a... is dandy. Give me a moment. the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Well, at least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Oh, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay, if you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay, this will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am? Is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? Okay. Starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. Soft, right? Same as a boat. Mm-hmm. She'll fly right over any bumps. All types of terrain. All right. I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. to 
do it. Right. Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right. Blast those bricks. Good! Better than dirt now. have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will be linked. Okay. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. Okay, let's try this. This will get to know you better than I'd planned. All right. Let me just say, it can be difficult at first. You'll experience feedback, sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Mm-hmm. Right. Starting now. Come on, Saul. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family, not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? Mm -hmm. 
An interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. <laughs> Come on. Shit! No, I'm Did serious. Did you see the basilisk in action? We all owe you. It blasted so him you can the... count on the elder ah. gods. No score maze. Lie still, I need to examine you. Good to know. They won't dare show their faces again. How many did we drop? Our lord. That's what Nobody's I behind the bar. It could have been that I like. That basilisk would come around sooner. Pan Am missing from camp at such a critical moment. That's what Lemonade? Hell, leave her alone. All right, with lemonade. You about done? Suit yourself. To happy endings. Well, I just got word a hurricane dropped it over before they could even finish it off. Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pin him, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. Nearly 100 million people live in America. Half of them below the poverty line. And no, my... I'd love to, Pan Am. I really would. Mm-hmm. Here comes that damned butt. I can't. Not right now. Have to finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought... Uh, forget about it. I'll think it over. Are just as bad with arithmetic as they are with geography. V? Pan Am. I. V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? What happened? I remember I. We were talking, then. Suddenly. You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. You ain't dying yet. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse every single day. Okay, B, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening exactly? You know Johnny Silverhand? Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Long story. Got a job, fucked it up. Now Silverhand's personality construct's sitting in my head. Bullshit! Yeah, well, he's not too happy about it either. Turns out we don't really mix. And it's getting worse. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. Feeling better. Really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. <gasps> Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks, Mitch. But I'd better be going. 
You're barely standing, V. You take care of yourself, okay? Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? I know this area, back from the old roots. You really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey, welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks, Pena. Hello?
Hey, Claire. Next race. You ready? It'll be a tough one. All the world wants a lead fly. We'll take Beast. I want to try her out in the field. Nova. FYI, I'm already here. Perfect. Join you in a sec. Sounds good. See ya. V. Good to see you again. Got another race to run, huh? Second of four, I hope. Ready to go off-road? Think this one will be tough? Badlands, so no fucking around. Anything goes in this race. So you'll have your hands full? You too. One mistake and we'll be a four-ton tumbleweed. I can do this. Okay, I'm just gonna melt under that sun, so I'm gonna wait in the car. Sure. Huh. Hey guys, remember! Maximum madness! I really thought you'd stand me up again. I thought Bully would have the right shotgun. Ladies and gentlemen, get your pants on Bully right! Bully is Strap a fantastic shot! Fire up your engines! He is! He is! 30 he seconds and counting! Too much! You hear me? Ignore him. Luigi tries to get in people's heads. You there! So hey! next time I actually don't make it, there's duct tape in the trunk. Just saying. Hey, you! Hey, you! You hear me? You there! Hey! Three, two,
easy. Drive up to the finish line. Why, no way the missus will believe I bet on the winning board. The last driver was better than I am? He was. A good husband. An amazing wheelman. So you're racing for him? He adored this shit. Had a keen mind for machines, unmatched. He could talk to him. When he got behind the wheel, it was like he fused with it. But just him, no implants. Will you say we win this for him? I'm counting on you. You want to lift to my garage? I'll find my own way there. Thanks. All right, see ya. Flicked pings to some contacts. Grayson buzzed familiar for a friend from the olden days. He did some digging. Found something. Section of the docks that's Maelstrom turf. So why are these docks called Ebonike? Pretty sure it's got nothing to do with some long dead mayor. Dead wrong, actually. It's not the docks. It's an old container ship named after the guy. So you found Grayson. He really got an in with Smasher? Come see me. Afterlife. We'll talk. Okay.
be dumb. New face. See, Militech's been investing in young talent. Joe, 
You here to take me on a little field trip? I'm here on Dakota's behalf. For Christ's sakes, now you're telling me? I loathe it, this whole playing tough in the face of death thing. All right, let's get you out of here. Oh, shit. I feel like I haven't used my legs for a straight month. in that basement. Booze? Six? Melons. Those sweet honey melons Dakota folks got growing on genetic mismatch. Miles above any sin melons you can find. Okay. I sat there thinking what I wouldn't give one taste of that sweet, sweet melon. Of course, that prick Jason entertained the thought. Disposed. Looks like you'll have to be my chauffeur. A V, FYI. Dakota's sending over your payment. Nova, thanks. Have a good one. Militech detained a smuggler by the name of Bruce Welby at the border. His buddy wants him out. It's no surprise, but he needs someone to do the dirty work and make sure Bruce tastes freedom once again. Specifics attached. <laughs>
Bruce? Is this a test? Yeah, my pro... Wait. You're in our Militech. Easy, Chum. Archie sent me. Archie? Archie Crane? The very same. But don't go jumping for joy. Gotta get out of here. Archie knew who to send. Wait here. Be right back. A couple more minutes could it hurt. Okay, ready? Let's move. Thanks.
Lucy baby. We're starting to think we'd never get you out of that dump. Archie, you piece of shit. What? It's because of people like you that camp even exists. I saw you behind the wheel. How much they paying you, huh? Enough for me to buy your ticket out of here. You can thank me later. Right now, we gotta get moving. Oh, and V, if you ever plan on quitting Night City, careful around the borders. Accidents have a way of turning fatal. I said no unnecessary bloodshed. Did you forget? The job is done and shut, sure. You saved Bruce, but you could have been quieter about it. Until next time. Jude, what's up? Uh, you know, same old. You? <laughs> Funny, I was just thinking about you. So, do I got amazing timing, or are you always thinking about me? You know, I could be cursing your name in my thoughts. Oh, hey, I'm just glad you remember me at all. Because I got a favor to ask. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. Not in your company. Okay, now that we've blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission don't require you to have no gun. Just a wetsuit. Gotta say, I'm intrigued. Why the wetsuit? <sighs> Can't back out now. Just gonna have to use your imagination. Really know how to reel me in, don't you? Ain't seen nothing yet. All right, then, count me in. But I gotta warn you, I look great in a wetsuit. Believe it when I see it. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Sure. What about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Meet me there. At sundown. Okay, um, is this a date? Guess you'll have to find out. You'll have to. See ya, V.
got Militech's new mobile radar unit on the border? Well, it's bad for smuggling, bad for the Aldecaldos, and definitely bad for me. I want to know what makes it tick, but I need to get my hands on it first. Snatch me that radar, and I will make sure you're well compensated. Details attached.
Beautiful, really. My people are already tinkering with the radar. Militech is in for a little surprise. A job well done. Your payment is coming in hot. How's Jake holding up? Not so great. We managed to stem the bleeding, but without that implant. We'll handle it. Don't ask me how, but we will. I give you my word. What's going on? Jake got hit. Badly. He needs a new kidney as of this minute. Only problem is, he's got sickle cell anemia. He'll need a specially customized kidney implant. As you can imagine, User, that kind of thing isn't easy to come by out here in the bad land. Anything. Automated response. Ha ha ha. The joke gets funnier the more you say it. While running a routine diagnostic check, I discovered a file with my owner's metadata. Name, Regina Jones. User, please return me to my real owner. Thank you in advance. Okay, I'll take you to Regina. You are the best user I know. Jim, I'm the only user you know. Your memory got wiped. Fun fact. There is a 92% probability Regina Jones will reward you. Raff and ship. Were they the ones behind this? Mm-hmm. We pulled through this time. Barely. Shrapnel caught Jake half an inch below his flak jacket. <sighs> That's a tough break. It still isn't too late to save him. But time's running out. You can find an implant like that in Night City. No questions asked. Right. Dakota called up her contact at one of the hospitals. Was told they could work something out. But? But that means getting to the city, and you see the state the camp's in. Raff and Shiv could come back at any moment. It's all hands on deck. You know where this is going, V. I won't beat around the bush. Can you help us? You can count on me. I know, V. Dakota's contact works at a hospital in Little China. All you have to do is pick up the implant. The money will take a more secure route. Gotcha. See you later, then.
the name Skippy ring any bells? Fits in a holster more than a little psycho. You have Skip? Little bastard got swiped a while back. Let me see him. Let's see how you're doing. Run diagnostics. Performance, 82%. Memory damaged. Load stone cold killer. Hmm. I better do a full scan. At least it still works. Wait, where'd you get this iron anyway? Eh, knew a guy. Everyone called him Danish. Great techie. I mean, before he started hitting the bottle. Anyway, poker game. Danish cleaned out his correct ship, then bet his gun. I think you can put together the rest. The combat features are great. But why the voice interface, you know? Weird as hell. So, something for my trouble? Sure. Here you go. It feels kind of weird now. It's too quiet. Hmm. Huh. Maybe you should get a dog. Maybe. Someday. See you, Reggie. Provides 
You there. Uh, miss, did Dakota send you? That's right. You got the goods. Right here. Dinalar Super Kidney. Especially for sickle cell anemia. Just like we agreed. Eddie's will get to you. Yeah, yes. Later. I know. Mm, I have to go now. Yeah, I'm yeah, right fucking now. I won't if you give me an explanation. <laughs> it better be fucking good. The phone call with Dakota. It was tapped. The police. They made me do it. Nice try. I just wouldn't go to all that trouble over a kidney implant. Wait, please. It's the truth. They said they were rounding up every last Raff and Shiv member in Night City. But Dakota isn't. Never mind. You won't please, get it. Let me go. I, I didn't want to get mixed up in this. I had no choice. No one's touched this implant apart from you, right? Uh, well, uh, I can't say for certain. Think carefully now. I don't want to have to jack into you and find out for myself. The police, they, they put a virus on the super kidney. The original firmware is on this shard. You'll need to swap them out. Get out of my sight. Oh, mother of God. Thank you. Thank you. Out of my sight. It's better be worth it.
got Jake's implant, but there's the virus on it. You'll have to swap out its firmware with the original on the shard. <laughs> what a surprise. Nomads always get special treatment. Thanks for being careful, V. Come by in a few hours. Things should settle down by then.
this Vargas.
have. Did you anything? Chula might earn a spot. A Chula bowl with the bun? Yeah, sorry to hear. Remember this drink? Resty? Bought on the rocks, lime juice, and ginger beer. Splash alone. That's right. I'm a drink to me. A Jackie Wells. Yeah. Well, the first Jackie Wells is on me. Wayland help you exactly? He made sure we'll find Grayson at home when we start by. So we know where to look for him.
this Johnny's jacket? A replica, made to order. Real jacket must have disintegrated into dust years ago. Thanks. Jump in. Finally looking half decent. What'd Johnny say about me? No, you two talk all the time. Said you're the best. Always were. The best? <laughs> Too bad that comes at a price. Sure you're up for this. What? You getting cold feet? No. Just don't want to see Johnny haze you. Adam Smasher's his obsession. Think so? Just trying to play fair. Little weird you didn't run into Smasher before now. Came up in conversation, time to time. But, uh, never tried to track him down. Listen, V. The fact that Johnny's back changes things, okay? Okay, sure. Believe me, I'd know. We'll get back to that, I guess. Here's as far as we go. Might be our lucky day. Drop Grayson and Smasher in one go. Fucker's gotta be around here somewhere. Okay, we can start. Too many rats around. Better wait till a little darkness creeps in. 
Maybe Smasher or Grayson will rear ahead. Maybe. Don't hold your breath, though. Wouldn't be caught dead here in daylight. Okay. Good as it's gonna get. We've got the dogs covered, and you'll cover me. Come on, let's go. She's tense. Cover her just in case. You open it. Okay. Watch it now. Mm. See them all? Gotta get to the data term. to Maelstrom's main storehouse. Data terms there. Gotta check. See if they have anything on. Yeah. <laughs> 
right there. the door. No, knows exactly where to find him. She's stalling. Told you, Rogue's still scared of the asshole. Looks like they're hiding out on the ship. Okay, let's see what we do. Over there. There she is. The Ebonike. <laughs> Not looking so hot. Let's go. Kind of hard to believe he's got his hidey hole here. Okay. Why are you even doing this? Avenging Johnny. shooting at me with my own gun. Malorian, 3516. Signature sound, I'd know it anywhere. Let's get you. You're knocking it out alive! Uh. Grab the gun. Come here, you! Not yours, I don't think. Grayson. Playing for the same team anymore? <clears throat> Guess I'm not at all surprised. Seems your specialty. Slipping shivs in the backs of allies. <sighs> We're Smasher. You could crack your skull like an eggshell. You know that? You'd still be able to talk. For a little while. But I'm happy to talk. Ever wonder how Rogue survived after the attack on the huh? tower? How in hell no one ever hunted her down? Her alone. <clears throat> Out of all that Atlantis trash. Cause I do. I truly wonder how far she had to go to set herself up so comfy. Who'd she finger fuck? Whose crack did she have to lick to- Ugh! Where's Smasher now? <clears throat> with the Arasakas, but I think you know that already. When's he due back? Never. Faithful old Adam's just been named head of security there. Oh, not coming back to this rat hole ever. I stayed behind just to tie off his loose ends. Shit! Could say that again. You two will never jump that high. Smasher's out of your reach. But don't feel bad. He'll find you himself. Likes to resolve shit like this in person. You're fucking useless. Let me do the honors, V. Hey, why are you so interested in Smasher anyway? I'm not interested in Silverhand and what happened to him. <laughs> Johnny Silverhand? <laughs> what do you want to know? Silverhand's iron. You had it. What? You a fan, too? Smasher give it to you? Uh-huh. Reward for a special job well done. Smasher ever tell you what he did with Silverhand's body? That into him, huh? Planned 
to exhume that scop? Or you just want to hear how he died, soaked in his own piss, neuron scorched by Soul Killer? What did they do with him? Badlands, near the oil fields, buried out there. <coughs> 101 northbound, then head for the landfill. Dig deep enough, might even find a shit smeared. Heard of him. Finish him. Let's end this quickly. Wanna rip my eyes out just looking at him. No, no, wait. I got something. Silverhand. You're into him, right? Could give you something. Don't want a damn thing from you. Good. One Dixburg less. Let's Delta. Pointless. This whole thing. Still no leads, nowhere to go from here. Fuck. V, tell her. Johnny says you'll get him yet. Oh, yeah? We'll tell him? Fuck. Can't even have a normal convo with him. Smasher. Fuck! You don't get it. This isn't about Smasher. He's just the goddamn tip of the iceberg. Even if we get him, what does that get us? Later, V. Leave her alone, V. She'll get it together. But times like this, she prefers to be alone. Okay. I get that. Let's hit those oil fields. Want to see what it looks like out there. I know what it is. Let's see what we got here. Take that rag off it. Okay. My ride. Hop in. I'll even let you drive. Gotta be around here somewhere. I can find. Can't believe they bothered to truck it all the way out here. Uh, better than the junkyard where I landed. So that's how it is. Nothing here at all. A 
bit. But let's say it was my real grave. What would you write? Here lies Johnny Silverhand. The guy who saved my life. V, you don't know how much I want that to be true. Listen, I realize I fucked up a lot of things. Either let down or used every last person who gave me their trust. Blind, selfish bastard that I was. But I've managed one thing for now. Not to fuck this up, what we have. No, Johnny, you fucked that up too. You used me. Lied to me. Can't trust you at all. <clears throat> Is it too late to ask for a second chance? What do you want from me? Most people I thought were my friends. They couldn't even stand to be in the same room with me. You're fucking closest to me by a long shot. There, 24-7. And yet, you don't seem to hate my living guts. At least so it seemed, till now. But as second chances go, this is your last. I refuse to be that naive. I'll try damned hard. Johnny Silverhand, relentless rocker boy who never gives up. V, first among suckers. You are a real dick wipe at first. You sort of deserved it. Remember waking up at Victor's not knowing about me? I'm seeing things. I'm scared. Then moaning at Misty's about how you didn't want to die. Remember you whining for smokes in the middle of the night, complaining about not being able to kill me. Never thought we'd make it this far. When you said you let your friends down, did you mean Rogue? Rogue, Alt, Carrie, Santiago. Not all's lost yet. At least with Rogue. Can't pretend nothing's changed over 50 years. Can't just insert myself into her life. Smasher Biz really got to her. Can't leave it like this, I don't think. Might be right. She was acting weird. You ought to talk to her. You know, did promise her I'd take her to the movies long, long ago. Good idea. Call her for me. Ask if she's free some night. Thing is, you'd have to surrender control again. Yeah. I'll call her. Okay. Let's Delta. Nothing to see here after all. Worth coming out all the same? Absolutely. Thanks, V. Of all the heads I could have popped up in, hella glad it was yours. Johnny wants to ask you out on a date. What do you think? Johnny's asking? Or is it you? Johnny? You're the one who said you got no trouble telling us apart. Okay. And where'd we go? Where'd you want to go? Silver Pixel Cloud in North Oak. Okay. I'll swing by the afterlife, pick you up.
Claire. Me. Ready for the next race? Ready here. Ready and waiting. You want to use your own ride, or am I bringing Beast? Beast. Time to unleash her. Can't keep a spit-shined animal like that caged up in your garage. Well said. Meet there, yeah? Rancho? Be right there. See you then. Hey, Dee. I'm gonna take a look under the hood before we start, see if all's okay. But stay close, just in case. Our chances. How do you see him? Well, it's gonna be tough to beat out Luigi. Annie's got Margo riding Gunner today. Right, so... Girl loves popping flats, but don't get hung up on it. Let it mess with your head. Just focus on the route. Let me handle the entertainment. Sorry, you need a minute to kick the tires before we get moving. Sure. <laughs>
Don't stop yet, okay? Move up a bit further. What for? Need to talk. Something you should know. Okay. Sit down for a spell over there, okay? the view. Yeah, me and Dean. We like to come here. Wanted to tell me something? I mentioned Dean before. My husband, yeah. Wieldy or heat, right? Sweetest man I ever knew. We were friends before my gender transition. I brought daffodils to the hospital. To new beginnings, he said. Were you married long? Twelve years. Dean used to laugh that for our 15th, said he'd finally talked me into my first implant. I was prepping some surprise. Why tell me about Dean? I mean, I mean in, why now? He died during a race last year. The five. Not your standard fatality, though. This have something to do with our race? Sort of. Thing is, Dean was murdered. He was flatlined by a corporal eagle weasel, Peter Sampson. Exceptional walking rot. Your husband. How'd he die, exactly? We'd just powered into the final straight. Samson peeling up the tarmac ahead of us. Was clear we couldn't win, so Dean let up on the chew. And then that snake slammed on the brakes. Dean also had to. We lost control. But isn't that how this race works? You don't get it. Road was clear to the finish line. He would have won. It was premeditated. What's the Corpo's deal? Doesn't really matter. It was only ever another adversary to me. But to Dean, Dean and Samson had a history going way back. Something happened between them? Dean never admitted anything, but yeah. Yeah, there was some kind of strife. Something personal to their rally rivalry. When Samson came first, Dean got hot and bothered. So, this isn't business as usual for you. This isn't about winning. That's right. Fuck winning. I want Samson dead. And this your best plan for vengeance? Folks die on the track all the time. Won't seem unusual at all. Another day at the races, in line with the rules. And if Samson doesn't show for the race, what then? <laughs> never miss a chance to puff out his chest. He'll race. Circuit champ last year. No way he'll let that go, not try to repeat. And me. Guess you want my help to zero in. Killing Samson matters more than taking first. We have to make a choice. Sorry I lied to you, V. Samson dies by the rules of the game. All right. But I won't help you execute the guy. Can't count on that. That's fair. I can agree to that. It's all I can promise. And trust me, revenge don't soothe your soul. It just makes you a killer. That's all. Not the way I see it. But fine. Till the final, V.
How's Jake doing? He's easing into it, slowly. Needs a day or two to get up on his feet. Glad to hear that. You have my thanks, V. On behalf of myself and the entire family. Some crew taking you along as bait? That a compliment? You look different. Try again. Maybe you'll find some charm third time around. Hey, Rogue. Ready? Again. You. We going? Where's Johnny? Couldn't make it after all? I'm just your driver. See, you keep him on a short leash. <laughs> Wise beyond your years. This Johnny's Porsche? <laughs> Where'd you get it? That's what was in the container. The one Grayson was talking about. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Got a lot of memories in this car. Let's go. Silver Pixel Cloud, your favorite place? Once, probably. Haven't been there in ages. Drive-ins went out of style a century ago. But Silver Pixel's still hanging in there. Sounds like a preem place for a day. Thought so, too. Which is why I suggested Johnny take me there a million years ago. So it wasn't his idea. Of course not. His idea of a romantic night out was blowing up our Osaka HQ. Johnny doesn't do a thing without an ulterior motive. So what's in play this time? Johnny's changed. He really does want to spend some time with you. No hooks, no lines, no sinkers. All right. Rogue? Just taking it all in. Selfless Johnny Silverhand. Apparently, you're a positive influence on him. Closed. Really has been a while, I guess. Technically, it's open. Been here before. No way in. Practically have the place all to ourselves. Okay.
try and get the projector started. I'll get us some seats. Sure thing. Exactly where I was supposed to take her 50 odd years ago. Right, let's go check the projector. Entrance is over here. Okay, looks like I found the projector. You wouldn't happen to know how to get it up and running. About to see. Look at that. Last played Bushido 10. Perfect. Looks like a spurt of runny shit. V, we're at a drive-in. Movie's the last thing we care about. Just want some background noise, a little blood, tits, and gore, that sort of thing. Bushido will give you that. Thanks, V. Don't mention it. Just this time, don't go roaming around town. And no tattoos, and don't clean out my cred. All right, V. Run along. I'll take it from here. Have fun, you crazy kids. Grabbed us the best spots. Hop on up. Things would have to change for us to just go out and catch a movie. Never imagined they'd change this much. Let's pretend it's 2015, huh? We just met, and I got no idea what a bastard you are. Sure, lured you to the movies so we could bang, by the way. <laughs> That's technically a possibility. Okay, so it's 2015. If you could do it all again, what would you change? Anything at all? I'd do everything in my power not to lose you. Johnny, I... Hey, hey, hey. What's this? Nothing, it's just... I had a lot of time to think while you were away. What ifs and all that. All that counts is I'm back with you. Think that's way better than any what if. But all we got's this one night. It's more than I ever could have asked for. Rogue, I'm here on borrowed time in a borrowed body. But I'm here. Johnny, I can't. It's not right. I understand. No, you don't. Tried so hard to pretend nothing's changed. To pretend I'm the same rogue you knew. 
actually managed to fool myself for a little. Get back on my own. Rogue! Fuck. gone. Yep. Guess things did not go swimmingly. Nope. It was gonna be a nice night at the drive-in. Now she's mad and won't tell me what about. Any guesses? Remember Grayson? How they spoke? How weird it was? Weird's not the word, I don't think. He was toying with her. Could be something to that. Gotta mull it over. For now, take me to North Oak. That's supposed to help you figure out Rogue? No, Carrie. Tell you once we're there. Movie was a turd wrapped in crepe paper. Looking good? You mean, considering the shit we've been through? Well, factor that in and you look fucking amazing. So, ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. How does one marry two separate neural tracks? Well, at first I tried to create a single profile out of two data streams. Didn't turn out so great. Must have gotten tangled up. Interference, white noise. Yeah, effect was kind of like a bad art house. Couple tries in, though. I managed to isolate specific sensations. So you... Load them onto separate neural tracks. No emo bogeys. Not bad. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why did we come all the way out here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes woman. What do you say? You in? Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here.
All right, get that booty of yours suited up. Let's get this scroller on you. Look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. Should see me in my Max Tech uniform. Whoa, can you have one? Indeed I do. Won it in a bet. Still hangs in my closet waiting for the right occasion. Huh, I'm gonna hold you to that. All right, let's do this. Whew, freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. Don't descend too fast. Where are we headed, exactly? About halfway to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? No, I bother. I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes. Virtues are more to you than just the way to turn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs, they're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in their pure form. Some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. 
replayed this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time. Gear, stars weren't ever aligned. Truth is, the very idea it just felt weird. Besides, I didn't want to come here alone. Or with some rando. camera. Better off in your hands than sitting here collecting algae. Gosh, thanks. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. We're looking for anything in particular here? No. Can't hurt to look around, though. Picking up very chill vibes. Feels like we're outside of time, like in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. You 
Yeah. Why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Ah, the days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. Want to see what's further on? Come on, then. Want to show you something? Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid. Where daily life grinded along. Can imagine it a bit. <laughs> Church hasn't aged at all. It always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. Bells were cracked too. Gave off this eerie atonal clang. Weird. I had no memory of that seconds ago. Now I can almost hear him. Don't know how it's possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously, you can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. for another way inside. Be my guest. You like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just... There. Found an opening. I think we're safe to go through here. On my way. Hey, you found a way in. Through the roof. Snuck in here once when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind looking at all those people. Back then I wondered how he could read people's thoughts and know everything about them. And I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. Hey, careful. Easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? You? Heard him? Uh, heard's overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Please just ignore his babbling. It's a mm, complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? I doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Why the hell not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell-bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? Milk and sugar, please. Going all in, huh? Ah, forgot to start the generator.
I could turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. Think you could have fine-tuned the emotive wave transmitters better back there. Got some serious surges from you a few times. Power's up. Hey, Judy, how about that coffee? Something the matter? No, nothing. Don't bullshit me, Judy. We're still synced, remember? Clouds has gone to shit. Tiger Claw No Next took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne. Barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. I didn't want to tell you. Wanted this to be just our day. I want it. It is ours. Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Finally. Morning. So, yesterday. What was that exactly? Don't remember, or you want me to remind you? You know exactly what I'm trying to say. What did it mean, like, to you? I think it, I mean, I hope it was the beginning of something nice. Unless you see things differently. Ugh. 
can be such a gonk sometimes. Ruined my plans, you know that? Was gonna leave Night City in the dust for good. Even started packing. But now I think, I think I gotta stay. Ah, well, guess I'll have to make it up to you, won't I? Hmm. Yeah, that would be appropriate. Give me your hand, B. All set. Congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa. Uh, asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Don't know what to say. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. Really shows trust. Wanna go there now? You can if you want. Gonna stick around for a bit before I head back. See ya, Judy. Want to meet up? I'm already here. Yep, but listen, this will be highway driving, so we'll want a machine that runs on lightning. Your choice, your rig or my beast. Beast's my choice. What do you say? We won't be sorry. Meeting at the starting line? That's right. Wait for me there. None whatsoever. What's going on here? Samson, Dixbert thinks I'm gonna let him go. You're dead, you hear me? This your new driver? I'd get out while I could if I were you. Claire can't seem to keep her partners alive for long. You no. motherfucker! Truth is, Dean was as shit a husband as he was a driver. Head swelled lots larger than he could manage, and he paid for it. Face the facts. I didn't kill him. His ego did. You're a waste of organic matter, Samson. 
Claire, stop it! We got a race coming up, damn it! You're done! Fuck off. Claire, come on. Save some steam for later. Not to worry, sugar. Do something for me, B? Yeah? Get you your close on his tail and stay afterwards. there. Bring some friends. We'll celebrate. If you win today, we are Okay, folks, get to your rings. Time to crunch some steel and bash some heads. Everyone ready? In three, two, one.
so. Hey, no, please! Don't let her do this! Claire, I beg you! Jesus, Claire, what, what the fuck do you want? I, I didn't kill Dean! Zip your trap! He got himself killed for fuck's sakes. Please let me go! Talk your way out of this. What's he talking about? Does it matter? He's just trying to save his skin. No, please, don't let her. I didn't kill her husband. I said shut your hole. Claire, wait. I want to hear him out. What for? What do you got to say, Samson? Dean tried to pass me just before the finish line, but he, he lost control. You rammed us. Even so, is that against the rules? It's this kind of racing. Is that true, Claire? Samson did what anyone would do? It doesn't matter. The bastard killed Dean. He has to pay for it. What do you want from me? You killed like everyone. Claire, it was an accident. It's racing. I loved him. Loved him more than life itself. And now I'm supposed to let this, this, I'm supposed to let this shit go? Is that what you expect? Yes, Claire. You'll let him go. Ha! Huh, you're fucking kidding me. Might be a great A Corpo shit, but he didn't murder Dean. Flatlining him won't make you feel any better. <laughs> Fuck. Claire, please! I can't even tell you how lucky you are, you fuck! I can't! No killing, then? Let's go, Dean. Before I change my mind. Let's get out of here, V. Please. Mm -hmm. All over, huh? Guess so. You all right, Claire? What? Why? Look pretty down. I'm not. To be honest, don't think I feel anything. Any desire to do it again? Team up? For a race, I mean. You know, In fact, not gonna race ever again. Ever? Ever. That was something we had. Something Dean and I shared. I just needed you to get Samson.
given me your rig? It's not mine. It belonged to me and Dean. But since we are no more... Take care, V, and watch those turns or you'll end up wrapped around a lamppost. This ought to work. Well, so why are we here exactly? Heard Carrie got himself a buck of mansion here. Done well. Where'd you hear anything about Carrie? In and about town. Scream sheets are full of shit about him. Oh, right. You weren't around. Mm -hmm. Your boy's night out. So what? Want to pay him a visit? Yep. Seems as good a time as any. So, I gotta hit Carrie's digs, look around, critique the drapes. Know what they're writing about him? He's depressed, attempted suicide. What, really worried he wants to hurt himself? Who knows? Either way, could give him some pointers. Meaning you want to go in person? Gotta hand you the reins again. Yes. Behaved myself last time, didn't I? I think I warrant another furlough for good behavior. Okay, but I want to know what you plan to do. Nothing stupid, I promise. Just want to see how he's doing. How you plan to tell him it's you? Could be dealing with some real personal shit right now. Might not be the best time to mess with his head. V Care was always dealing with personal shit. That's why, in spite of everything else, we got along. Don't worry. I'll play it by ear, sensitively. First things first, we gotta get into that house. Okay, just let me know when you want to take the wheel.
Well, I connect. What? You'll never guess who. Huh? Can't hear you. Come back later, maybe? Nah, come on. We're lucky the dog's even home. Ugly as seafood barf. Hope it was expensive at least. Something's gotta justify this level of tacky. Looks like he's showering. Alone, too. Good thing, believe me. Okay, leave the rest to me. I'll get him out of there. Drop one of Misty's special pills. Let's go. Okay. <sighs> Feels so much better. Now let's see what you're up for show and what you're actually strummable. We lost everything. <laughs> Keep playing. All right. Johnny. Carrie. No. No. no this is a fucking joke. Hang on. What did Silverhand tell me before he died? I told you to stop being a pussy. Did you? Huh? Johnny fucking Silverhand. Fuck? I mean, how? Surprise. Motherfucker! Okay, weren't expecting me. I get it. Oh, fucking contraire. Been waiting 50 years to do that. So you changed a bit. Nice rack. Sporting a new style? Yeah, kinda. What about you? Shit. Johnny. Oh, man. I need a drink. All right. Come on. Tell me. Why do you look like a small-time kleptopunk from the afterlife? This is V. You'd like her? The fuck, Johnny? Doesn't explain a thing. Nice place. Ain't seen much of it yet. Moved in after the fourth album came out. All sold well, apparently. Fuck you, Johnny. Don't even start. Who'd you sign with? Shit. With Arasaka. Mornings, I record at their studio. Then evenings, Yori pops over for a little neighborly cookout. Hmm. And who'd you really sign with? MSM Records. Another pillar of society. Come on. Sit down with me. Tell me where you've been all this time. Steal yourself for a long story. I just really want it to be tragic. Sad as all fuck over all those years. Because if I hear you spent them with the nomads, open road, winning your hair, or cool and relaxed in orbit, and now you've just popped by to shit all over my life, well, I'm gonna lose my damn mind. Oh, it is a heartbreaker. Oh, fuck. Remember? The one damn time Henry showed up sober and clean as a whistle. Uh-huh. And played absolute tripe. At least Danny was happy. Still in touch with the gang? Just Nance. Changed her name to Bess Isis. Works for N54 News. Good. 
track down Denny and Henry if you want. Maybe get together, you know, jam or something. You want to bring, bring samurai, samurai back? back. Nah, no. Could do one gig, play some dive where nobody plays us. I mean, got my reputation to think about. All right, let's do it. Fuck yeah! Okay! Send you Nancy's number in a sec. I'll go after Henry and Denny. Hmm. I'm not, not there. Figure, figure it out with V. Sure, uh... You two get along? Sure. Kid Good loves me. Yeah, I bet. How am I? Johnny, you okay? <laughs> no. Ah, so you must be V. Johnny mentioned something like this might happen. You two have fun at least? <laughs> that a hint of disapproval I hear? Just sit tight for a bit. Rest. Don't worry about a thing. The hell is this concert thing? Did you hear that? Gets sharper as the pills wear off. So? Wanna see Samurai live? Probably won't get another chance. Okay, call in Nancy. Fuck yeah, nice. Nancy? Ah, beautiful butterfly I mean, Carrie emerging best, from his silky samurai Isis. chrysalis. No, this is her underpaid, underappreciated assistant. Steven, N54 News, how can I help? Wanna talk to Bess? She's not here. Calling from Carrie Uridine's residence. Cool. But Bess still isn't here. She was supposed to be back two days ago. Went to the Totentons to shoot some stuff, story on Maelstrom. Call back next week or just watch the news. If anything happens to her, I'll be the first to cover it. Got a bad feeling, V. Think we better head to the Totentons. All right. I'll give him that one. starting to come together. No media would ever go for the ton tenants. Except Nancy.
Like your style. Minimalist. You snap chrome just like that. Start to move it, hands too. Fuck yeah. Flood four. Hip, hip, press the button. Hip. Well, my fingers are numb. Got out of brick with Scott. Hmm. Why is the elevator so damn slow in this dump? Cars outside. on your story? I won't learn anything about Maelstrom's music? Got lots of footage. 
Need to look through it, see what I can patch together. Brick was the safe option. Really should have talked to the asses from tinnitus. You got some sort of in with them? Brick invited me to one of their gigs. Problem is the lineup changes every time. Souvenir. Fuck souvenirs. I'm headed straight back to the editing room. Wanna talk? Gotta come with me. Conquer like this. Hope it gets us there. One piece. All right. So what's Carrie want? Wants to bring back samurai. One gig, one night. There is no samurai without Silverhand. I'll play for Johnny. <laughs> you. Let's just say Silverhand was more visionary than musician. You got this. Trust me. Well, if you got Carrie on board, what's in it for me? <laughs> That's for you and Carrie to figure out. I'll be sure to ask him. How do you know Brick? Saved his life once. Well, well. Ever thought about joining Trauma Team?
We're here. Hop out. All right, so the concert? <sighs> Tell Carrie I'll put it together. Be in touch. Okay, thanks. Went pretty damn well. Now call Carrie. Hey, so how'd it go? Talk to Nancy. Yep, she agreed. Even said she'd organize the gig. Still a control freak. Call the Netwatch hotline immediately. Ran into a few hiccups with the good folk from Maelstrom. Fuck yeah. Listen, I caught Henry. Dragged him out of rehab. Great story, actually. Henry didn't know. Denny's been in Night City all this time. On his way over to see her now. Gonna be a surprise. We're all gonna meet over at Denny's. What, me too? Why? You're gonna play with us, aren't you? We're gonna meet the others. Send you the address. Editors are working their magic already. Have the marketing team stick a link onto that old lady in the gallery. She paid a fortune. She'll get a five seconds of fame. I already told them. They're also tagging the link on the Delamain. Saw one pass. Good, well, that's over with. How was the interview? Terrible? Is that a serious question?
Those? Oh, what happened here? She must have been renovating. Henry must have borrowed the truck. Gonk always was good at improvising. Maybe they're home. Try the intercom.
You fucking ghost! Oh boy. Uh, Did it, sadly, Waka? sadly familiar. In case you forgot why the hell you came here in the first place? Carrie sent me. About the concert. What concert? Why isn't he here talking to me? We're bringing back Samurai. One night only. That's what he wants to get the crew together for? Sweet, but no fucking way. Not about to play with this shit state. Danny! No, no way. Either him or me. Choose. Danny digs in her heels. We're done. How's it going? Like shit, man. Danny wants me out of the gig. And we already agreed on everything. What? Carrie's paying you? That's what this is about? Fuck. It's all fucking great. So you get him away from me and get the fuck off my lawn. Don't make me choose. Pretty sure it's your call. Fuck really pisses me off. Denny's on a control kick, setting conditions. On the other hand, Henry's got scop for brains. Can't trust him. Thanks. Real helpful. <sighs> if we gotta choose, let's play with Denny. Fuck, Carrie! Seriously? She's the one making a big deal out of this, not me! Listen, I'll get you. You know what, Carrie? Fuck you! Good thing Silverhand isn't here to see this. You done? Get out. All right, what about Nancy? We make contact. She's gonna set it all up and let us know. See you at the show. Fuck. Now I gotta find someone to clean this up. Okay, about all we can do for now. Except wait for Nancy to call. Everything okay? No. Just the sight of that douche wad reminded me how not okay it is. Don't worry, though. I'll be past it by showtime. Wonder what Henry did to her. So his fault after all. Well, normally, Denny's not a raging bitch. Well, pretty sure she knew Henry wanted this concert. Hmm. Doubt she really gave a fuck about the pool. Sorry it played out like that. Sure you don't got the wrong number? Seem to recall the last time I saw your face. It had my fist planted in it. Ah, you know, what's past is past. It's more important to see sweet gig I got you. Quick and easy buck. Swing by the coyote and I'll tell you about it. First round's on me. Well, what do you say? Hmm. Really? Fine. See you there. Same old V. I always said you were smart. Say a lot of things, Kirk. Pure bullshit included. 
Oh no, V, not this time. This time everything's just like it's supposed to be. Best not stall too long on this one. Later. Kind of glitch. Just for a split second, it was beautiful and scary. Was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look.
Uh, saw more of those freaky murals. Did they start making sense? Tell any sort of story? Oh, just a bunch of tarot cards. Pretty sure my brain's now beyond repair. The tarot tells the story of a fool's journey. Show me what you found. I'll tell you what's left. Here. Hmm. You're still missing two arcana. Judgment and the devil. My guess is that they relate to a turning point in your life. One that's soon to arrive. Thanks. Didn't get much out of that, but thanks. You'll understand when the time comes. I can't explain everything. All the tarot can tell me is that you will reach the world by one of four paths. Meaning? The final leg of the journey goes through the sun, the star, temperance, or the devil. Could just die, not even get that far. Oh, come on. You won't let that happen. Take this. It's all I can do to help. Good luck, V. On whatever road you choose. Oh. 
my dog doll. One thing I know like I know my own name. You do not poke around strangers' cool boxes. Best case scenario, you find a half gallon jug of rancid milk. Worst, motherfucker up a sad mass. That's Raish Bart Morris. Need your help. Same spot as last time. Don't make me wait. What is it? Hello? Lizzie? The Bart Moss? Data crash rapid Bart Moss? Guy who trashed the first net? Well, it wasn't his uncle. Yeah, yeah, him. I'd recognize that mug anywhere. Wanted posters all over town back in 2020. Public enemy number one, dead or alive. Half the city was on the hunt. Poor bastard. Ended up here as a dead rat in a cool box. Till some circuit blew and he thawed like so much meat. Uh huh. Yeah, about 20 years back, judging by the stench. Well, I've stood about as much as I can. Better go. Hold up, hold up. Gotta be some electronics in here. First net relics, almost crank powered. Be a shame just to leave it. Need to think about it. Said the gonk who missed the shuttle. Come on, look inside. Oh, wow. An SGI Tech Elisla. Best cyber deck in its class. See? Worth getting a little rod on your hands sometimes. Hey, just thinking. Cat at the Afterlife goes by Nix. Looked like somebody who'd know Legacy Tech. Chat him up, see what happens. Could end up pulling something from it. Listen, from one netrunner to another. Got any pro tips you could spare? <laughs> Don't see why not. If you're cool with Rogue, you're cool with me. I can sell you a few tricks of the trade from the Bart Moss era. Rach Bart Moss. The Bart Moss. Tell me you're not fucking with me. Before dropping off the grid, he unleashed a slew of ice-breaking grams and protos in the darkest corners of the net. Heard how paranoid he was. Any idea what happened to him? Pfft, who knows? But I was able to dig up a few classic Bart Moss relics. Here, let me show you.
Hey, Nix. Listen, found something. Bart Moss's deck. Mm-hmm. What else you find? Alan Turin's tapes. Being serious. Have a look-see. Ooh, running shits. Goddamn, V. Where'd you ferret this out? Found it outside town, in a fridge, next to its former owner's rotting corpse. <laughs> Bart Moss all the way. Netwatch made him a wanted man. Went looking in Shanghai, Lahore, Santiago de Chile. While that dog alighted to the net. Wonder how long he'd have kept buzzing those wires if the power hadn't gone out. Think you can pull anything off it? Hmm. Tech's coming apart. Humanity damaged. Encryption on the mem cube. Gotta be near divine. Spare me the two-step, yes or no? I can try. Failure, though, is a distinct possibility. Then all data will be lost. Done and gone. I think there could be some no longer known vectors on the disk. A, a data crash-like thing, or rabbits, because if so... Then we pop open a bottle of malignant gin. Painfully aware of the risk I am. But speaking straight, curiosity's consuming me. You feel it too? No risk, no reward. Get to it. Okay. Put the deck on the counter, just ginger-like. All yours. All yours? Oh, V. V. Got no sense of reverence. Expect if you found the goddamn Holy Grail, you'd fill it with caramel corn and pop turds. Now, let's get this show underway. Hmm. Hmm. Most data's corrupt, but not all. Password. A dick attack, maybe. Nothing doing. And what about injecting a command? Ha! <laughs> We're golden. One more hurdle. But it ought to be as easy as pie. My, my. Of all people, Bart Moss should have done better. Ah! 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 Cat shit, rat shit. Ideas, V. Fast and stack. A couple of minutes and his skull sponge will be well done stick. Okay, what do we got here? Saw what we got. A brain broiler. You absolutely sure you want to jack in? Gotcha. Oh, oh, fuck a muffin. Are you breathing? Apparently. Though it feels like I got a skull full of hot embers. Just what the hell happened? You started convulsing, lights went out, outlets started spitting sparks. So I sat down and finished for you. Hold up, hold up. Mean to say. You reach Bart Maul's deck? Lowly you? Guess I got a little lucky. Had luck coming out your ears, kid. Alright. Let's see just what you pulled from this artifact. Logs, mail, chat history of sorts. Mm. Potentially interesting, but nothing explosive. Ah, shame, kinda. Well, I guess I can delve some more, see if I can't find something interesting in there. Listen, my services usually command a tidy sum, but this time, well, seems you rendered me a service. Take this. Handful of demons live on that shard. Wasn't Bart Moss who coded them, but they should be useful nonetheless. Thanks, Nix. You gonna get it together? Be all right? Or you need help? No, no. Be just fine. A couple of painkillers washed down with whiskey, and I'll be a new man.
Where is he? What in the... Fuck. Now I get a rush. V, I... I, I was angry. I, I, I pushed him. These fucking arms, these hands. Oh my god. You ever... wake up in the middle of the night? And not know who you were for a second? Shit. Guys or, in I mean, You ever feel like you weren't really you? I... That's how I feel all the time. Every moment. This emptiness, this helplessness. I stopped seeing, creating. Just now, I, I... I just wanted to break up with him, you know? Tell him I wanted him out of my life. But I... I don't even know how, when. I... I... You strangled him, Lizzie. Slowly. You crushed his spine. I... I was angry. I must have lost control. So Liam really did have a reason to be afraid of you. I didn't mean to, understand? I didn't mean to! Sure, maybe. All the same to him, though. So this is about the body, right? That's why you called? Yes, I... The media can't hear about this, got it? That would be... Oh. Huh? The world would eat it up. A tale of the temptation to control another's memory. A grim reminder that a person is merely a collection of bites that can be copied, reproduced, copied, reproduced. Lizzie, snap the fuck out of it. What about the body? I don't know. Do whatever. Take it somewhere. Burn it. I'll pay you. Okay. I'll take care of it. You sleep soundly now. Sleep? I won't sleep. I don't need to. Thank you, Liam. You don't realize it, but you've given me something beautiful. The hell are you talking about? Go, V. Go. And take him with you. Someone... Someone should give you a checkup. See if you're okay, Lizzie. Someone you trust. I like what's happening to me. Lovely to meet you, V. Now go. Go. Hey, 
heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. You fuck off, or I implant my blade in your ribs. You really think you're fast enough with that blade? Really? The way I see it, be a smoking hole in your chest before your neurons even light up. But nothing like a little experiment, right? Hey, right, come on, baby. That was Yo, fuck you! Carajo! Fucking punk! So what... what just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I, I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why... why'd you help me? You would have caught a beat. <laughs> this fucking town, these people? Just here, mind my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd... Here, for your trouble. The rest, uh, the bartender got the rest. Him like sharks on a scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you then? On the house. Don't say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day. Could say that again. I'm on a double. Break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I am not good enough. No, oh, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Based on it. Run me through it. It's about my wife, right? Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Sure she's cheating on you? Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night. She wasn't even there. Besides that, well, we got a kid to be, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. it. Used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, there's a way around every test now. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like I got them tire flare. Like half this city. Well, but today, she was wearing a pink jacket, and uh, she had a blue purse, I think. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary, and what do you get in return? Why do you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gone question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Okay, fine, I'm in. You're my hero, B. He's a love to me. You laugh, but 50 years in purgatory? Enough time for a guy to get his head on straight. Come to some conclusions. Namely? People don't change, especially not people like Kirk. I think I don't know. Am I lending Kirk cred for a new Kuroshi? Are we going into biz together? No. Of course something stinks. 
But in this town, you can't just wrinkle your nose and look the other way. Gotta find what's stinking up the joint and why. Otherwise, we'll step right in it. Came up in these streets, Johnny. And take care of myself. Sure, hope so, V. Hey, Kirk. Been a while. V? Holy shit! Barely recognize you. See, you haven't changed. Not a single bit. Huh. Well, you know me? I'm old-fashioned like that. Slow and steady wins the race, huh? So come on, sit down. I'll spill you the deets. Start talking. All right, all right. Listen, job's simple. Got a van standing not far from here, brimming with merch worth fat digits. Driving to the border tomorrow, but a lot of things could happen before then. You feel me? Specifics, Kirk. What's in the van? Militech implants. Experimental series. Shit you can't get on the street. Straight out of some lab in Shanghai. And who does it belong to? Jesus, V, who the fuck cares? Once we take it, it's ours. So, can I count on you or not? Yeah, it sounds too good to be true. <sighs> fuck it. It's worth a shot at least. Count me in. Oh, it's true, all right. Anyways, send you the cohorts. See you at the spot. Later.
seedy bars, betrayal, a beguiling woman. Sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story. An unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. You got done? I'm trying to focus. It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day the narrator put a fucking club in. Got too close. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. Seriously, what did I ever do to you? disappeared into the guts of a building ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. <sighs> Maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. Nobody followed you. 
husband sent me. Suspected something. Carl? See, he was right. Wait. No! It's it's not like that. I I can explain. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. Specialist? In this dump? Look, I know. I I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec. What about your kid? Here's the thing. I... Oh. I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father. Just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. But... Why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but there was never a good time. And, and now that I'm expecting again, it, oh, it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't planned. Please uh, tell him, tell him that. Yes. I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama. Okay, just, just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Job's done. Followed your wife, went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least not in the way you think. Huh? What way then? She was out of rippers, getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes. It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So, my son, that's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Our own husband, 10 fucking years. It's not about the skin or whatever. It's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? Okay, yes, Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but... The woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. Finally making some sense. What's uh, new around here? What can I say? Tensions are flaring up. Suits over in Corpo Plaza don't like that their view looks out over all less ordinary working class people. Something's coming. I can feel it. One firebomb and all of Vista will go up in flames. And next morning, they'll hire us to build new offices on top of our burnt out units. Thinking of buying some iron. You're thinking sound. Won't get far in Night City without any.
Happy to see you too, but how about let's not broadcast it? Hmm? Right, right, sorry. No need for a seat. Okay, see that garage right there? Van's inside. You go in, grab the tech, get out, 
we split it 50-50. Clear? Okay, in I go. Head on a swivel, right? You got it. Okay, wheels are there. Knockoffs, too. Had real great intel, that Kirk. Like always, actually. But hey, could strike out on your own. Open up a stand in Kabuki, or maybe. Implants. Fucking Militech wear. I'm gonna shove these duds right up his ass. Just getting started. Have a good time. Oh, fucking fuck. Oh, look. Another gunk. How oh, you like those combat implants, Chun? Hmm, <laughs> very funny. To you. The fuck's going on here? You're Chun Kirk. You did biz time to time, but see... Had this funny feeling he was trying to kill me. Checked out that feeling. Told him I had a transport, cream implants, just sitting there for the taking. And I waited. See, the prank worked. Yep, sure did. Isn't that right, boys? I should splatter your brains on the pavement, but I'd just be wasting lead. Only a fucking gonk could run an op with Kirk. Hey, don't give me that face. You are what you fucking do. So say it. Say you're a gonk little bitch and I'll let you live. Gun owners are reminded that you use the firearm. <laughs> How about him? Gonna tell anyone to scrape him up and put him under? No one to tell.
UV? Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Straight to the matter at hand, huh? My time's pretty valuable. Pretty sure yours is, too? True. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. As far as I remember, someone tried to zero Rhine a few days before his death. The NCPD sees no link. They're saying it was a random cyber-psycho attack. And claiming the mayor died of natural causes. Causes unrelated to the attack. It's in the official reports. Ryan died at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. What makes you think the cops got it wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber-psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. All right, see what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering death. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. 
You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any intersynapse zaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. They left literally seconds before the attack. Looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference. Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Glitch was no accident. Nah. Seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah. But it could have. Prem, do it after the conference. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butt. The tune. Don't recognize it. Tune. What are you humming? Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels and an ugly ass suit. Know that? Or just talking out your ass again? Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. Oh, well, well. <gasps> Thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? The whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him, I'll put you in touch. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. Death of one Lucius Rhine. I wonder why you're not a cop. Jefferson and Elizabeth Perales hired me to do it. 
or something. Mayor sniffing around his predecessor's untimely death. Interesting. Done some digging. Got more intel. Also interesting. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, staff. Set up super sweet like tonight at the red turn. Talk to Carrie? Didn't change his mind or anything? No, no, not at all. He's pretty stoked, in fact. Haven't seen him like this since the Silverhand days. What about Henry? Still not on board? <sighs> Didn't even try. Not wasting my breath on that dick tip. Well, so see you tonight. And don't worry about your ass. Got the gear all rounded up. Heard you had a gig for me. You heard right. I need a driver. Mm-hmm. And for what exactly? Oh, you know, this and that. I got a few errands to run. A couple of friends that need paying a visit. The usual. Listen, I'm a straight shooter. So let me come right to the chase. I heard you're the best in town. Thing is, I like working with the best. And I know the best don't come cheap. I'm not gonna get into the nuts and bolts, cause if what they say about you is true, you can handle anything. So let's get this settled. You got what it takes, or are they wrong about you? All right, I'm in. Japantown, then, by the market entrance. Give a few honks and I'll stroll up. Later, V. New episodes every Wednesday at 10. WNS. my question yeah that's me good then let's go where to little china i have a craving for kung pao chicken extra spicy Stuff has changed. Where are you from? 
from? Brazil. You know, down in South. I know where Brazil is. You never know with you gringos. Wait for me here and keep the engine running. We came all this way to get takeout? You could say that. told me what you were planning from the get-go. It's true what they say. You're good. Really fucking good. You got a stick up your ass, though. This is where we part ways. Good luck, V. And, uh, relax a bit, okay? Now are you gonna tell me about the grenade? Oh, that. My brother ripped it off during a fight. With pliers. Unhappy family. You don't know the half of it. I could have chipped another one, but I don't know. I think this matches my style more. Uh huh. Besides, it's a real icebreaker with the ladies. Got me powder for my nose. <laughs> and does it work? Not really. What about my payment? What about it? Here, like I said before, the best don't come cheap. Take care, V. And hey, keep your nose to the ground. here to see you, looks like. Oh, wonder what about. Wanted to talk. You got a minute? You must be V. My partner, Detective Han. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to meet. You really intend to work with a merc? I don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? 
Boss already told you to drop it. You can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. You see me do anything? Just sitting here sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. Squirreled everything Night City has to offer. See, Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. You wanted to talk? For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to him. What was it? In a city town. You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that? Because... You got a good heart? Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? No. It's not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? Guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Let's go see his boss first. Guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psycho-muting meds, too. You better check it out. Okay.
good 90% of any detective's job is talking. So who are we supposed to talk to? Cyber Psycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left and take the right. Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Paytar Horvath. Worked here, apparently? Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. These speeches? What did he have to say? Ryan, if a corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Warbath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. Had no other connection. Think hard. Easy money? That's what Horvath was after. Didn't do time for nothing. Worked for normals, not so normals. Maybe he and Ryan had some mutual friends. Would that be all, detectives? You spoke in my clientele. So Horvath had a personal beef with Ryan. We might have guessed as much. It might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. Sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. Then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. The neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent out for years and doubt you were the same. Fuck off, Kitty Gloss. V. Fuck off! <laughs> Gotta beef with all gangs or just the tigers. I'm a cop. What do you think? Uh, gotta report this. I'll talk to my CI about your club, Red Queen's Race. Assuming you're still on board. You kidding? First, I gotta clean up the mess you made. We'll meet there. <laughs> Did 
You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. I don't know what it's about. All right. Wait here then. Oh, 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 the attic. You looking for uh, general inspiration or something specific? Three hundred and thirty percent. Because I can help with both. Igor says hi. No! Said I was done! I was out! Leave me the fuck alone! Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Let me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Red Queen's race. Give us the address. We're gone. Heard that already last time. Then those motherfuckers showed, broke all my fingers. Fingers. I'll break limbs that'll make you forget all about those fingers. Start with your shins. Any idea how much that hurts? All right, Jesus, 
hill, okay? It's outside city limits, near the river, Benita Street area. You been there? Not telling you another fucking thing. Kiss my ass, both of you. Well, well, that's what I call a breakthrough. I'm headed straight for Benita Street. Coming with? Better meet there. Fine with me. I do. I don't know what you told him, but thanks. Thank you so much. just thinking of you. And before you ask, no, you weren't wearing clothes. Oh, before I forget, some lady called me, Elizabeth something, said she had a job for someone with an eye for virtues. Told her to drop you a line. Just so happens I already took that job. No shit. And? How'd it pan out? Hard for me to say at this stage. Right. Client confidentiality and all that. What else is going on besides that? Ah, uh, you know, same old. Rather hear what you've been up to. If I wasn't always on the move, you and I could spend more time together. Enjoy life. Quality over quantity, V. Just focus on tying up all your loose ends. Then you and I are leaving this city once and for all. Try to. Helps to keep it at the back of my mind. Guarantee it does. People already say I've got a bounce in my step. Still think about leaving Night City? Yeah, someday. But as of right now, I've still got a reason to stay. Let's talk for a little while longer. Before I have to Delta somewhere. 
for you, I've got all day. How's Virtue tuning going? Scroll anything preem lately? Depends what you'd call preem. Does smut count? Guess I kind of have to be into a little bit of everything. When it comes to virtues, I'm mostly in it for the intel. You mean seeing who killed, who using what? Yeah, something like that, but you see it differently. For you, it's art. <laughs> Always wondered, why the smut industry? Isn't it obvious? Two minutes of real feels a week's pay. Sure, but I thought someone like you wouldn't be into the whole objectification thing. Objectification? Not in my virtues. My actors love what they do, and that's why everyone wants to feel them. Can't fake old school emotions. How'd you get into virtues anyway? I always had a techie streak ever since I was a little kid. When I felt my first virtue, I was like, hey, I can make this way better. So I tried, and I did. And then it just snowballed from there. Something else I wanted to talk about? Got all the time in the world. What's new with the mocks? Susie isn't giving me the time of day, as usual. Couldn't you replace Susie and lead the mocks? <laughs> no way in hell. I'll stick with tuning virtues, thank you very much. If you haven't noticed, I'm not much of a people person. How'd you hook up with the mocks in the first place? I thought Susie and the gang could really change something in this city. I believed in them. Winded up business as usual? I mean, I wouldn't go that far. A few Joy Toys lives really change for the better thanks to them. Got another question on my mind. Shoot.
Is that why you're here? Me! Ha ha ha! What a coincidence! So it's you I'm fighting? Depends. On what? If you want to get splattered. If so, then lace up, lay down some cash, and let's have some fun. We're doing this? It's for serious scratch. I'm up in the stakes. Oh, I see you're not joking around. No problem. I'll sweeten the pot. Come with me. You two are ready to start? Mm-hmm. Ready as I'll ever be. I'm done. I surrender. This fight is over. V is the winner. Woohoo! That, uh, that was a doozy, V. Got me grinning like a goon, ear to ear. Here's your take. You earned every any. Thanks. You're a real bozo. You know that, Ozal? A what? And you're Miss Normal? Don't turn your nose up at me! <laughs> hey, you do know that grenade's gonna pop one of these days, right? I avoid it, but someone else... I know, I know. We all die someday. At least when I do, there'll be fireworks.
Hey, you there? Hey, you dig brain dances? Hey, feast your optics right here, yo. Got the meanest, premium shit ever scrolled. What have you got? For you, girl? That's the nice city hat to up. And that would be? The most low respect, geeked out, turned up virtue you ever seen. Man, I'm talking like transcendental. Where is it from? You got a license for exclusive distribution in Night City? Come on, man. Ain't nobody bothered with that shit. You know why? Cause stuff I got's way too legit to be legit. Feel me? Alright. You got my attention. Nah. <laughs> Knew you couldn't resist. Virtue's all yours. Couple more eddies, you can use my plate. No need. You got my own ring. Of course you do. It's probably top shelf, latest firmware too, right? You see, this virtue's approaching vintage gray. I doubt you'll be able to run it. I'll try running it on my own first. If that doesn't work, I'll be back. Hey, hey, no problem. You know where to find me. Unknown file format. Huh. Great. Whatever. You're right. My tech doesn't read it for some reason. Told you so. Backwards compatibility's a bitch, ain't it? So we trying out my ring? I promise you it'll fire on every damn cylinder. Of course it'll cost you a little extra. A distance for walking in the city to a right This virtue better be worth all this trouble. Chill, girl, chill. Satisfaction or your money back guaranteed, all right? Now, come on. Go where exactly? To my rig, yo. Where else? Not like I carry that shit on me. Hey, this is my rig. Hey, take all the time you need. Just like me, isn't it? Getting trapped in the brain of Night City's dumbest merc. What? What happened? Look around and connect the dots. Scabs. Shit. Oh. I can't believe I got caught. So your brain isn't completely fried to a crisp. That's good. Time to wake up, because you're about to be breakfast. Hey, you know, this I'll is gonna be like a
should have asked if he hadn't used hypos for sale, too. What could go wrong? Not now, Jim. Looks like fortune favors the stupid, too. Now what? I'm gonna ask for a refund.
Sometimes it's hurry up and wait. Hey, V. V. Got something for you. Don't know if you know, but once upon a time, this was Silverhands. Fuck, Nancy just gets shit done. She just whispered Mikoshi in her ear. We'll be all set. Where's Carrie? Should be here any minute. Told me you play really well. Better be true, because there won't be a dress rehearsal. I'd worry more about Henry's replacement. Carrie got Drowson from Cutthroat to join us. I know him, seen him play. And? Ain't he good? He's fine, just fine. You're the mystery dish here. Pill time, just be discreet. And if I start puking blood again? Don't go making a scene. This is Carrie's big nut. I got a feeling Nancy doesn't think I can keep up with him. Well, she's right. I mean, I never Jill, dreamed that. Jill, She's in the same boat as you. you. Want to talk to a star? Talk to me. And get that shake under control. I think my shake's the same. Or worse. All right. Let's do this.
This is fucked up. What is? Actually, got pretty nervous for this thing. Felt like I had something to prove. To myself, to you, and whoever the fuck. But all I did was have a good time. That's it. Losers always say that. Just did it to have a good time. Still think you're better than me? Damn right I do. But maybe this will help. You sure? Won't play without you. Just wouldn't be the same. I see what you're doing here. But I still plan on playing. can still hear you. Thanks, but not in the mood for hovering tables and voices from beyond the grave right now. Maybe you should hang on to this, actually. No, you shouldn't have. Really. The very gun I tried to shoot Johnny with when he broke into my house. Meaning you tried to shoot me? Yeah. And earlier... And... Cool. Feel like I fell asleep and woke up 50 years later. Back to work then. Take care, V. I'll be in touch. V, how are you feeling? Can't believe that asshole Carrie just up and left you like this. Hope that's it for last requests. Not sure I can handle anymore. It is, and I'm starting to regret you agreed to this concert thing. Here I thought I'd hear. Thank you, V. Said it was important to you. This thing with Carrie. It was. But not more important than you. Carrie's got his life back. Whereas we should be worrying about how to get yours back. Let's go. animal turf I can see that lock up any of theirs recently not lately no but they're not big fans of pigs either I can't go in without a warrant but you uh-huh all right be in touch you find anything tell me for a club. Red Queen's race. Closed. Not opening anytime soon either. So it's fine if I have a look around inside. No, it ain't. No looking. Just delta the fuck out of here. I'll rip you up real nice. You now! 
Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Try to find something I gotta do the talking? You're the detective. But I don't have a... A warrant, right. What?! Lucius Ryan, recently deceased mayor of Night City. He was here the night he died? Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. No fucking idea. But hey, you might be here the day you die. Joking. <laughs> Why are you watching this dump? Nothing left to clap here. We ain't watching it. Fucking waiting. For what? Till they send us the scratch for a job well done. Smashed it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit. Time for the payoff. I'll pay you. You get half of what you were promised, I get the intel I need. Half? For half, I can tell you how tall he is, but that's it. You sure? Half in your hand right now, real scratch, or the whole thing. Someday, maybe, but probably never. Uh, all right, scratch, now. Who told you to wreck the club, and why? Well, did hope. Lucius Ryan's right-hand bull terrier? Candidate for mayor in the upcoming election? Right fucking for the job. Thanks for the help. Okay. V. Come you hear me? You ask me, wouldn't a heart attack that killed Ryan? As I said from the start. But someone spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Fuck. V. 
think you could be right. Come on. Looks like an office. Sort of. Comps are what we want. Comps above all. Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma card. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. Weird. Guy looks familiar, doesn't he? V? I'm not in the mood for jokes. I think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. Okay, let's Delta. I think I saw another way out on the way in. Still hanging around with this punk? Shot it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just want to know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. I know this town inside out. So you know how it works. At City Hall, in the streets. Those are the same. Ryan knew it too. He fought for this city. Cleanly at times, dirty at others but always with a lot of heart. Wouldn't have wanted him to get dragged through the muck. Ryan was an asshole, but an asshole who got shit done. I remember what it was like before he was alive. Also remember who stopped the Militech Panzers when the NUSA tried to annex Night City. V, appreciate the help, but this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. It wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go home, Ward. Some sleep. Fine, all is easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Fuck. <sighs> Should have fed him some lead as a goodbye. Only way to be sure. Maybe it is. But it's not my wavy. 
Bolts murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Also think it was Holt. The only one who stood to gain. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Don't do it. They'll sack you, or worse. Besides, won't change a thing. Could be right, you and Han. But I couldn't give a shit what you two think. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea of what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. I'm always careful. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. Case is pretty complex. Leaves a lot of questions unanswered. Rather not draw any conclusions yet. But you must have an opinion. Jeff, honey, read between the lines. The case is complicated, but dying at home of a cardiac malfunction, that's not complicated. So we were right? Yes, and that's enough for me. We have to be careful. Very careful, Jeff. That's what V's trying to tell us. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. You two watch out for each other.
As you were saying. Uh, Johnny? Johnny's not home right now. Be speaking. Okay, okay, okay. So that was just a one-time thing. I don't like your cheating wife being your conjugal, having her locked up. Pops by wise to shut your conscience and disappears for good. Sounds about right. And I'm sure Johnny'd appreciate the prison metaphor. Something particular up, Carrie? A job of a kind that seems ideal for you. Corner of Gray and Milagro. Early morning. We'll talk. Cool. at all this porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news i know i'll be careful not exactly one of your strong suits listen first sign of trouble be delta she emptied the place Excellent. You have come. Let's step to it then. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. You weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobud killed your father, now? I knew. From the start. You... knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate. Inconsistent. Helped your brother cover up. Makes you know better than him, not a smidge. You do not know my family. Not in the least. My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. 
Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? We were gonna talk biz? Specifics? Let us do so. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. on the trigger. Don't say a word. Of course I didn't bring Soul Killer. Afraid we don't know each other that well. You prefer to keep your guard up. Understandable, but unnecessary. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning, Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Shut up! For one goddamn minute, shut up! This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. And you'll help me in exchange for my brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Mm, sounds like dirty laundry. A family matter. Why should I get involved? You already are. You willed it so. Hmm. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama. Soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting. And you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you. Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Don't like this at all. Sounds like you want to use me. No. I simply offer you an opportunity. Not the first to try. But what if I am the last? You cannot take that chance. Let's fly the fuck out of here. V, do you feel all right? Huh? You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. No. Make your Worry. decision. About that. You could use some air right now. <laughs> Listens to me. See what I'm getting at? Yeah, I get it. And don't like it one bit. I'm still Come going on, strong. Come on, face the facts. Pop some pseudo endotrizine, scooch, and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Makoshi. Uh huh. How exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she stuck her neck out for you a half a century ago. But now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Sokka Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Makoshi. It's our only chance. Rogue? I don't know. You honestly think it could work? 
With her experience, her resources, her connections. Won't find anyone better in NC. Johnny. It's gotta work. We breach the tower. All cracks open Makoshi. Then I fuck up that. Great, you checking out again? Just yet. Vic. You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. How... How did I get here? Drags yourself here, beat to hell and back. You missed the hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Talamant was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh, wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Order a weaker poison next time. This ain't no joke, kid. As I see it, there won't be a next time. All right, that should be a little better. Try sitting up carefully. Okay, but don't expect a miracle. So slowly. Another victory for the history books. If you got something to say, Vic, just say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands, understand? I know, Vic. I'll try. Soon. No. You'll do it now. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah? What about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo-endotrys in there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine, Rogue Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Enough, Johnny. I just... I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? noodle. Fine. Fine. Just not, just not in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Uh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. Think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Can't thank you enough for all you've done, Vic. Only wish I could have done more. Go on now. I want to close up. Take the meds and do what you gotta do, V. Thanks, Vic. No well. And you hang in there, too. Good luck, kid. Hey, V, I heard. Well, your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. 
No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy. For either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Glum face. Who, oh, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but. He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Air. See that? I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Thanks, Misty. You were right. Choice spot. So what... What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, we're still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. Judy. Yeah, even I've grown to like her. She ought to know that. Hey, Judy. Oh, hey, V. What's cracking? Time we, uh, went swimming. <laughs> a lot of fun, wasn't it? What you said then, about what you sensed in me. Death. Wish it'd been anything else. Something nice. Hey, not like it was your fault. Here's hoping it comes out better next time. Listen. Whatever it is you're gonna try, just be careful, okay? I'm here waiting. Thanks. Do my best. <sighs> okay. What's good you called? Wish I'd had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think, it all started in a fucking landfill. <laughs> Then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. Try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know.
Can you try this with Pan Am? Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out. Just wanna be there for it. Aware. Just me now. V? Hey, Pan Am. Do you know what time it is? I know, but need your help. You owe me a favor. What's so damn urgent? I couldn't wait until morning. Need a way into our Saka Tower now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny, I don't do something soon, I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well, odd as it sounds, a prison of souls. A prison of souls? <sighs> you this might not fly over the hollow. Wakoshi, that's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. W okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Who do we have here, huh? That's Mr. Brightman. We found the poor guy in the trash behind the clinic. I think he misses Jackie. Ain't alone. you have to wait. Mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. 
That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Oh, okay, definitely, Johnny. There's one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. Something that doesn't give me the chills. Finally. Balance, friendship, love. Though it can also mean difficult choices ahead. Ain't that the truth? Okay, and Johnny's? The moon. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. I think that's for you. Yeah. No mistake in that ride ever. Hey. Man, it's good to see your face. Jesus, you really do look terrible. And I feel worse. Then we had best not waste any time. We have a long road ahead of us. Come on. Everybody's waiting in camp. Look out for yourself, V. You too, Misty. And thanks for everything. Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? <clears throat> I guess. Mighty good to hear. You had us worried back there. You passed out and we couldn't shake you awake. It sure does seem like your uh, condition might be getting worse. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help. That's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one, neither. The whole clan knows we set out tomorrow. The cat they know why. Him. What our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <laughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest, rest mostly, mostly raid rinky-dig rinky convoys, convoys and salvage scrap. scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is to help you the out. The plan is solid, Saul. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V, finally. How's your health? <clears throat> you did some sleep, is all. I heard you were already cooking up a plan. We still have details to iron out. But we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out. But only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds. But we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. We see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. You're using one of Night Corp's cirques. We only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? Good plan, entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. You'll make enemies of Arasaka and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you, all of you, to danger. Want out? Want to cut your losses? I'd understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. We decided we'd provide it. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's settled. We had best get to work. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? I need a decent net connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She... It's... an AI from out past the black Are you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, V. You 
know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, so. Sol. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. Hey, Dakota. It's been a long while. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. For nobody knew I was there. You a tech up to it? Up to it, she asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. I spilled tub. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vector, sister. Hello, Alt. You come alone. Johnny is currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Seemed to me, you didn't care a lick about Johnny. That he ceased to exist for you, even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. Let me get this straight. Mean to say you only agreed to help me because of Johnny? And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Because for a second you were displeased and I seemed to side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. This all just an experiment to you? Are we just fresh data to analyze, do what you want with? This is not an experiment. It is a debate. That Johnny is absent proves that I have won it. Need your help, Alt. Don't got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Matter of perspective. Think what you will, but it seems to me I rose from the dead. Only question is, what now? You believe you cheated death. It is death that has cheated you. You are in between. You will begin to understand, but only in Mikoshi. What should I expect there, in Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. And Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. There anything we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set him free. They will be integrated with me. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. Should I look for a specific access point? Can already tell you ice all the way to Tokyo will be backing every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. 
Until then. We got her back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. Barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 100. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech. That's what happened. Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? Sorry about the damage. PG. Good. Real good. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. That America's long gone and forgotten. Fellas? We, might... we heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Hey. Right now? Okay. Saul needs me. Come find us after. Will do. Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner, standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So hardware's military. But how the hell did you cram all that into a Panzer? Oh, uh, small beans compared to the tricks we pulled with Scorpion during the war. When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Since tomorrow's a big day already. How about we take her for a spin now? Wanna get a feel for her over the terrain? Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Talk later then, I guess. Oh, you wanted a word? Hop up here. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Alda Caldo, which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Do your worst. You're one of us now, V. You're an Alda Caldo, damn it. Right there. Thanks have for you everything, us, v. v. And don't worry, we'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the Welcome way? Welcome to the family. A warm welcome for our newest Alda Caldo. Thanks. Oh. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Everything. Shit. Turned me damn sentimental. Christ, someone get her a hanky. That's the fourth thing will start a flash flood. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch is too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. 
All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow we're shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. It's a basketball to you. found glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? Are you all right? Jacket's a distinction. Honor to get it. And it's supreme at that. But it's got that weight. It took me under your wing, gave me your trust. And tomorrow, off I'm taking you on. Might not come back. Hit me all of a sudden. As I could go. That only proves we're doing the right thing. The sense of responsibility? It's what being part of a family feels like. Thanks, Pena. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. I need me some ammunition. Three or four packs worth. You got any left? What's this? I might have. Yard sale you have to look sort? around. Essentially. So maybe I'll take, take two more 45s. The occasion Dakota would seems be, to be feeling generous today. the end time. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. So nice here. Mm-hmm. What a view, huh? Screw views. Is uh something the matter? I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? Exactly. Who if not you? That's what I mean. It shouldn't be me. It should be... Saul? If only he hadn't gone and made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will. Nobody's dying tomorrow, Pan Am. You don't know that. The fam. They're tougher than you think. Bullets don't distinguish between tough and weak. V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? I am. All the fucking time. You're great at hiding it. Time to head back, maybe? No. Let's sit here a while longer. This is doing me good. More than I thought. Let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. 
Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new. simple. We have two objectives. One, get into Arasaka Tower and assist V in accessing Mikoshi. And two, take advantage of the confusion to gather as much equipment as we can. Prizes like that will see to our cash flow problem. The only way into Mikoshi is to dig through to Arasaka Tower's underground levels, which means we have to hit the Maglev Tunnel construction site and hijack the Night Corp Cirque. Last but not least, Intel from our recon drone has showed us a couple of weak points. This valley leads to the site. I doubt they'll be expecting trouble there. All the same, we'll want to move quickly. Time is of the essence. We can't allow the guards to call for backup. And if we're too slow? That'll be a job for Bob and his jammer. We'll just have to get close to their comms antenna and start transmitting. Let's not kid ourselves. It won't stall them for long. Let's hope it keeps them busy just long enough. Are there drones there? Early detection systems? Anything? It's not Fort Knox, yet Night Corp is using Militech for security, so you never know. I guarantee you they're patrolling the area. In any case, our drones will match theirs. Teddy will be on the lookout to raise the red flag. big enough for that gate? You bet your ass it is. Sounds good so far. What else? Once you're inside, you'll need to reach the Cirque and get it to do your bidding. Enter Mitch and Carol. Get that drill up and running, and the road to the cellars of Arasaka Tower will be wide open. From there, V, Pan Am, and I will get to the laboratory and find a way into Mikoshi. And while we're drilling in, should we expect anyone to crash our party? If everything goes as planned, nobody should know where we are or what we plan to do. Feel free to look around more if you want. We still have some time left. Think I've seen enough. Well, that about does it. V, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Is everyone up to speed? Start your engines, folks.
up that drone. The little bird is home and away. You are trespassing on property protected by Militech Site Secure. Turn back now. I repeat, turn your vehicles around. Remember the jammer? Sure do. We're on it. Pan Am, did you check if all systems are operational? Tech. Nitro injector clear. Launcher's also green. We're good to go. Then let the fun begin. About it. I'll try. Either I do this, or this rattle trap will really be scrap. You get out. Help our folks. We'll provide cover. Just hurry, all right? we can link remotely to the CERC from there. 
That's a mistake. You will regret. I got a terminal. We're jacking in. What about security protocols? V, it's not a space station. It's a dumb, big-ass drill. Don't worry. Carol will slice through it like butter. All right, we're firing up the Cirque. Aiming to bore through to Arasaka Tower. This will take some time. V, we'll need you to cover us. We've got company. A lot of it, too. V, help us out here. Fucking Militech is not letting up. Damn. It's looking like the drill vector's on auto. How can we possibly turn it? Brace yourself. Gonna sweet talk this vision. Mitch, kill that autopilot and hit manual override. Got it. It's working. Bear for takeoff. Watch out, my dear. you as much time as we can. Much apart. We'll keep watch over Mitch and Carol and see to that gate. The military. We have to intercept before it reaches the others. God damn it. More company incoming. How do you we'll like handle. that, smell of shit? Listen, we just hit Night Corps vice. Carol's cutting through. It's slow work, but it'll get done. Where are you all at? The gate is planted firm on the land and secure time. Faith! Try to figure out what it is. We need more time. There's no dumb 
swindling going on here. We'll buy you as much time as we can. Hang in there. How do you like that, smell of shit? Oh, hi. That's what I call it. Mitch, is everything all right? Aggressive rumble, yeah, but all seems good. Holy shit! We did it! They're smoldering wrecks! We did that! So, Mitch, heading back your way. Good work, but we've got a minor hitch here. What is it? Raggedy ass is as fat as long. No heart reset to tell. Pretty much out of options here. Hot water is not our location. That seems our one option now. After that display, you can be sure there's a place for you in the Panzer Boy ranks. Carol, you and Cassidy keep us secure here. You got it. Mitch, you're coming with us. Man, yes, man. No time to lose then. Let's go. Okay. I'm putting it on autopilot and disconnecting. Okay. Is everything all right? You seem quiet. This plan. All of this. It was never a good idea. It wasn't your idea. Who's then? Mine. It was my damned idea. I'm responsible for it. And if you'd known how this would turn out? I'd do it all over again. For anyone in the clan. Saul told me you brought in some help from Akoshi. Someone from the outside. Mm-hmm. Alt. And who is that? There's a net running queen of Night City. It's her. Or rather, was. Why? Does she do something else now? So to speak. <laughs> Lives elsewhere, too. But she'll help us. Mm-hmm. And you trust her? Yeah. She'll help us. Why? Something got you worried. I trust you. That's all I'll say. By extension, I trust this alt won't pull any rugs out from under us. Things will work out. They gotta come too far for him not to. This would be it. How much farther to Arasaka Tower? Not far. It should be easy to let him from here. Shit. Do you see them? I think something's wrong. You should be used to this by now, Saul. Things rarely go as planned. We have no idea what's waiting for us inside. We need you. Well, right what's the issue? Carol and the rest. Militech's all rattled up. Cut them off. They won't last long on that site. Jesus Christ. I'm taking the Panzer. They need all the help they can get. Are you out of your mind? The answer is no. You can't operate the Panzer alone without frying that gunk brain of yours. Do you have a better idea? They're family, Pan. I'm not leaving them behind. Saul, are you on board with this? V, someone make him see reason. Mitch is right. The three of us have still got a decent shot, but without him, they've got none. You're sure about this? Saul! We're talking goddamn suicide! Look out for yourselves. They'll kill you! I'll catch you later. Saul! Carol, He's... I'm heading your way! Hang They're in gonna... there! Can't you'll owe me a beer this after this! Nothing. You two go on up and see what's gotten into her. Once you're mobile, I'll follow. Secure the rear. V, let's go. Mitch? I'm here. Safe and sound. Be careful. Please. I can handle myself, man. Likewise for you. Get to Makoshi in one piece. All right, here we go. Mitch out. Please, no.
No more cock-ups, please. Jack in and start her up. It looks like the engine overheated and choked when drill bit met reinforced concrete. Bypassing oh, should override the truth. Here goes. Everything all right? Pin Am? Talk to me! Oh, no, no. Pin Am! I'm here. I'm a bit bruised is all. I haven't done worse. Pin Am. For a sec, I thought you'd... It's okay, V. Everything's okay. It's all. Tunnel's clear for now. Any word from Mitch? Still nothing. I knew it. Could be a problem with the comms. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's finish this. Isn't this place positively saturated with radiation? Who knows? Great. No! B, B, B. Just have a kind of seizure. B, B, are you okay? Hey, hey, hey! Got it. Under control. Can't stop now. Anyone know where we are? If we look around, we'll find out. I see something there. The guards need our attention first. Don't like this. Not one bit. You thinking it's serious? Sure sounds it. We'll be here till sundown at least. Everybody knows we've dropped in for a picnic. They have a whole unit there. The whole building's on high alert. Their systems must have picked up the vibrations from the drill. Fuck! Hurry up, Saul. They'll be here in no time. One second. What now? Alt Shard. Need a port to jack it into. Give me one more second. I found one. It's not far. You can jack in your personal there. I'm sending you the shortest route. Uh, we need to lift this goddamn lockdown first. I wouldn't touch that. Door. Unless you want a horde of ours. <laughs>
up. Reloading. God damn it! Oh! <gasps> Keep going. To Mikoshi. Your path lies open. Thank you all. Are you certain? We good. I'm ready. Likewise. Let's move. is to show any mark on our city's history and now a important message for Washington residents the homelessness problem plaguing the district's sewer system will be addressed as fumigation of the tunnel begins
look too strong. I'll make it. Just be yourself. Let's go then, you and I, when the evening is spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half-deserted streets, the muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels, and sawdust restaurants and oyster shops. Streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask what is it. Let us go and make our visit. Despite it all, somehow I did it. Devised a solid plan and pulled it off. That's you. Well done. I'm sorry. Not sure I quite caught that. Then wash out your ears, dumbass. So, when do we start? Haven't caught on yet, have you? What do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. Too bad. 
Johnny could use someone like you by his side. Strong words from a fellow construct stuck in the same Arasaka prison. Wait, what? You mean to say I'm an engram? Uh-huh. Same as me. Got any more jokes? So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Christ, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. No. No, no way. That was not our deal. You shall live for about six months. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body. The biochip's nanites have altered it permanently. The body is now Johnny. Alt, give us a minute. V and I need to talk. Everything, all, all, all we did, it was pointless. I have had enough of this, of everything. You most of all. Perfect, because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping your body. Where's she even gonna take you? Beyond the Black Wall, to become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. Is there really no other way? As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Guess I meant... I don't know, uh, a happier ending for everyone involved. Here? For folks like us? Wrong city, wrong people. You have the right to make a choice you have earned through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. What I told you at the Pista Sophia, we stick to that. I'll go. You stay. Turning your back on the problem again? What? A little guilt creeps in and that's that? You give up? Gonna just roll over instead of fighting for what's yours? Decommiss yourself because you're too fucking scared to say goodbye? Don't apologize. We knew all along this is how it would play out. Don't. Don't fuck with me right now. Only if you cut your pathetic I'm sorry bullshit. I mean, Jesus. I'm about to shred a comrade and a chunk of my own soul in one fucking go. You have no idea what that shit feels like. Hmm. Sounds kind of familiar. We know that attitude. CV. Stand with you whether you like it or not. For fuck's sake, defend yourself! You're not even trying! You know, you taught me to let go sometimes. Save my strength for one last big bang.
Goodbye, me. And never stop fighting. in smoke with damage valued in excess of the annual budget of many a small country serves you right Why do you want to meet here? For the view? Or are you turning sentimental on me? So you do remember. I thought of it then as a one-time thing. I would help you, you would help. <sighs> Fuck. No, no, that's a lie. Mm-hmm. Had it in for the Raffins. You were out to get them with Mitch's and Scorpion's help. If they'd agreed, you'd have told me to fuck off then and there. Ah, oh, stop. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day, but we'll be long gone. They'll never find us, can promise you that. I know. Perhaps that's why I need a good long look. One day this view will be a happy memory. About to turn on your heel, never see the city again. I think that makes you happy right now. And you? Ready? Do you feel the road beckoning? It's possibly your last glance at those buildings. The quicker I forget the whole damn thing, the better. The city makes false promises. Many of them grand, doesn't it? <laughs> See through them before you lose everything, then. You're pretty damn lucky. Perhaps luck's with us now. Perhaps we're leaving just in time. Think it is. Think we are. Time to make up for things. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. It's just a little blood, Pan Am. It's nothing. V, promise me. As soon as we arrive down south, we'll go to my contacts. We'll fix... Whatever needs fixing. Don't worry about a thing. Come on. Got a border to cross. Shouldn't waste any more time. Let's get out of here. Sure. But V... Get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. All night, city. Good night and good luck. I've heard enough. Most of our people have already crossed. They'll wait for us on the other side. And our souvenirs from Makoshi? 
If we so much as approached the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. We've checked. Arasaka has people at every border crossing. But we know a road less traveled. Arasaka. Deja vu. Did I say something wrong? Just reminded me of Jackie and the Arasaka job. I think you know how that ended. I'm sorry, V. Come on. You had nothing to do with that. And anyways, things will be different now. Gotta be. There is one thing I will miss about Night City. What's that? The food. The tie on 7th and Haywood. The pierogies down by the docks. Mm. Seriously? You'll understand once you've ridden with us for a while. Really? <laughs> then I can't wait. Of course our new lives will be nothing but pure fucking chaos. Of that I have no doubt. Doesn't matter. It's gonna be a good life. I can feel it. And you'll sense it too. for cookies and milk. Got it or that storm will catch you. Screw you. Mitch, hey. Hey, V. Good to hear you, Chum. How's things? Give me a month and I'll be as good as new. I told you all I'd be fine, didn't I? Come on, Mitch. You weren't nearly that confident after Mikoshi. None of us were. He was in bed for weeks. A vegetable. It would have been the end of him if not for his synapses. Toughened. Made almost fry-proof in panzers back in the war. Did save every one of our asses, though. Pity Saul's not with us. Or Teddy. Or Bobby. Or Scorpion. They would have kicked your ass out of whack after that move with the panzer. Then hugged you until you puked. I know, Pan Am, I know. Gave us all a chance at a new start. Let's not fuck it up. I'm glad you're with us, V. See you soon. I can smell the ozone, even through the air conditioning. It's that storm, getting close. Okay, we've arrived. It's high time. Hey, Mitch. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Hey, how are things? Is everything arranged? Everything's almost set. So you found it? Where we thought it would be? All plans laden in place? They are indeed. But someone is supposedly waiting for you. Come see us later. We'll talk about the who, what, and how. You'll come back, right? Brain Dance Club in Chicago. Ages ago. But I didn't edit them. No, we get the ready made. Just jack the dopamine wear on the Johnson James. Gee, you're here. Hey, <laughs> Jude, you made it. I doubted you would come. Yeah, Carol gave me a ride. Never would have found this place otherwise. Damn, I'm glad you're here. So fucking glad you didn't change your mind. <laughs> Think I made up my mind before you did. <laughs> It's just, uh... Hmm, you clearly got things you need to hash out. 
Leave the girls to it. Everything all right? Just here, now. I think I realized I never felt right in Night City. I used to think there'd come a day when I'd finally call it home. I thought, any moment now, I'll feel safe, even comfy. You'll find your place where you really belong now. Only say that because you've already found it. I say it because I know you will too. So why the hell do I feel like I'm running away? You're not running. You're getting a new beginning. It's a whole nother stage of life. Hmm. Interesting to hear you say that. You know, I used to mark time in stages, one juncture to the next. There was the mega building, hole in the wall phase, and then the group home phase, the mox phase. Every time I thought I found a home, and every damn time I came away disappointed. Things will be different now, you'll see. Promise? No, don't want to promise you a thing. Don't have to. You'll see. We'll have a home. We'll be home soon. It's a vision I like. A lot. Me too. We're gonna be all right. If I can be sure of anything now, it's that. Feel better already. Heading out soon. Gotta get ahead of that storm. And stay on Pan Am's good side. <sighs> yeah. Carol said a thing or two, warned me. Don't worry, you'll like her. So, we going? Got one last thing to take care of. It'll only take a sec. Okay, I'll be waiting right here. <clears throat> All right, so the plan, one more time. We won't take any official crossing. I think you know that, right? So there's this old smuggling tunnel. Forgotten. We'll aim to use that. It's near the wall. So you found a gate in the wall. Clever. Not in as much as under. It's one of those old smuggling tunnels. Thankfully, it's still open. It wasn't the easiest thing to locate after all these years. But now, nothing can stop us now. Look, tunnel's cool and all, but we gotta get there first. And what about security up and down the border? Whole area's brimming with tech. Drones on perpetual patrol, heavier stuff too, maybe. Don't worry. We know what's there and what to do about it. And Carol and Cassidy will keep the corpos off our tail. Great. And once we've crossed, what then? We'll make for our meeting point, join the rest of our people there, then we'll move on towards Tucson. And once there, we call the shots, right? We know the road's like the back of our hand. And down in Arizona, we have some old favors to call in. <laughs> so even if I wanted to, I got nothing to worry about. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no longer alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. Thanks. Well, time to move before that storm finds us. Thought I'd stay in Night City. You don't seem like one who'd care to make a fresh start. Ever. Get to know me better? Could change your mind. We're ready. After you, Pan Am. Are we all set? Mm-hmm. So jack in. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. This is your big new beginning. So you have to start it like a real nomad, behind the proverbial wheel. Mostly go straight, go around the bigger holes and don't lose the rest, got it? I will deal with the nitro. The mix will go straight to the cylinders. If I don't sink it just right manually, it could blow us to bits. I think that's best avoided. I'm glad we're doing this. Meaning, leaving? Mm-hmm. Say goodbye to the girls at Lizzie's today. 
almost all were sure I'd flake back out. We started a pool, you know, about me limping back home, tail between my legs. Like many of them, more times than they care to admit. Got a feeling majority's gonna be out some that. I ever tell you I planned this with Evelyn? Flight out of Night City to Bliss. Dreamed about what we'd do when we finally got the chance. I'm sorry, Judy. Don't let it bother you. I won't. I mentioned it because feels like I should let that dream go too. Been ready always. Then hit it. Home stretch. Full speed ahead. Goodbye to Night City. It's your last chance. Got nothing left to say. Start her up. The deal is yours. Let's ride. Exactly what you wanted. A new beginning. Don't slow down, Pan Am. Not yet. Perfect. All great, Pan Am. We're going home. Desert, getting some sun, some fresh air in those lungs. 
Don't forget to get yourself a checkup every once in a while. Any dust or dirt gets into that insulation, you're done. Of course, Decent Ripper is harder to find out there than a four-star hotel. So actually, how about you just stop by when you're back in the city, huh? Think I could swing a little discount for an old regular like you. Till next time, B. V, is it true what they say? You rolling around in the dirt with the Aldecaldos? Have you lost your mind, mija? Didn't you get in enough trouble already, eh? Night City was too boring for you. Estás loca, eh? Crazy, completely crazy. Just watch out for yourself, okay? Don't do anything stupid, because I'm not going to a second funeral. Forget to stop by Mama Wells, okay? Just give me a call before, and I'll make my special chilaquiles just for you. <laughs> Cuídate, Vi. Hey, V. I know what you're thinking. Why is my crazy output leaving a message on the machine while I'm making breakfast? Well, <clears throat> you know me. I get. When it comes to sharing feelings. So, uh, <clears throat> what the hell? I figured I'd just tell you here. V, I just wanted you to know that I'm happy. For the first time in my life. And I wanted to rise and shine. Breakfast on the table. Speak of the devil. Save them. V. Hey. Christ, that run we did. My heart's still pounding. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. Just remember, we'd walk through hell and back with you anytime, sister. Until next time, eh? Take care. Hey, Rogue here. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass a message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? V, listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I, well, one thing led to another. You know what I drew? The chariot, the lovers, and the sun. <laughs> Looks like you've got a good life ahead of you out in the Badlands. Good luck, V. Be free.